a signal to the furthest reaches of space. A message asking why, without a reply, floating endlessly.
We are hanging and banging, brothers. How you feeling, everybody out there? It is time for WPIG to rock your world here. Stratford, Connecticut, 9.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is a hot one today. Let me promise you, hot and sweaty. Just how we like it. Am my right? Co-host Meerkat, how you feeling? Hello, hello, everybody. I just got off work. I had a nice, relaxing shower. I made myself a banana milkshake, and I'm very excited for this one specific episode because I used to play the game in the past, and I remember quite a bit about it. Uh, <laughs> so it's very interesting to see how deep this iceberg actually goes. And from what you've shown me, it goes very, very deep. Yes. This is one of those, the opposite of not that deep episodes. <laughs> yeah, this is, Sir Moist wouldn't enjoy this one for sure. Uh, and before we get to that, to the episode, obviously, let's, uh, I want to say thanks to a lot of people because this is definitely not one person job. A lot of people did a lot of research into this. Uh, you know, Agent Proper is an awesome video on all of Phil's uh, gotcha games down in the in description if you want to see it. Obviously, Secret Limited as well. The, the agriculture website, a lot of soldiers down there doing a lot of stuff. Uh, big ups to Frog Machine as well, David, lots of other people that helped me make this. Because I thought this was going to be a stupid little, who knows how deep some shit goes, you know? It's like, all right, well, let's just, I was going to do an episode of all the non-mobile games, that non-champion games that DSP played. And I was like, all right, yeah. well, let me see this Supercard shit. And I was like, holy fuck, what? <laughs> like, it's just, it's too much. It, it's probably too much for one, for, for today, but we're going to try to get through it anyway. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for doing that. Uh, before we get to the show, again, let's get into... Uh, of course we had to do this, Beercat. Of course we have to break out some new cards for a show like today. Uh, but All right. WPIG, of course, goes the extra mile. And we have Phil's actual team at one point in his life on Supercard. This is Phil's actual Supercard team. Five new cards added to the pool uh, that you can get today. These are all Phil's super card cards he had at some point. So uh, big ups to <laughs> the sexy Latina Eva Marie. Of course, of course he has. A, of course he has a Latina. You just knew it, you know. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's really funny how all the buff naked dudes are legendary, <laughs> and Eva Marie, the only woman, is just a common card. <laughs> big ups to Baron. Just got the rock there. Nice. You see the he's in there now. So that's uh, those are ready for you to pull here extremely sweaty men and one hot latina what else do you want you know what i'm saying that's if you got those five things you're pretty happy with your life you know what i'm saying uh anyways um i do also want to say um the the uh let's get our iceberg out here real quick before we start so this is how the iceberg rolls around here wpig iceberg in the house all of these are this is all the shit we've covered so far today we're covering supercard all of those are commands if you want to check out those videos you see the commands there today we're going for supercard how deep this goes in the iceberg we're going to find out today, uh, but that's all the shit. Iceberg, get out of here. That's what we're doing today. Adding this to the iceberg. See you later. Um, schedule for today is going to be, I think it'd be fun. First, I want to get Meerkat's t history with the game. What got into it? What you thought of it? And um, then then we're going to get into DSP's modern take of this. So usually on the show, we, we go from past to forward, right? We start with his the first mention of whatever saga we're covering, and then we work our way forward. But for this one, I think it's better to get his modern take on Supercard, and then we go back. Because then we'll get a true look into the amazing levels of retcon that happened. Uh, so first, Meerkat, let's get to you and your Supercard. Was it an addiction for you? What level did you play? Come on, let us know about your Supercard. <laughs> no. uh, well, uh, back in, uh, I think it was 2016, I was working a summer job, and I had a lot of time to just sit around on my phone. Um, so I just downloaded the game. I was logging in basically every day just to get my bonuses. I didn't really, I never spend any money on the game because, I mean, it's, it's a fucking stupid game to spend money on. Uh -huh. uh, because <laughs> if you log in, I think it was like 28 days out of the month. In the end, you get a super overpowered card. So it was just kind of fun to just log in, you know, check it off the list and just log in again later. And eventually okay. I got some nice cards, but then uh, I just gave up at some point. When my, when my summer job was over, I just dropped it. But I know the gameplay, and I have to say, the gameplay of Supercard is is more strategic and more fun than um, 
champions and you'll see the what the gameplay actually is it's legitimately cards pretending to be wrestling with one another yeah yeah so i got that ready here dude. For, i want because sometimes we just talk about shit we don't show like the game like some people don't know what like champions looks like so here's the first video i'm just going to show you no audio because the dude's talking all over it but here is what a, a super card looks like or what you do so it, i mean maybe it's different you tell oh we have a sex latina here uh, but this is what it looks Guys, like. This, my sister's not this is the oldest shit video, so like it's like choppy. But uh, here's is this what your memory of this game was like, Meerkat? Yeah, yeah. You have uh, each card has like four attributes, and you match the the ones that are required. And if you have the bigger attributes than your opponent, then you basically hit them with a leg drop, and you win. <laughs> so get to it, get to it, get to it. Big ups to um. By the way, big ups, Cope Side Phil. how much do you think he put into SuperCard as much as Champions? Do you still still think he plays SuperCard? All those questions will be answered. Not to edge you too much, but uh, that's what we're gonna show talk about all today. So and big ups to the Baron who said detractor spending 100k to make Phil look bad, dude. I know that dude spent 100k to make Phil look bad. Can you believe it? Let's get to the match. Here it is. Yeah, here it man. is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Here they come, boy. Get ready, brother. Match is starting. Come on. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They legitimately have an entrance. It's like the card walking. And then they start fighting with each other. It's, it's really fucking goofy. And yes, uh, AMAC in chat is correct. It's just like the NBA 2K mobile game because it's the same uh, developer that makes it. Hell yeah. So what's the skill? Is the skill choosing your team or are you choosing what to do here? Uh, it, it's, you know, the team composition and uh, boosting up your stats so you can get the bigger stat than your opponent. And then you see you the, the guy slammed him and he won. That's right, basically so, it. Okay, so match to Diva. It, it, okay, that's what I wanted to ask you too. So I've I've seen like we're gonna share the numbers that Phil admits himself to how many matches he played. So I see match two here. Does this when you play someone, you it seems like you do different kind of matches, right? You do like a normal diva, something else. Is that all count as one match or what? Well, this is one one game, but you have like different matchups within the game. And it, I think it's a best of three. So if you get the best of three, you win the match, the, the game okay, okay, uh, against okay. this opponent. Okay. But the thing is, if you're playing exhibition like this guy is doing right now, if you see that you're about to lose, you can literally just quit the game and it's not going to count as a loss. That's how DSP got a 98 whatever percent win rate in uh, champions as well. Because whenever <laughs> you're losing, you just rage quit, dude. And it literally doesn't count. <laughs> like, it's kind of like charming, but it's also like... The game, the cards dancing. I'm saying, like the the like ed the uh fucking animators are like, oh shit, I want to animate yeah. this shit. Like, all right, just use the cards. Like, that's brilliant. <laughs> all yeah, right, they would be like, yeah. how would we make this fun to look at? Well, let's have the cards wrestle, I guess. <laughs> oh, Batista, Cesaro. Oh, oh, he got a little taunt bonus. Oh, this here. is let's a see. Cesaro is uh is Derek's favorite wrestler, by the way. Oh, big ups, yeah. Shout out, Derek. <laughs> oh, they're going at it. Batista, they lock horns. Slammed. Got him. Spine buster out of nowhere. All right, I think we've seen enough. You get the point yep. of the game. Uh, I do want to ask you, what avenues do you have to spend money, though, if you wanted to, Meerkat? Like, uh, how would you even go about that? What benefits do you get? Uh, you I guess know, you, yeah. can, you, you can get pulls, I think. But I, like I said, I never spend money in it. I'm not even sure of all the options. I guess it's still the same as in Champions when you get a faction and there's some faction events, there's mm. individual events. So there's always all these... Oh, you see this on the board right now? Yeah. These are the draft picks. So you get to have a pull after a, a certain match and you basically pull a random card like this and now you get a common Mysterio. Oh, but maybe <laughs> you see the thing down in the corner where yeah. it says with the little red icon, get more packs. Well, that's yeah. how you spend money on it, I figure. Uh, ha, ha. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. So now we have an idea of what champions looks like. Oh, sorry, not champions. We're not in champions. We're in supercar today. Uh, so um, let's go into let's go into the most modern Phil talking about Supercard, okay? Just to get our baseline, right? Because we, we all know Phil doesn't do any retcons, right? So let's get what Phil says in 2023 about Supercard before we move on in our journey into the past, okay? So what does Phil think about Supercard in 2023? You know, I, it was such a, um, a fun, meaningful experience to me. And when people give me that feedback, that oh, I'm doing is meaningful. I don't, oh, oh God, they're just making dumb jokes. I feel like now that sounds crazy or not. How many times do you say meaningful me. in one second? And I love it. It helps me. Okay. Here we go. Let's, um, I, I think that every, every streamer has a relationship with their audience that's oh, unique up. with, with your, with your audience. Got about a relationship. It's just making sure. Relationship is, is a little, you are 
funded by your audience, here we go, here we go. right? You And you've said many times that, uh, you know, you don't want sponsors, but you started talking today about how no sponsors will touch you, right? Because because of, uh, uh, for for a number of different reasons. Wait, for I timestamp wrong? I'm resetting. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Should be right here. At the end of that stream, I feel so much better. Back, that let's ping is meaningful. I don't... But Shut the fuck up. All right, let me search for it. Let's do a timestamp it. <laughs> So I'm right here meaningful 18,000 times. I got it. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I got, a fi I got like 40 million tabs open right now. All right, here we go. Do them. Here we go. 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 Got it. 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 Got it right here. Okay, good. Necessary, which could Think include WWE. I'm not saying that it is, but right. it could be. Do you feel that... Um, you said you still play the game. Do you play any other mobile games? Yes. Do you feel? <laughs> yeah, I love the yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that you're addicted to them at all? No. I, no. I play them casually. I play them, you know. For example, uh, I'll be off the stream and it's night, and my wife and I are watching a TV show. And as this we're motherfucker, their only activity is watching TV. He can't even do that yeah. without a fucking mobile game in his hand. Come on. Yeah, and He's talking about how much he craves spending time with his wife and he wants to do more and more of that. And now he's just admitting to uh, playing mobile games when he's spending time with his wife. <laughs> God damn, that's a meaningful activity. <laughs> J-Dog says, is, uh, is uh, that Derek's favorite wrestler because he looks like Johnny Sims? <laughs> 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 Big ups on your male porn star lore, J-Dog. Probably. In the show, I might just open it up. And, you know, these mobile games are not big narrative experiences. They're just like kind of... <laughs> Busy word game, grinding games, right? You, you mash and cards bit, bumping you like, into like, each other. This, this right. stupid WWE Champions is just a freaking uh, puzzle game, like Candy Crush. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to do them. They're more I like, mean, you know... Do casual players play, pay over, under just under a thousand bucks? No, you know, I, don't know. I feel like you, right. you, you elevate your level when, when mm -hmm, you actually point. put any uh, money into it. But then when it goes over a hundred dollars... You, you kind of... Right, you know, because you guys probably don't know the full history. This all started many, many go. years ago before there, there was tons of financial issues that were public. Uh, I was playing... Uh, that were public, by the way. <laughs> Big up Swaggy Davis and Meerkat and LT bringing the early morning fun. Let's a go. different WWE Good morning. Game. It was called WWE Supercar. Yeah! Right? Hell yeah! This mm -hmm. one I actively spent a lot of money on. I will tell you guys this. I can't tell you the exact... I definitely... I got addicted to that one. Everyone knew it. I talked. So you about have it been streams. addicted to mobile games. Yeah. Okay. Remind. Remember, he just said I got addicted to it. That's the key point here. I was addicted to it. I got addicted to it. Everyone knew it. Mm. Yes, I have. I've publicly admitted this. Yep. That I spent way too much money on that, and there was another one. It was called Dragon. I publicly admitted I spent too much money on that. Okay. Ball Z okay. Dokkan battle. That one as well. <laughs> this was before you know, way before the years before the bankruptcy and everything. I was spending. I was spending too years before the bankruptcy. Okay, years before the bankruptcy, that's true. But also during his time in, in Supercard, he was also crying poor to levels that are insane, right? But let's get, let's, let's get, yeah. let's money finish this thought. And at that point, I, I, I stopped. I cut off. I stopped playing WWE Supercard and, and Dokkan Battle completely. When I saw what I was doing, I stopped myself from doing it. And then, you know, I've casually played other mobile games over the years. And... Basically, what happens is with, with my, and I know you guys are going to say you're changing the narrative. I Please bear with me. With this <laughs> no, it's, it's not okay. helping your case at all, though. You're, I know, <laughs> but, but I'm being honest. I'm, I know that. I know that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is oh, a public record. You uh -huh. know? I talked about those games in the past. And with these detractors, what they do is they find a narrative and they stick with it. Mm -hmm. If I can dispute it or disprove it, or if it gets somehow disproven, then they drop it and they latch onto the ones that they can't, that I haven't been outright been able to disprove. Uh -huh. This particular one, they've been looking for something to get me on for years and years and years, and every single thing gets disproven or just forgotten about. All right, we know what he's going to say here. This is not worth saying. On. He's going to say, like, I can't show the screenshot. They asked, why don't you show the screenshot yet? I'll have to think about that with my wife. I'll have to think about that. You know that he can't disprove that. Big Ups on yeah. Paper says, future episode, Go Con Battle. Actually, uh, me and Agent Proper are going to do an episode of, of, of pre-Supercard mobile games, if you can believe it. Uh, that'll come up in the future, though. And Dude, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, That's a it's, long list of games, too. It's insane. It's a lot of games he used to play. You thought, I thought it was Champions and Supercard? Like, I know those two? 
there's so much more, so much more. All right, real quick. Now we're going to go a little bit farther back in time, but not too much. But I want to get another future take, uh, you know, past take. Oh, I did. Yes, I did Supercard in the past. It was stupid take before we go really dive into the past here. So this is from 2020, and he just outwardly talks about Supercard and uh, how it was bad. Okay, just remember more things to remember as we go back and find the truth. So the stupidity here is somewhat. Well, is there is there a nugget of truth about the WWE mobile games? I already talked about this. I think it was last night or the night before. Here, I'll say it one more time for all of you. Here we go. All right. At one point. I played WWE Supercard. That was a <laughs> mobile game I played like five, six years ago. A lot. For about a year, I played it pretty hardcore. All right? Even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was in, put a little bit of money into it. I put a little bit of money a into it. A little bit, bros. Just a little bit. I was yeah. playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game. Okay? After about a year... They launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every, all your progress essentially worthless. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste. WWE Super Card. Oh, God. That, why'd you go back? Oh, was put a little bit of After about a year, they launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every, all your progress essentially worthless. Mm -hmm. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste of time that this was. All right. You know what? Um, He's yep. got a very good point. In, in that game specifically, if you're playing it for free and you just want to get the good cards by just playing the game, by the time you get the good cards, they're not going to be good anymore because there's going to be like one more season that came out already. So the okay. only way to be playing on a high level is to be spending big time like he was. Mm -hmm. okay. and that, that extends to other mobile games as well. Like uh, Champions is on the same level and uh, other super cards. A bunch of mobile games just work like that. Oh, yeah. They know how to get your money. They know how to get your money. But I want you to keep yeah. point here. You heard that. Season 2, I said, fuck this. Yeah. That's well, do, do you know on, on which season they are now? Uh, who the fuck? I think I saw, I think season... I, I do. Oh, They're go on ahead. season 10. Hell because yeah. Because I, I, I logged in today to see if my account still was there, but uh, apparently they reset it or deleted it because I haven't logged in in like 80 years or something. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, okay, so the key point here is season 2, I said, fuck this game. All right, we're going to fact check that. Did we actually say fuck this game at season two even? Let's see. Let's see if and at this here, point, this is so frustrating, okay, that I really feel that I, I, I said I'm just never playing this again. And I did. I quit it cold turkey. About I think it was about a year later. I went back and I reinstalled the game just to try it. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, listen, okay, so this is just a, a, a self retcon in the same video. So I, season two came along and I said, fuck that. Okay? He understood how bad it was. He tells you how bad yep. the situation is. And then he says, then I installed it again just to see what it was like. <laughs> What, what, I, I, what, what could it be like? You know, you, you have new cards, but the game itself is, like, still the game. Like, what was he expecting to find out? <laughs> oh, shit, they changed it to uh, GTA now. It's awesome. <laughs> what are they, what's going to change? <laughs> I really feel that I, 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 I said I'm just never playing this again. And I did. I, I, I'm never playing this again, and that's what I did. <laughs> quit it cold turkey. About I think it was about a year later. I uh -huh. went back, and I reinstalled the game just to try it. <laughs> and it was shitty. Like, I didn't really like it anymore. It was way too complicated. There were, like, multiple seasons of cards being played. And it Imagine a car that game being too complicated to play. <laughs> yeah. A lot of those games, what they do is intentionally make it overcomplicated so they yeah. can introduce a bunch of currencies that you can buy with money. Ah, so you nice. got gems, you got uh, in-game cash, you got <laughs> other currency that is only for events. You got other currency that once you get enough of it, you can unlock a special card. So yes, it, it's all a part of the, the scheme. Yes, the scam, you should say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> got penny points, you got all this kind of it currency. Was like, the only way to even play it at any level but, uh, is, it, is it really a scam money. if the people that participate in it knowingly do it no, and no, they no. know exactly what they're, what they're getting themselves into? Absolutely not. I am all for this. Like I've said, I've started my kids on an intense mobile game creation boot camp. They need to learn how to make mobile games ASAP because they need to bring in cash when I'm old. And mobile games yeah. is the way. <laughs> mobile games yeah. is the way. <laughs> Wait, so I stopped playing it. There was another game called WWE Champions that was like... Oh, here we go. I want to say this. it was like early 2017 it came out. <laughs> and I played it on and off casually over the course of that year along with all the other mobile games that I was playing. I was playing... <laughs> 
um, like Dragon that's... Ball. What was it? Uh, you know what he's dude. saying? He's flexing on that he played a lot of other games. So yeah. you don't like think like, oh, I played a fuck ton of other games too, guys. It wasn't just champions. Like that's a flex. Are you serious? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Damn. Go ahead. How did he even have enough time to log into all these games? Because it's not just like logging in. I assume if he was playing them consistently, then he was just also spending money on them. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Dokkan battle. Yeah. Final Fantasy. Do you have a, seven. by the way? Yes. Uh, do you have the clip of him talking about gift cards? Yes, I do. That's that. We're gonna okay. get to that. Yeah, we're we're gonna get to that. I do have. Uh, that. Yeah, that one is great. Activities. Um, Marvel Future Fight, and at one point I was playing this Fox cartoon characters card game as well. <laughs> um, and oh, I what? like the te like the the subject matter does not matter. It is a mobile game. I'm playing it. Like Fox cartoon characters, Family Guy, whatever. I mean, that's fine, but. It doesn't even matter. He doesn't even like Dragon Ball that much. He's playing Dokkan Battle, spending thousands, admittedly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just make a game. He'll play it. We got to get Detractor Gotcha Game going. Come on. He'll probably play it. <laughs> Only played it casually. Oh, yeah. That was the <laughs> That'd be hype. Game that I kind of like casually grinded in and just played on and off as a free-to-play game. Uh -huh. And I stopped playing it because I, I lost interest in it. it was, it's, a, it's a gem breaker game where it's like playing, um, <laughs> Candy what Crush. is it, like Candy Crush or whatever? Um, but that was always the side game that uh -huh. I played. The other games were my major focus at the time. And <laughs> that I'm was like, always the side game, and the other games were my focus. How many mobile games you rocking? <laughs> I've got side games. He doesn't even have side girls. He has side games. Get on yeah. his level. <laughs> Get on his level. <laughs> Wait, I quit all of that stuff when Cat moved in in 2018. Mm -hmm. I quit all mobile games. I don't. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Do I need to go to the? Yeah. Again or no? You tell me, Phil. How about that promise you made to Cat? I made a commitment to her. That's what he said. <laughs> Played them anymore. Yeah, well, I thought really yeah. you know, it's Phil. He's, uh, he's no, not said. known to be very consistent. Very but, well, true. I guess he he's consistent in playing mobile games. That is the, the that thing. Is he's very consistent. Yes, in. yes. I'd rather focus time on important stuff with my family and stuff. I don't waste time. They're all. I keep telling you guys this. Okay. Mobile games are money sinks. This seems like a broken dude talking about his addiction right now. Like, look at that. He's talking to himself. He's talking yep. to himself. There, you'll put money into it. You put time into it and money into it. And you don't get anything really out of it unless you're constantly keep playing and sinking more money into it. That's the truth of the matter. Now, these idiots want me to show you my accounts and everything. How the fuck am I going to do that? So I show you on my screen. Oh, that's not your account. That's someone else's. Or I show you on my screen, oh, look, that's a name we didn't know. Now let's go scour the internet for other times Phil used that fucking name mm -hmm. and other things so we can find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information. Fuck you. Yeah. Right? I've had enough of this shit. Hell I yeah. seriously am tired. Every little fucking thing in my life being microanalyzed by a bunch of no life, worthless, disgusting, toxic, do nothing, ne'er do wells who will never ever. Ne'er do wells. <laughs> On that note, fellow ne'er do wells, let's dive into the history. <laughs> On that note, it's time we go into the forums, okay? So we're gonna go to something called the 2K forums, my friends. And our story starts in uh, our story starts here in November 4th of 2014. These are the WW2 K WB Supercard forums. Uh, Phil has admitted this is him, and trust me, you can tell it's him uh, because of this. I hope you're hope, hope you're ready. So, Meerkat, hold on to your fucking butts here, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna start scrolling down. Oh my god! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, damn, man. So obviously we're not reading all this. I, 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 we would he, be here all day, all week. <laughs> he he used his Sonic Head avatar that he uses on his own forum on a mobile game forum, dude. Like, how, how am I supposed to take this dude seriously? Look at him. Look at his little avatar. So, uh, so this, the benefit of this of these forums is that so we're gonna read some of it. Of course, we're gonna get into it. So let's just read the first paragraph to get us rolling here. So. Of course, it's he's always carrying out. I mean, this is just a Karen fest. So, uh, threat. He started this concerns suggested changes for PCC from a sixth place place a six six uh number six placer. Uh, so PCC was power. Oh, what the fuck was it? Pro 
it, it was it was a fucking competition they did like weekly, and it's basically just a weekly competition to get your fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Pro, yeah. someone knows what it's called more. Uh, so it's just a way to get your money. And the top five placers got extra stuff. Okay, so you get you know you get extra stuff. For your top five. That's a big deal. So Phil, as you can see, got sixth place. So obviously he's salty. All right, the salt is flowing. Uh, so let's hear what he says here. Hello, all. Oh, uh, real quick. Yeah. Uh, before you start, notice that the join date is October 2014. Uh-huh. And Supercard, Supercard release, uh, just the second release mm-hmm. date, is August 2014. Yeah. So two months later, he was already, like, into it <laughs> and, like, hyping it up on the forums. Oh, yeah, and I should say, um, I, di- I didn't show it uh, yet, but here's the Twitter. This is the first Twitter. I called this the first domino. It's actually not the first domino of his mobile game addiction. It is the first mo- domino of his uh, super card addiction. August 14, 2014, Phil uh, tweets and says, so there's a FTP uh, mobile game car- uh, card game called WB Supercard for iOS and Android out today. Hearthstone, Hearthstone with wrestlers. Going to try it out tonight, I think. And that was the first tweet ever. And let me tell you, he was he it was so happy to share about this fucking game. He every day he's tweeting about it. It took over his fucking life. He wrote a review about it on his website, kingofhate.com. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that was that was wrong. Uh, that's gone. That is the old King of Hate website. I I tried it. Other people helped me try to find it. It's gone. We can't find that review. But d- dude, it's. Look at his team here. We already got the sexy Latino on the team. We got Chris Jericho. We got the Big Show. Hell yeah! Uh, so got Andre the Giant. <laughs> you know he's a big fan of Andre the Giant since uh, his old Discord profile picture was just Andre the Giant. Good pull there. Great pull there, Meerkat. So yeah. uh, obviously not going to show you all of this, but um, I I love this one. Oh, September eighth. Look at his yeah. uh, look at his win loss record as well. You can see it on top right. He's got 2,936 wins in 200-something-something something losses. Yeah, 286 losses. Very, very, so very yeah. high win right here. We are rocking and rolling, guys. Um, I love this tweet. Next time I show you guys my WB Supercard deck, you will shit bricks. <laughs> Found out. <laughs> <laughs> you will shit it bricks, guys. <laughs> this. Let me remind you guys. This is the guy that at this time... Uh, was you know still on top of let's say not on top of the YouTube world, but he's still making serious money. I mean, we're not at the peak. We're, I mean, this is the the year Evil AJ uh, made uh, this. How you don't play, of course, but we're still rolling in it, and there's we're still at the not the height of detractors yet by any means. So he's on top of the world, loving. I know yep. you were shit bricks, motherfucker. Yeah, you will love this. Uh, so we'll, and, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> since uh, at the time people weren't pressing him about his finances and you know questioning all that money, all, where all the money goes, he uh-huh. was freely and openly just going on forums, posting about it on Twitter. And with champions, you can see he still wanted to do the same thing, but do it in a, a as secretive a way as possible. That's why he did it in Discord in yep. some kind of I don't know private champions group. Because he was itching to flex on people of how good he is in the game. But he couldn't because people were constantly calling him out around that time for just constantly needing money. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a little little thing here I wanted to point out. Uh, So he used to do this, his super carding from an iPad. I know we often say it's the cell phone, but he clearly at this point uh, in September 8th had an iPad. He played Injustice, another mobile game he sank money into. WB Supercard and Plants vs. Zombies on his iPad. So big ups uh, there. So we have iPad playing. And this one right here is very telling. What's everyone up to tonight? You want to hear about Leanna's great night? You want to hear about what Leanna's doing? We're watching Breaking Bad while playing WB Supercard. I'm close to the end game of the game. And (laughs) yes, you are reading that correctly. He made Leanna play WWE Supercard. And she has said before she did not like wrestling. But she had her playing. He had her playing this fucking game with him, watching Breaking Bad together. That's the family time he has. To, it's so important, guys. We got to play. <laughs> like, hey, oh, honey, it, grab your phone. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know what he's exactly meaning under this because it might mean that they, both of them, were watching Breaking Bad and he was just on his phone playing the game. I don't oh, know if Panda I, Lee is confirmed to be playing. I, I just, is she? Just wait about... 15 minutes. Well, I'll show you that. She is oh. confirmed playing for sure. For sure. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I got... Don't worry. I got you. All right. So uh, let's read this first one. Um, so for those who that don't know me, 
I'm kind of a big deal. No, he didn't say that, but that's what he means. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm an avid player of WB Supercard since it was released. Participated in every single... Oh, there it is. People's Champion Challenge. That's PCC. <laughs> Sorry about that. People's Champion Challenge. And won a single of every rare event card. And for this last challenge, I decided to dedicate myself... Decided to dedicate myself... You dedicate. Time, money... Time and money wise to get into the top five. So he dedicated himself <laughs> time and money wise to get into the top five. Unfortunately, uh oh, unfortunately, that didn't happen due to what I suspect was underhanded means cheating per my research <laughs> and experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Allow oh, me. He got cheated <laughs> out again. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Okay, allow me to explain. And then suggest some much-needed changes to the PCC formula for your digestion and response. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, anyway, so he goes here, just the key points here. Uh, he talks about, and I also played with, uh, it had a play, yeah, like Meerkat said, you, the more you play, the higher the points you get, okay? Um, the, the more you play, the more points you get, the higher you get on the leaderboards. Uh, so Phil's bitching here is, I also played during daily tasks, such as cleaning up the house, making meals, watching TV mov movies at night as I unwind, etc. However, I did actually sleep around five to six hours a day. So during those hours, no playing took place. So he was playing so much, uh, and we'll see the true numbers of how much he was playing time-wise. Five or six hours a day sleep was fine. Uh, over the course of the next event, I juggled from anywhere in the teens to the top five and back down, depending on how much I played, slept. So you have to ration out your sleeping time for this game to be in the top five. Very cool. Well, he, he did say he dedicated himself oh. time and money-wise, so <laughs> that's, that's the, the time-wise. Uh, so eight to ten hours a day, bro. He was playing this more than like a full-time job. Absolutely. Ah, and there's further proof of that going to come up. Uh, whenever I approach the top five, all of a sudden those in the top five will begin to gain points again in reaction. It's very possible that those people were monitoring the game nonstop. <laughs> But it's more realistic that they either were passing their game between different players who monitored 24-7, or they found a way to play the game on multiple devices at the same time. Maybe a Facebook Game Center exploit? But I digress. The, until the final day, I was able to always fight my way back up to the top five. <laughs> but the final day, I knew something was up. Jonathan, who nobody had ever heard of and had never placed ever in a PCC before, had an absolute astronomical amount of points and was in first by a huge portion. The red flag? He gained points in groups of hundreds, sometimes thousands. Never did you see him incrementally gain points. He would literally jump up 700 points every few minutes. Sorry, but that's not humanly possible. Okay, that's not humanly possible. <laughs> Utterly insane ass. Does, do these games have regional pricing exploits? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, anyway, so we're not going to go through this all the way. Um, uh, I think so, uh, yeah. it, it, it all kind of has to do with the Google Play Store, uh -huh. I think. Okay. And, and those regional prices. So I, I think it, they might have it. <laughs> this sounds logical. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, uh, so here we go. Obviously, he says his stupid, stupid ideas. Uh, but basically, he's bitching because people just dedicated themselves, dedicated themselves time and money wise more than him, and and now he's pissed yeah. about it. <laughs> so he gets. Let me tell you, we can't read all these, obviously, but he gets shit on to the likes of which. Uh, every single point gets extended. Uh, that's not just that's just not possible. Just because you didn't make it in top five, there's no point in calling them cheaters. A person cannot be restricted from winning as much as they can. Uh, you know, he, he Phil's ideas are all shit shit on. Um, you know, some people agree a little bit. Phil's the man. Jay Woods. We have a DSP fan here uh, with that very hype. Uh, who's that guy in the? Who's his avatar? Uh, I, I I recognize the avatar. Uh, yeah. Is this Dusty Rhodes? Very cool. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes style fan there. Yeah, very American cool. style dream, dude. Big ups. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. He spent a lot of money. He's bitching about people spending more money than him and time than him on that. Okay. We're going to move on. We got a lot of posts to get to, so let's get to it. Uh, this is the guy he, he uh, accused of cheating, and apparently some other people thought it did as well. He explains himself beautifully here. Obviously, again, we're not going to read this. This is Jonathan, legendary player Jonathan of Super, WB Supercards, and uh, he explains it everywhere, and it very much seems like the community agrees with that. All right, I'm just going to say that as a summary. He agrees with that, okay? Uh, next up. Um, this, this is just funny, so I want to show it. Um, someone with a D making fun of DSP avatar, uh, the original poster said, I hope he uses them wins and documents the entire thing so people can see how it's done. So, um, 
you know, someone's saying how Phil could show how he's winning, you know, show people how to win. This guy says, he can't edit his YouTube videos. I doubt he'd know how to use a hack. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think we, we saw that on the previous screen when you went to Twitter. There was actually a, a TJ Gamebox equivalent, yes. even back in the day, to track his spending and his progress in the game. Yep. People were hounding for him even back then. We're going to show that as well. That's a legendary Twitter feed that I never knew existed. We're going to get to that as well. That's That comes up in about the next month, that Twitter start. I'm going to try to go in chronological order here, but it is tough because there's a lot to share here. Uh, but anyways, though, in fairness, his sudden jump to number one smacks. If you can't beat them, join them. So Phil jumped himself to number one. Uh, and uh, this <laughs> so um, it, it, Phil jumped to number one himself. This person is joking and stuff about it. And Phil doesn't respond here. I don't believe uh, dark side. Phil, where are you when I answer? Because they're asking, why don't you answer to this? Um, uh, so would dark Mr. Dark side feel like to explain how he's currently number one if the number one guy in all the past PCCs have been cheaters. Remember? That hmm. Phil threatened everyone. Yeah, so would you like to defend yourself, Phil? Uh, as usual, uh, listeners of the Density Scrolls knows, when people have good points against him and there's no way to easily def refute them, he just runs away and uh, doesn't, doesn't post. So no post needed there, right, Phil? Good job. Uh, here we go. Uh, another post here, as you can see, of similar length. Not going to read all this. Uh, this is only a few days later. This dude is obsessed with this game. Reminder, he's a very busy person with a full-time job. Streaming it six days a week, guys. Again, he's asking a stupid dented question. There's uh, a yeah, go ahead. really good paragraph um, here. So I spent money. Yeah, I know people will say it's dumb to spend money on virtual stuff. And every fiber of my <laughs> logical being agrees. Yes! But I also loved playing the game as I'm a huge pro wrestling fan and also a fan of mobile card games. <laughs> so I bought some stuff. Lots of useless epic cards that I don't need anymore. Uh, I... But bam, first legendary I pulled from buying was <laughs> Daniel Bryan. So immediately, I had my legendary pro. <laughs> and then in the next paragraph, he proceeds to say how he ke kept buying more cards and got some more legendaries too. So he was hooked up. <laughs> hooked the fuck up. I, at this point, I'm now decked out with some 12 legendary pro cards, as well as some singles that I'm looking to pair. And a few extra singles I don't need. But I've literally won them all through KOTR and PCC events. And if, even then... Even then, he bitches. Finally, after being legendary tier for 10k, 10,000 games and playing more than 22,000 games. Uh, so someone does the math here. And you, how long do you think a game takes, Meerkat? You know, um, about? you can be done with it if you skip all the animations and the cards playing, which is what the advanced player do. Uh, right. Probably less than a minute. You can get it done in in maximum ninety seconds. Someone, uh, someone suggested in this uh, thread later uh, that it's thirty seconds. Probably if you just speed run as much as possible, fuck everything. So with twenty, yeah, it's yeah. entirely possible for twenty thousand games. Uh, that's something like eighty hours or something. Of, of this card game put into uh, on that fucking you, yeah we saw what the game looks like 80 hours or more uh here we go uh meerkat was looking for the confirmation uh my girlfriend plays the game <laughs> shout outs to liana <laughs> sims hit legendary tier last night and her first pull was a chair what so lucky i saw people complaining about pulling legendary support cards as a freebie card and complaining on here if only they knew shout outs to liana nice uh, then there's some normal talk here. I found it very difficult to simply win at Legendary, even if you get tons of Legendary pros. It took me ages to get a tag team, and now I have two, and I can win probably 7% of the time, but nowhere close to as many times I win if I downgrade to the Brock or Ambrose, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, okay. That's kind of a, that's another post. We keep going here. Um, this is, yeah, we're hanging and banging, brother! brother. Hell yeah! Uh, winner of Hogan PCC Pro. So he actually did win a PCC event, okay? Uh, winner of Hogan Ho Ho Pro picks and how to do it. Hello all. I want you, uh, so happy that Cat Daddy instituted new cheating protections this time around. I was able to secure the number two spot and win the Hulk Hogan PCC Pro card. I will provide two picks. One of when it's maxed as a single card and one of them when he's maxed as a pro. First, the single. So, I mean, people know what the game looks like. I, I mean, does it matter the stats or something? Or is he just flexing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point um, of showing the pictures, I guess? Yeah, because I guess uh, if you scroll a little bit down to yeah. the lower half of the card, you can see the power is ah. like plus 41, plus 42. So it's like an upgraded card. Oh. Uh, also, I don't know if you have these clips, but if you look up a Hogan card on Pig Pig Go, you get several instances of him talking about how much money he spent. And oh, okay. I assume it's this card. 
I will search that right now. Get out of here, people. Okay, keep up Hogan here. Look at Hogan real quick as I search, because who doesn't want that? You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> you really need me in your card collection, brother. Uh, I think I have this loaded up already. Hogan card. Stupid. Uh, now, the first reference is 2020 uh, So uh, on Pigfeet Go, because he has deleted a lot of that shit. But don't worry. We'll uh, definitely get to that in the YouTube portion. I kind of want to work our way through this and then do that. Uh, he does say, um, so this is, again, how to win. All right? How to win, guys. <laughs> full... Full write-up of uh, all the shit of how to win. Uh, there you go. Uh, I do want to show here, just, I want to cut you back to the Twitter, because as I was looking for uh, this, this is September, okay? Not even that. This, yeah, this is September tweets about Supercard. Not just September tweets, September Supercard tweets. Look yeah. at this. Look at the levels that he was tweeting about this. I mean, this is uh, <laughs> why do you need TJ Gamebox when he's just snitching on himself all the time? This is just uh, yeah, there's just updates on how much money you spend, how much time you spend in the game. Reminder: only tweets that have SuperCard in them. It, it, it's amazing. The WB SuperCard event has started. We almost play for Jericho as the face side is way better card. Spread the word. <laughs> Spread the word. What the fuck? All right, and this is um, WWE, uh, NW Game Dad. Uh, that's the guy Phil just talked about to thank the guy for putting those cheats in. Uh, thank you for instituting the 25-second match rule in WWE Supercard. You weeded out all the cheaters in the PCC event. And, uh, yeah, that's why Phil was able to win. Remember? Because he, remember he threatened that dude for cheating? Now he's all, oh, that's yeah. why I can now win because he weren't cheating and stuff. Came in six last time because a cheater zipped past me. This time, he didn't enter. Gee, I wonder why. So thanks again, as I'm making top five. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and look at this evil AJ and enters the oh, battle. Yeah. <laughs> you, could show off, he, you could show off his e-dig for being first place now. Remember when you rage quit in Demon Souls, you fucking cheater? <laughs> Shout outs, <laughs> evil AJ. <laughs> Big ups, evil AJ. Nice to see you in the past. Okay, let's get back to the... Yeah. So this, uh, yeah. okay, uh, let's see point three here because yes. it says money and a it says in, in brackets a big one. <laughs> <laughs> money, a big one. At this point, everyone who's vying to win PCC is spending money. I learned this in the last PCC when I played nonstop five point matches and wasn't scratching the surface. So then started buying the title matches and wham, in one day I made the top five. So you will be dropping money depending on who you're using on your team. It's absolutely, it's absolutely necessary, okay? And we're talking probably up to and into the hundreds of dollars. Into the hundreds of dollars. Although it would gr vary greatly. To give more perspective, I was able to get the single Brock and Orton PCC cards in previous events without spending money. So that's totally viable. But in this one, he did say it's a big one. Hundreds of dollars, okay? Hundreds, hundreds. Yeah. Uh, so that's not that's not quite confirmed, but I mean pretty much confirmed. All right, uh, big ups to big ups to be be awesome. One says, "Give me give me a poppy PCC pro card number one." <laughs> number one. <laughs> uh, the yeah, poppy thing was really funny, man. They had like a strap match where they were beating each other with like an actual leather belt. Oh, big ups! <laughs> very fun. That sounds really cool. Uh, okay. Let's keep moving on. Big good shout there, Mirka. Obviously, if you see anything that I'm not shouting, please shout it out uh, because uh, there is a lot of forum posts. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. I'm trying to scan some of those posts for whenever it says that he spent a bunch of money because it's it's just walls of text, man. Yeah, there you go. Time per match, thirty to forty seconds. So there you go. You do the math on that. Twenty two thousand matches, thirty to forty seconds. All right, very very robust way to use your time and Leanna's time, by the way. Because let's not forget she's wrapped in this now too. All right, next thread here. Load up, please. Um. Uh, so, this is uh, people shitting on Phil's post, <laughs> and uh, Phil has to respond, obviously. He says, I accused two people of possibly cheating, Jonathan and Mokai. I already apologized to Jonathan, as it appears it was a server-side issue uh, in showing his points update, and we're cool. Until Mokai can explain how he earned 3,500 points in two hours, I don't care what Cat Daddy says. Just because he didn't speed hack doesn't mean something wasn't up. So, this is the guy he was talking nice with on Twitter this very same day. Uh, so remember I showed you that Twitter thread? That's him. <laughs> Go, da uh, NW Game Dad is Cat Daddy. So shout outs there uh, for that. So the guy that kind of worked <laughs> on the game, I believe. Uh, 
I pers a partial reason for this post to explain how it was there. Oh, because some people are saying, like, this is just you flexing, right? So, like, stop flexing, you know? It's just, like, thanks for flexing. Uh, for the record, yeah. I live. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. I love this. Engagement today. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, the snitchinator, dude. The scrappy, you're right. It is the snitchinator. Big ups for 100 likes, everybody. Let's see if it's a good one or not. Look at this. For the record, wait, get this bubbles out of the way. Get this fucking bubbles all over the place. All right. That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. For the record, I live with my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend in an awesome house, and I own my own successful business. So by all means, <laughs> doink, keep up the personal insults. I very much enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, Hell how yeah. much of a fucking bum you got to be to be flexing on people in a forum of a fucking mobile game, man. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> I own a successful business that I will repeatedly emergency stream on you in the next coming year. <laughs> oh, God. All right, here we go. Uh, ba ba ba. I certainly got my fair... Uh, I for certainly got my fair share of errors, but I'd say it's something like two. Okay, so there's one that not a lot of errors. He's just defending oh, by the way, himself. Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. Just a quick note. You know, you see in the bottom of every post how people have their own signature. Uh -huh, and correct, usually yeah. it has the cards that they're playing, their best cards, the, the highlights. Yep. Phil's signature says, current deck, who cares? Everyone plays with RTG Sting and loses the PCC winners nonstop. What a great game. He was We're just, he was even bitching in his signature. Yeah, so that signature is his sign, when he left the website signature. We're going to get to that. <laughs> but that's the signature he left with. Because, and there is oh, a damn. definitely lore, <laughs> there's a lore link there. We're going to get there. Not to edge you too much, everybody, but I promise it's going to be hype. Uh, so I play my iPad and iPhone, so I can't speak very much. My girlfriend has a Gen 1 iPad Mini, and the game ran very choppy on there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I honestly never closed the game when I lost a match, so I didn't even know you could save your title match by doing that. LOL, I just learned something. Oh, so Phil learned at this point that you can just uh, close the app. And not lose. I think he just learned that in that point. Well, he yeah. says he just learned that. You know, he might have known that long, long ago. Okay, so now I want to show some DMs here. So that, I know you can't see that one, but I'll make it so you can see it right here. Uh, here's a D DMs uh, from the website. And uh, people ask questions. Dark Side Phil, senior member. A private message. This is from the agriculture website. I don't know how they got it. Uh, but here it is. Uh, Someone asked him a question. I asked in the PC thread, but you did not answer. I'm curious how 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 much you spent to be at at sick. This could be a Kiwi farmer, by the way, that's asking the question uh, to him. Uh, I just got second the Hogan challenge and spent around two hundred dollars mixing five and ten point matches. Sorry, I just figured out how to get the PMs to work. So confirmed two hundred dollars spent on this one single event. You know what I'm saying, guys? This is not like total how much we spent. I'm going to be spending this much. This is how much you spent on one single event that lasts the weekend, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So that's just yep. a, a weekend two hundred dollars spending. You know, chump changed as we know now, but you know, <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, this yeah. was November ninth. Uh, yeah. In 2014, these games weren't as predatory as they are now because mm -hmm. now they kind of figured out that they can just take advantage of those people that get addicted, and those people don't give a fuck how much they got to spend. Yes. And that's why when you see a TJ Gamebox update of him spending like $1,000, that's just a drop in the bucket nowadays. But back <laughs> yeah. then, 200 bucks was a lot uh -huh. for uh -huh. a game like that. Uh, so at this point, though, clearly um, some people know about um, – uh, some people start talking about Supercard in a negative way uh, uh, to Phil, okay, in this uh, 2014 time. Because we do have a post, uh, big ups to the person that found this. This is from the old King of Hate forums, by the way. I know it's tough to read. It's very small. Uh, I'll try to make it as big as I can. Uh, but we do address Supercard for the first time as it's seemingly in a negative way, right? Like we got problems. So uh, so slant, uh, I'll say this one thing and then let this go because I already talked about it at length on pre-stream today. Slander will no longer be tolerated on this website. <laughs> it's one thing to say Phil can improve by doing this. And others say Phil lies on a regular basis. He's a bad person. The hilarious part about WB Supercar topic is that nobody understands the game at all. I won the event. Uh, I won the event last Saturday. Uh, as of Saturday morning, I had enough points to make it top five, which is all you need to get to, to, to win. Having a ranking above anyone from one to five is meaningless as long as you fall below number five. When I stated that I wasn't taking Sunday off to play Supercard, uh, because people were suggesting that Phil was taken off time to play Supercard events. This is uh, tr detractors or, or fans, I, either one. They were saying that he was taking off time to play these games, right, at the, around this yeah. time. 
is when people started picking up on this. Well, it, it does make sense. He himself admitted to playing it eight to ten hours a day. I mean, at this point, you can say he was fucking addicted to to it, so it does make sense. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and he, uh, but we're we're tracking your point. Okay, so people are already tracking at this point. Uh, when I started that, I say, say that I wasn't taking Sunday off to play Supercard. The common troll response was, but we're tracking your points, and it says you keep gaining them. You went from third place to second. This statement is completely idiotic, as going from third to second didn't improve my stance at all. Okay, so he's saying... He, he, okay, let's read the whole paragraph, and then I'm going to unwrap it for you here. Uh, I was actually doing minimal grinding, minimal grinding, to get energy for ongoing stuff in the game outside of the special event this weekend which is something i regularly do even on days i'm streaming my points barely rose that day because i'd already locked in my winning position the day before to recap people are saying you took the day off because you raised in points you went from third to second right but phil's clap back on that is it didn't improve my stance at all guys i already got top five that doesn't answer the question, though. You raised yeah. points that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just yeah. ignores that point. You gain the points during the time you're supposed to not be do gay doing this. You didn't take off for the game, right? <laughs> That's a, that, it's like just ignoring the point altogether. Guys, it didn't improve my stance at all. All you need is top five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it, but again, people uh, take shit as fact. Go ahead, please. So uh, the thing that he put in the quotes... He says it's completely idiotic and then admits to doing it. And then, because in the right <laughs> next, the, the, sen the sentence immediately afterwards, he says, I was actually doing minimal grinding to get energy, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So you just call them idiots and then you say they're right, but <laughs> yeah. they're not exactly right. <laughs> you fucking idiots. It doesn't even matter if I get more points. Okay. Sure, is that what we're going with here? <laughs> But again, uh, someone asked this before Evil AJ. This is the same year as Evil AJ. I mean, there was already Evil AJ existed, but the this how you don't play is that what you're referencing happened the same year. I believe that was April 2014. Don't quote me on that. We're now in November of 2014. Uh, but again, people take that shit as fact. People say he doesn't take the NEF plus supercar, but the but his points rose, so he did play it. And he's a liar. That then becomes Phil lies all the time. So wait, wait. Let me read this again. I can't even get it. People take shit as fact. Phil says he didn't take the day off to play Supercard, but his points rose. So he did play it, and he's a liar. Reminder, Phil said he did do that. He did play the game. Uh, yes. Back to Phil's quote, that then becomes Phil lies all the time. <laughs> so you admitted to lying, and then it, you, you, it, it's, you, it's detractors extrapolate that to mean Phil lies all the time. That's, that's the only thing he has a problem with? Anyways, it, it, this is a very... Very soft defense here, Phil. Not looking good. Uh, not tolerating it anymore in my site that I pay thousands of dollars to run for you, motherfuckers. I pay thousands? thousands? <laughs> At this point, it was How? true. The forums, I believe really? someone found out the forums cost like $1,000 a year. Because he, he just Why? He pays for the top level forum site back in the day. Like, there definitely is free ones, but he chose to pay for that. If someone knows in the chat knows better. I remember reading that, that he did pay $1,000 or something for the the form hosting. Dude, uh, this he, is, yeah, he was, uh, he was definitely getting scammed, man. This is just like a generic forum site. Oh, definitely. It's, how, how can this cost thousands of dollars? Dude, he, 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 you know, you know what it is? You know, the, like, go to those tiers, like free tier, pay tier, you know, uh, gold tier. Yeah. I'm sure he was like, all right, platinum tier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, all right, platinum. I want like, that. <laughs> that wouldn't even cost that much. It's like <laughs> maximum a couple of hundred dollars, I guess, yearly. So you can get extra storage and some other perks or some uh, abilities to do on the side. But that doesn't make any sense, man. Ian So Rare says, yeah, it was $80 a month. So not, you know, that adds up to a thousand more, a thousand a year, <laughs> not thousands of dollars, wow. but he always rounds up. Still but yeah, way too much. That's insane. Yeah. It's one thing to openly discuss I do poorly or suggest improvements or even call me out on opinions of me or thing, blah, blah, blah. But to spread blatant false slander because you're ignorant about what you're talking about. You just want to make me look bad. Nope. You will be purged. The purge is coming, guys. Shout outs. The purge is coming. Uh, okay. Moving back to the forums. Let's get this out of here. Uh, I'm not going to read this, but Pet Peeve post. Shout outs to Pet Peeves. Um, you know, it's just carrying out about the game, what he doesn't like. I have a major pet peeve with W Supercard. It's that the activation of a character's card special, but it's completely random, at least for my estimation. 
Uh, people uh, shoot shit them down right away. That's not ra they're not random. Um, actually, they are random. Okay, there you go. But and your own post even proves it because it's a percentage chance of occurring. Okay, whatever. Uh, here's the percentages. Whatever. So that supports my statement that right, I'm not reading this. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, Phil's next post. Do not enter King of the Ring if you're a legendary tier right now. Just a warning. The pop-up message regarding the start of the Survivor Series tier is now active live in the game. Blah, blah, blah. He's trying to help out. He's a he's a insane poster of this. We're November 25th still. Just on fire with this game. Uh, blah, blah, blah. More post. Boring. We're getting closer to December where some hype stuff happens here. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, you're... Someone asked a question about, what is it? Someone asked a question about King of the Ring. Yeah, regardless of what card you have, you have to stay charged as possible as paying massive attention to the hopes of getting tier first or second survivor cards. I'm about to face Jonathan again for the second time, and I guarantee he'll be ready to wipe the floor with me this time around. So Jonathan's going to beat him to Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, the guy oh, in man. first has now they... beaten me twice. Go ahead. <laughs> so this was, a, this was their fabled matchup, you can say. Uh -huh. This was his nemesis, Jonathan. Big ups, Jonathan. Maybe a new rival in the house, Jonathan. Yeah, the guy in first has now beat me twice and just and is just insanely lucky. He quad boosted to beat me with cards that are worse than mine the first fight. And the second fight, we both quad boosted only for his tag team of Warrior Hogan, which is worse than my tag team of Warrior Cena, to use their abilities to win while mine didn't. Since I'm only facing him one more time, there's now zero hope of me overtaking him. He's going to be in first place no matter what, unless he doesn't charge and loses matches to others somehow. I'm pretty screwed. And facing both Jonathan and this guy at 6 and 7 a.m. 6 and 7 a.m., folks. And he didn't wake <laughs> up early. And he did not wake up early. I can promise you that. <laughs> Shit, man. 6 and 7 a.m., respectively, and will not be awake <laughs> to charge my cards a boost. <laughs> Bro, imagine you're just like some random guy playing a, a mobile game in some completely random dude gets super pissed off at you because you beat him so he stays until like 6 7 a.m so he can fight you in the game man that's 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 a try hard that's a pure <laughs> try hard don't worry there's even more confirmation of the time he was spending too because i think he was saying i'm not going to play it here but i'm pretty screwed i'm facing jonathan at 6 and 7 a.m and will not be awake i apologize for that he was not awake but don't worry he stays awake and we got proof of it later uh, I'm definitely much, uh, blah, blah, blah. Half of the time I can casually check in every one or two hours and swap cards around charge needed. This time it's micromanaging hell, making sure that nobody tries to quad boost me out of nowhere. Quad boost out of nowhere? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he quad boosted out of nowhere. Random quad boost. Come on. <laughs> Which happened early on. It will be more exciting, but also more frustrating these first few weeks, I think. So it sounds like you have timed matches at this point. And you All can right. thank quad you for reopening your membership. I appreciate that. For some reason, you could do quad boost or something. So there we go. He's just pissed about that. Anyways, uh oh, here's the here's the here's the 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 detractor uh, bowl. Yeah. Uh, could it also be the guy is just a better player rather than lucky? Beating you twice would back this viewpoint up. Occam's razor in full effect. Oh, that's Occam's razor. Excuse me, Occam's razor in full effect. As Steve would say. Uh, Dark Side Phil says, you have better cards, full energy, full quad boost, but the opponent's side gets their abilities and yours doesn't, leading Early. them to win? That has nothing right, whatsoever to do with skill at all. It's the randomness factor of the game that I actually have issue with, but I suppose it also creates variety. But it's completely out of the player's control, so saying that the other player is better than you literally makes no logical sense here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, so there is this uh, random factor where some of the characters, or maybe even all of them, I don't remember. They have a special ability that's kind of like randomly activated. And if mm. they activate it, it's like a finisher and it makes the card super powerful and they beat you basically. Okay. So it's kind of like you have a n limited number of those though. Like you can't use them for everything um, or. Well, I, I don't know about that, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think, well, yeah, you can only use one card per match. Okay. And if the, the super activates, it activates, I guess. <laughs> but it's yeah. a, it's all RNG based. Okay. Uh, I like this. Someone got an HBK first pull. HBK is a damn good pull for your first car. Congrats. Hell yeah. Supportive Phil. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. More funniest to see. Uh, someone asks, I know people are wondering about the fabled match. What's the outcome of your fight with Jonathan? We just, we just saw. Well, he beat me two to one. It's just far too difficult to get diva matches repeatedly in King of the Ring, unfortunately. And guess what? Faced him first round in my next King of the Ring, so guess I'll be seeing losing him in the finals again. Sigh. 
All of you enjoy your two survivor cards since I keep getting stuck with him. Yeah, hell yeah. Pissed. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I predict the entire landscape of the game changing until the next PCC when people play the hell of it again to get the overpowered cards. Being at the mercy of King of the Ring matchmaking exhibition randomness will dominate for at least a few weeks, though. All right. So, so this was not yeah. not even like five months after the game released, and he's already not having fun. But yes. he is addicted to it. So addiction in full effect. Let's not forget. I put I I twi I, tw I pinned it. So I spent money. Yeah, I know people will spend. It's 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 dumb to spend money on virtual stuff. And every fiber of my logical being agrees. He said that already. And he's already, he can't quit this. I just can't quit it. Yeah, Cracker Jack, all this is happening in the span of five months. Yes. This is all five months post. It's not like we're going through years. It's five months. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and even if you look at his join date, he joined in October. Yeah. So it's actually two months. Because now what we're looking at is from, um, from December. <laughs> Uh, okay, so initial cyber pros, everyone is pulling divas. All right, everyone's pulling divas. Uh, let's see if there's any funny money to munch in here. I don't think so. Uh, there are, in fact, there are currently more people with diva pro survivor cards than those who have male wrestler pros. Oh no, I want my sweaty men. All right, whatever, get out of here. Uh, so we're in December now, and December is when I, I want to introduce you to a legendary Twitter account that I found, and this is called the Supercard World Order. All right, and uh, this started on December 6th, so we are chronologically correct here. Uh, this person started tracking Phil's uh, spending and points, not spending. You can always spend, uh, track points here, and they were going pretty hardcore. So uh, you can, uh, with their, so December 5th, that's literally the day we just showed, I believe, or within a day of it, uh, tracking it. And they can track, um, you know, how many points they're, they're gaining. That's all he's basically doing at this point. Uh, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. So there is some good stuff to be found here, though, because once he starts, uh, I, uh, Phil blocked him instantly. Uh, day later, day the day of this account being created, uh, and I want to scroll up here. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's uh, <laughs> so here we go. He said, "I lied. I'm not asleep yet, but hey, it's 4:36 a.m. Okay, and neither is Phil. He got 520 points in the last hour. 4:36 a.m. Okay, 4:36 a.m." Next Damn. tweet. Next tweet. Uh, good morning. It's 1020 a.m. PST here on December 6th, and Phil is at 15,956 points. So he Bro. gained 1,000 points between the hours of 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. <laughs> Reminder, he was at 14,520 uh, points at 336 a.m. when he tweeted, heading to bed. <laughs> Man, if, if he enjoyed playing video games for his job nearly as much as he enjoyed playing this, he would have a million subs by now. Dude. That's some raw dedication. All the time. All the money. You, you could just have... Man. Man. You could just have it back. Imagine getting all that back. Man, like, how, how, how does this make sense in the narrative that he used to be super addicted but overcame it and now he's just playing casually? Here you got proof this dude was staying up all night to grind out for fucking Hogan's. And, dude, next, and all right, let's talk about uh, the next morning. He's awake at 11.22 because he gained more points. So he, he, he we're playing the game till 4 or 5 a.m., who knows, up at 11.22 a.m. Let's see if he shows up to stream on time because he was late all the time. And you wonder why he's late on stream. <laughs> you know? Look at this. So this one, I checked on it. I can't get those streams back. But during this stream, apparently, he said um, that he, was, he got a phone call from his mom. So he, a parent. So he has to step away from the stream for a little bit. This person tracked the time. He was playing Supercard while talking to his parents. <laughs> if he was talking to his parents at all, it's the real question, right? But holy shit, yeah. man. <laughs> Because uh, I think uh, fairly recently, um, Gamebox caught him playing champions while he was on a break or something. Yeah, when yeah. he went to yep. the bathroom. So yep. this totally fits. It fits. <laughs> if you if you are still doubting that down from the rafters is Dark Side Phil, man, this this definitely clarifies everything. It puts everything in a, a nice little bow. Yes. And very much in perspective. And I'm sure we've all seen Secret Limited's video, and you know you think that's like as bad as it got. 
but my friends, that is not as bad as it got. It's, it, I mean, it's not, he didn't spend as much money in this game, but just the addiction, the addiction on display, you know, it, it's... Excuse me, it's called yeah. dedication. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> dedicate myself. I don't dedicate myself enough to anything like that, so I, I, gotta, I gotta step it up. Uh, this person says, no, seriously, put the iPad down, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom, did you know I got in 12th place on this mobile card game event going on right now? <laughs> Still grinding. Well, he's supposed to be talking to his mom. I'm sure talking to his parents feels like work to him too. Endlessly grinding. Endlessly grinding. <laughs> hey, to be honest, look at it. During during the stream he's doing it, guys. During the stream. God. All right, so look. Uh, that, yeah, go ahead. I guess that was the benefit because at some point he wasn't on camera during the stream, no, right? No, no, he was not on camera at this point. No, it's just t totally. Phil's not even looking at chat at this point. This is when I stream, but it's a, it's, it's for it's customer service. If you want to, it's yeah. fan service. If you want to watch it, watch it. But it's, he doesn't, he doesn't address it very much at this age, at this time. Yeah, <laughs> this is also like a super unhinged part of uh, DSP. The uh, kind of the, his whole career was that he wanted to double dip on being a streamer and a YouTuber, but he was so fucking greedy. He wanted to contain his original format that didn't have him talking to a stream chat. So he would just pretend they didn't exist, uh -huh. but he would still take their money. <laughs> so look at this. So this person on December 6th is a, a trooper here. So he got a break and he notes the points. He has 16,576 uh, 16, points before the break. Okay. Before the break. After the break, as expected, a productive fucking break. <laughs> Keep everyone waiting oh, while you grind that supercard. <laughs> and and this is one where we know it's him. This is not like down from the rafters where he could say, that's not me. This is him. He, he shares his own screenshots of his name, and he chose Darkside Phil. This is him. This, this is, you yep. can't even say it's like, oh, someone made this account. We're not at that point right now. This is him. <laughs> I love whore is the person he's fighting with. Come on, whore. Pick it up, whore. Come on. Yeah. And I, I see people are um, are still asking why he doesn't actually monetize playing champions and have an account about it. It's because that the moment he admits that that is him, uh, first of all, it proves that he was lying the whole time uh, to the side scrollers in all the segments where he was accusing people of, of uh, lying and slandering. Yep. And it also puts in question his entire bankruptcy. And the money that he had put under his business expenses, it just, all of that is getting debunked immediately. So he can never, for the life of him, admit that that is his account. Yep, yep. That's, that, that's like, I think if there wasn't the bankruptcy factor, like, I think he might have pulled that ripcord and said, you know what, guys? I have a problem. I need help. And, like, I think his, you know, dented fans would support that. But yeah. the, 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 the bankruptcy makes that impossible. He can't, he can't do it anymore. That's, that's why he can't show Craig the screenshot. He can't do that, you know? Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's why it's literally impossible. Um, uh, let's see. I don't want to go too far ahead. Only 100 points during this break. <laughs> and I like this too. The king, look at, the, look at this leaderboard. The king whore, dark side Phil. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's, uh, just more spending. He, he, uh, he keeps going. I mean, he does this daily for a little bit here. This super cardboard lord or legend. Uh, 2 a.m. PST, a uh, horse seems to be awake again, but DSP is almost caught up. So 2 a.m., we're on that grind. Come on, Phil. 3 a.m., not much of a gain. <laughs> up till 4 a.m. grinding away. You bet, brother. 4 a.m. grinding. Come on. We can't Hell let yeah. whore. Oh, we, we overtook the whore. Yeah. Hell yeah. 5 a.m. Still grinding. Always on that grind. God damn. We got the grind set. Come on. At this point, it's not even a grind. It's just a lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, this it seems like you're doing that shit every day. And at the same time, he's flexing on forums about living with his beautiful girlfriend and having a successful business. That I don't know, man. That's not very successful to me. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you're doing. I imagine that life, my friends. I don't care. I know you might think Phil makes a lot of money. You wish you had as much money as him for doing so little. But imagine your life being... Reduced to this, sitting on a bed with your, yes, you do have a beautiful wife that you're choosing not to spend time with, staying up till 6 a.m., seeing cards bash into each other, wasting hundreds of dollars because you yeah. can't quit it, because you can't quit it. And I'm coming, I'm an addict too, and I, I've never been addicted to spending money, luckily, 
I was addicted to alcohol, <laughs> and I'm still addicted to alcohol. That's why I know I can't drink it. But I promise you, that's a prison he can never escape. I mean, maybe one day he can. But that, no matter what the money, it's not worth the life he's living at this point. And it's still living now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not like this is over. It, there's no, like, and, fucking, you know, happy ending here, you know? <laughs> th th that's the thing about this. Even whenever he's not playing the game, he's still thinking about Jonathan and how he wants to beat him. And he's still <laughs> thinking about how what he's going to do when he gets to play the game. Yeah. So it's all just, at this point, it seems like it all just revolves around this game, man. So with eight hours to go, Phil is at uh, number 12 here. We got, we got a problem here. Hor is, still at work. Phil, Hor is outworking him. Come on, Phil. Pick it up. <laughs> Noon with six hours to go in the PCC. Of course, the true people's champion is now yeah. Hor. Come on, Dark Side. And Pick it up. <laughs> you can see the, the DSP avatar changed to Ryback from Hogan, so you know he got a good pull. <laughs> he, he pulled yeah. a, a good card. Uh, so Mokai, uh-oh. This asshole Mokai. Uh, is, in, is in fifth place with 34,000. It doesn't look like Phil's going to do good in this event. And here's an update before they begrudgingly starts playing Far, Far Cry 4. See you at the first break, Phil. So here we go. Dur live tweeting this. And we'll do this all, all day, but it is fun. So 21,000 here before the break. He has to play Far Cry 4 now. He has to do his actual job now, unfortunately. So we're going to start that. Uh, uh, buh, 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 the, 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 and now, oh, by the way, yeah, at this point, Phil stops talking about w, uh, Supercard uh, because he now realizes that people are on the, tr on the case, okay? So as you can see, he goes nuts until uh, blah, 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 December of 2014, okay? He's still talking about the game, right? But it slows down. It, it stops now. As you see, the next mention is not to 2019 because now he knows that people are on the case. And now the tweets stop. They are radio silence because he knows that now people are watching and he can't wail out and be, you know, look at my badass deck anymore. It all stops. So this all public yep. persona is it lasts three months of, of, of super, uh, super card. And then he realizes, oh, shit, people are seeing how much of time I'm spending on this. I can't talk about that anymore. And it's done. Uh, but we are far away from <laughs> we are very far away from stopping playing. OK. So we'll come back to uh, this tweet, Twitter account uh, in a second here. Don't worry, because I do want to share some fun stuff there. Uh, again, Phil is still playing. This is the same day we were just looking at. Uh, this is the event. Oh, sorry. I got to change my screen here. Uh, the, this is the same of day that those tweets we were looking at came from. This is that very same day. So again, Survivor Tier will need major rebalancing. You're just bitching about it. Bitching about why I lost. Uh, Luke Harbour, the Ryback of Survivor Tier, whatever. Bitching about rewards. Uh... As a wrestler, I'm actually quite impressed with Ryback. But as a card, being slower than Andre and Yoko is a no-no. <laughs> I oh love my that. God. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's move on. That's not a, kind of not the hype. Uh, bitch, more bitching. And I remind you, I'm showing you all the posts. It's not like I'm, I'm cherry-picking. It's just he bitches. That's all he does on these posts is bitch. All right? That's all he yeah. does is bitch about it. So... Uh, and he's got about, 265 yeah. posts, by the way. That I, I assume a lot of them are just paragraphs long. And responses from to what I've seen. That I, the, the, I can't really search for his responses. I can only like find the ones that he kind of did started. So yeah, we are missing some, for, absolutely. But yeah, 265 posts. Uh, so uh, <laughs> look at the, I love supportive Phil in new communities. Because new community side Phil will be supportive oddly because he's trying to like you don't always don't hate me yet, right? Because look at this. Damn, so you're actually slightly worse off than me. Sorry to hear that, man. But after reading the above, it's good to see I'm not the only one in this boat. Ridiculous amounts of supports are needed this early on. But we all need superstar cards, dude. So, anyways. Uh, let's go. Keep moving on here to, uh, let's see. Next one is, we're still in this. Hey, hey, what's your favorite way to spend Christmas, Meerkat? What's your favorite way to spend Christmas? Maybe with your family, maybe with your girlfriend, maybe with um, a glass of wine. Asking... <laughs> Uh, gathering around with family and asking them all to buy me gift cards for Christmas so I can spend them on a mobile game. I'm a big fan of that. December 25th, 2014. Ho, 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 bitches. Say hello to Sting. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're going down from the rafters, buddy. It's showtime. Hell yeah. Survivor Sting. And this is a very famous card. The Sting card. I do need to add that to the pool. I did not f foolishly. 
Uh, but here we go. Bef and this one, we're we gonna see, get. Uh, yeah, just go a quick explanation. Uh, in the bottom of the card, it says the Stinger Splash, which is his finisher move in the game. Yeah. And this is um, it, when you activate it, you get a bonus. So that's what I meant earlier when we were talking about like the abilities of the character. Oh, okay, so okay. that's what you get. It, you get a bonus to your power or your speed or whatever. Yep. Um, so here we go. Um, this I believe this is this is the this is the um, sting in his signature. Remember that signature though is not from this time period. That's his sign off from this website signature. So he's kind of that's what he kind of did quit this forum. That's his signature there. But uh, here before you start for the pro sting RTG card, unless you have an insanely good deck and or plan on grinding uh, plus one matches all weekend. Good luck. Because there are some killers out there in the form of Jonathan, Joss, Double D, Figaro. Oh, look at these legends. Hall of Legends there. And others who have amazingly good decks overall. And oh yeah, even plus one matches rotate these guys. So unlike PCC, where even if you have a lower tier deck and blah, 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 you cannot do that. You have to have an amaz overall amazing deck or get lucky to get enough points to beat these guys. All right, so there we go. This is how you win, though. Okay, this is how you win. Uh, it's um, this one, by the way. This one we could say the cost, okay? So, it only costs $40 to win this, okay? So, that's a low cost. Outside of, though, the time, money invested to build my amazing deck. So, how much time, though, did we spend in this to win this? 4.5 hours on this event only, okay? But he says, incredibly easy compared to PCCs, okay? So, this one took 4.5 hours, right? <laughs> and, but, but that the, the key <laughs> factor of this yeah. is is um the the last line where it says outside of the time and money invested to build my amazing deck so yes. the at until you get to the point where you actually are even capable to win this sting card you must have spent hundreds of dollars hundreds. beforehand yes. just to get there mm -hmm. so again this is phil just uh flexing that he got the card you know um because no one else kind of does this so he got his congrats uh <laughs> why are his stats so low uh, played. Look at this. So played almost nonstop and took me 4.5 hours. 4.5 hours of watching those cards bump into each other, and that's not even a long time for him. But there you go. Think about that. Uh, so and uh, bout refills. By the way, yes, I spent money. So he's yes, I did spend money, but only about forty dollars. Okay, only about forty dollars. There we go. So this is and this. I just want you to keep in mind. Keep remember this face. Remember this face, Stinger. Uh, the, the legendary Sting, because he's going to come back uh, in our story later today. Um, we're now getting into... Uh, <laughs> so, December 25th, people have responded to Philip. And uh, here we go. Uh, figured I'd wake up to negativity towards myself on Christmas for posting this up. But whatever, as people have already said, it helped them. And that's all that matters. Look at his Christmas spirit coming out. Uh, I couldn't post up further helpful matchup tips like Jonathan did because I played straight through five or plus ten because I used nonstop title match and never picked anything else and won every match. Came close to losing about five times overall near the end, but I always won with my deck. That means he had a hundred percent win rate. Very fun game. Um, wish people would stop taking things that are said and turning them negatively. Just because I said I played exhibition nonstop during PCCs to get more survivor cards doesn't mean I'm talking junk to anyone. It was just a thought-out strategy for this event, and it worked for me. If I didn't have the deck I had, I probably would have had to carefully pick matches near the end of the event like others did. So if you don't wail out like I did, you might have to do other tactics. And it would have been taken me longer to win. I'm about to celebrate Christmas with my family. And the last thing I wanted to do was have it be the back of my mind that I have to complete one or two more tiers of this by midday Sunday. So I got it all done in one shot. Right, so Philip didn't want to think about this during his Christmas celebration with his family. So he just did sat there for five hours like a whale and took care of it then. Sound good? Anyways. <laughs> Sounds good, man. <laughs> so anyways, that's the nature of the internet. You always have people who are negative, so this is nothing new to me. Hope that all the tips in this thread uh, uh blah 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 or help others be successful. Okay. Responsive questions, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I want to go back to the Twitter here because um, he points out some. We're going to get to the end of his forum life here, by the way. Uh, but I want to show. Um, so December seventh, I want to kind of fast forward a little bit as well. Uh, by the way, I'm, 
<laughs> honestly, I don't. E oh, sorry, you can't see that one, but it says I'm just gonna read it. Uh, honestly, I don't even want to move right now for, for fear. I'll just scroll down. Fuck it. Oh, uh, you can't see because fucking thanks, Elon. Here you go. Honestly, I don't even want to move right now because I fear I'll barf. Today's first stream, unfortunately, isn't going to happen. Sorry, everyone. Okay. So he canceled another stream in the morning because he's going to barf. Okay. So what does this person do? After that stream, checks the, f checks the profile of Philip Burnell. One minute ago, logs into that fucking forum post, though. You got to get that, right? You got to log in right away. <laughs> first thing, first step, say you can't stream because you feel like shit. Then log in to the WB Supercard forums. That's what you do. Sound good? <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to show. Thank fuck there. There it is. Okay. So this one, real quick. Real quick. I want to get it. I, in the past two weeks, I've played 10 thousand total matches played in two weeks holy shit dude. in two weeks i played ten thousand total matches conservatively I, I think yeah go ahead as a frame of reference i think at some point uh during that summer i played the game overall throughout the entire summer i had about a thousand games by playing casually Step it up, dude. Step the fuck up. Two weeks, 10,000 total matches played at conservatively 30 seconds each, okay? 30 seconds each, all right? So, just a little pap pap uh, napkin math here. That is 300,000 seconds, all right? 300,000 seconds. Let's divide that by 60, okay? That'll get us to 5,000 minutes. All right, well, let's divide that by a further 60. That will get us to 83 hours. 83 hours in two weeks. So, uh, so literally more than a full-time job. If you work like five <laughs> days a week, eight hours a day, that's 40 hours. In two weeks, 83 hours. That's two weeks worth of actual job. And, and it's a job that you spend money on. It doesn't even pay you. <laughs> yeah. A job they give you money to do it. That's kind of the benefit of it. But what do we get with WB Champions? Where's that fucking sting face? This is what we get. Hell yeah. 83 hours, motherfucker. Step it the fuck up. What's wrong with you? Assholes in chat. Don't have the same grind set. Man, I oh. hope the the stinger splash now becomes a new meme alongside the Hogan <laughs> leg drop, because the stinger was definitely an accomplice in this whole thing, man. Just as guilty as uh, the Hulkamaniac is. Evil uh, W uh, Phil says that I'm resting, and Evil AJ, the fucking legend he is, says uh, playing W Supercard is resting. <laughs> Good question. That is that's how he that's how he chills out, dude. Uh, let's keep going here. So, um, a few more uh, forums here before we get into the YouTube side of things. The YouTube side of things. <laughs> uh, he did get the sting. There we go. So that's the sting, the the legendary RTG sting. Okay, that we really wanted to get. All right, that's what we really wanted to get. I believe Phil answers something here. Um, does he? Maybe he does not. Up oh, bugged, bug tab mechanics, dude. No Phil there. Um. This one as well? Shit. Everyone's talking about the sting. Everyone's talking the sting. Uh, the sting is a big yep. deal. Okay, just remember there's a sting. Uh, uh, Sunday. By, okay, here we go. This is the key point. By Sunday, we're going to have a ton of people with this card, I think. Okay? Oh, so this card was very, very overpowered. Once you got the sting, you're looking good. You're looking really good. You can win yeah. a lot. All right? So, and obviously, when everyone else has it, it gets not having too good. Okay? Let's get to well, it kind of yeah. sounds like his YouTube career, right? When he <laughs> yeah. was the only one who was doing that kind of stuff, he was successful, and then other people started doing it, and then he was a bottom bitch again. Very good point. Very good point. All right, so uh, now Phil has a forum post about RTG Sting, okay? Interesting question. You can't decide interesting questions, motherfucker, but here we go. Interesting question I have to propose here, everyone. <laughs> Uh, do I need to push the button? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Uh, he says, uh, did the game just break itself? Because when everyone has RTG Sting, no one does. No, he doesn't say that. That's what he means, though. That means everyone is going to use him, which creates an interesting variable in the game's atmosphere. <laughs> it creates an interesting variable in the game's atmosphere. Uh, within one event, the entire game just got euthanized. Unless you're one of the guys who wins every PCC, 
which I am very, which I very well am not. So, what does everyone think? I'd be very curious to hear what Game Dad, Cat Daddy, has to say about it. All right, so blah blah blah. He wants to know what everyone has. I worked so hard for this Sting card, guys. Now everyone has it. Well, I'm not special anymore. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, more Liana confirmation. Yeah, I really feel for those of you who weren't able to play because of the holiday and missed out on RTG Sting because he was that easy to get. Even my girlfriend, who plays about a fourth as often as me, X to gout on that one. X to gout. So, so that that's still like two hours a day. You're grinding in a game that you don't even care about because she doesn't like wrestling, right? Liana <laughs> didn't like wrestling. <laughs> She, yeah, and she, she's playing 20 hours in two weeks? Please, please. Frog Machine, good point. This is only affecting the top 1% of all players, this, this, this RTG Sting thing. But she was going to skip. Oh, yeah. Game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love this. I love this. I love this. Uh, okay, even my girlfriend, who plays about a fourth as often as me, who just recently hit Survivor tier, got him. She was going to skip the event, but I told her, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> As so many people got this card, it would have made it unplayable for her moving forward. When this many people get the card, it ruins it. You better fucking play, honey. Don't put that iPad down, Panda. Pick it up. <laughs> she wanted God, out. Man. Do you think, but now, now if you think about it, what if he got Cat to play champion so she can develop her own account to some kind of level, then he can present that as his own to debunk the trolls, dude. I, I'm still you. sure that people can track down the, the creation date of the account and all that other <laughs> stuff, but for him, it might sound, in the, the casuals, it might sound like a convincing excuse. If that is the case, Phil deserves to go to hell for so many reasons of how much of a douchebag. Not, let's just forget, forget the addiction and all that shit. Just the amount of lying and shit, shit he treats his fans, he deserves to go to hell for that alone. But if that is the truth, there needs to be a special room just for him. Because that is... <laughs> D d depravity that you just can't there, there's no level for that there's not enough levels of hell for putting someone through WB champions just to make yourself look better about something you lied about that yeah that oh. would be wild <laughs> oh my god <laughs> alright but Panda tried to get out but uh, I told her do not do that do not do that do not do that bitch this is important hungy <laughs> Oh, making Panda. Don't quit it, Panda. All right, anyways, I don't think he talks anymore in this. Uh, okay, so we're still bitching about RTG Sting. All right, we're still bitching about RTG Sting. This clearly has hit. This clearly has hit a frog machine. <laughs> uh, maybe she misunderstood the assignment when Phil said that. <laughs> That's my uh, only catch. I today. told you to pull the stinger. <laughs> Why didn't you listen to me? God damn it, cat is bugged today. It looks like uh, I'll 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 cancel that thing. But um, Joe Dub in the house says, "Don't drop the iPad. Never mind. Just give it to me. I'll get it for you, honey. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of that, honey." <laughs> Fuck, catbot. What are you doing? Don't fail on me. All right, let's move forward positively. Positively moving forward. Uh, so anyways, still bitching about this. You know. Bitching about RTG Sting, it's a big problem. Uh, so while previously people who had it in PCC could get up to a 95% win rate, now because everyone has RTG Sting, it's far lower no matter what kind of deck you play with. So now RTG Sting has lost its power because obviously everyone has it. So it's not a, it's not a suck. Yep. And this, and this, yeah. Notice how we get a, a classic DSPism, a 95% win ratio, not a rate. <laughs> oh, ratio, bingo, big ups. Good that's spot. a that's a classic. That's definitely classic. Uh, uh, ba ba ba. Anyways, he's talking about the shit more. I do want to share another screenshot from a DM at this point. I want to go in chronological order, so let's get that up. Ba da bow. Another screenshot here. This one I know is extra hard to read, so I will read it for you. Uh, someone asks a uh, forum post about um, congrats on getting him so early. Thought I'd ask a few a few questions regarding the event. I've got about $20 I can spend from Christmas. <laughs> I won't do much good, brother. $20, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you Bro, that... <laughs> he's acting like a, an actual like child that got a gift card for Christmas. It's like those kids that get V-Bucks for Fortnite for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And this is a dude that at the time was making over 100k no, no. a year. This guy's asking Phil this question. Sorry. This guy's asking Phil the question. So this guy is asking the whale Phil, hey, I only have $20. 
Is that going to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. Don't worry. We'll get to the spending. Uh, congrats. Oh, that's Schroeder's cat now. It's an outdated card. I got to change that. Um, anyways, I've got about 20 hours I can spend from Christmas. Do you think that'll be enough to get just title matches? I can wait for the hour bouts. If I play it smart and choose my enemy wisely, how hard of a time will I have with this deck? So Phil is a... He's obviously a, a knowledge base for this game now. People are asking him questions in DMs. Phil says, for $1,200... You can buy a pack of 15, 000, uh, 1,500 title matches, which is enough to win the event doing straight plus fives. But with that deck, you would definitely have to drop to plus three and plus one matches in Legendary to Survivor Tears. I'm not sure if you could win the overall event, as my deck was insanely stacked, and I don't know how well the game scales to your deck level. Based on what I faced, you could definitely make it through Legendary level at the least. So, Phil, this is not confirmation of Phil spending this, but it could be, Right? Phil knows yeah. if you spend $1,200, you can buy a pack of 1,500 title matches. Holy shit, man. Can you imagine? I can't imagine it. I cannot imagine it. I can't. $1,200. Like, people bitch about, and Phil bitches about $60 games that you play for hours. And you can spend $1,200 on title matches that last 30 seconds. You're stupid not to buy it. Good point. This is other addictions, I remind everyone, give you fun. <laughs> right? Addicted to whores, at least you're getting laid. Addicted to booze, you're having fun for a night. Addicted to drugs, you're having fun for varying levels lengths of time <laughs> yeah addicted to gambling sometimes you can win money you know <laughs> yeah. but this what's this what is the this? stinger <laughs> yeah, oh i forgot the I forgot. stinger splash i forgot i did forget i did forget that's what it's all about here that's what it's all about um here we go now people are piling on dsp talking about the rtg stinger Phil says, I love how people are piling on me and calling me one of the top guys, big spenders, when I only shot for top five in two PCCs, meaning I was a big spender in two of the PCCs. <laughs> only did it in one and did not actually play in the last two at all. I agree that spending entire weekends playing the game to earn a PCC Pro is insane after doing it once and hating it. Oh, man. So he spent just a weekend with the cards bouncing off each other's dicks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, I agree that uh, the game should be fun if you're a normal person who can't sacrifice hundreds of dollars entire weekends of your life. And in my opinion, it was much more so before everyone got this card. And by this card, we're talking about Sting. Seems like some people are more happy to feel like they stuck it to the top players instead of using logic to realize that giving everyone the second best card in the game will do. Plant <laughs> the real top guys don't give a crap about this card uh, because they already got two other Survivor PC pros and can't lose. Hell, go Survivor Plus tier. You could already fight Adam, who is 3M, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, the, I'm currently in Survivor Plus Plus tier, which is the top, you know, top of, top of the walk, cock of the walk tier. Uh, and winning every match using a deck without RTG Sting, it keeps me away from the PC winners and fighting people who have weak decks and are only in that tier because of that Sting card. So Phil nerfed his own deck, right? That's what he just admitted to here. He nerfs his own deck to not play the top players, right? Yeah. He, we just want to win. <laughs> we just want to win. <laughs> so don't, take out that... <laughs> And then so he can so he can keep winning because, you know, things actually got easier for me because that doesn't mean I can see that I can't see the game is much worse than every match is fought with the same card. OK, so, yeah, Chillbot, Great point. Smurfed himself. Go into a new console. Pick a new character. Yeah, yeah good point. Great point. <laughs> Seriously, please engage your brain before po before posting such utter drivel. <laughs> <laughs> I have lost a grand total of five exhibition and PCC matches during the past 10 days. And I don't play RTG Sting, and it made no difference to my win rate. Zuffy wasn't respond. Oh, wait, was this? Uh, or Rob, okay. Zuffy. Uh, wait, wait, let's see how he responds to this. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, good point, Profit, as well. Dis disable crossplay, so it doesn't have to play against PC players. Yeah, that's another way to nerf yourself. Uh, to the guy above, congrats on your unbeatable deck. I guess we'll see in the top five of this PC. Oh, wait, LOL. But yeah, way to miss the point that an entire game of matches with RTG Sting is just boring and crappy one. And not that the elite are upset at losing a few matches. You're deluded, sir. <laughs> what, what what are we talking about the elite all this shit that he is bitching about only concerns the top one percent of yes. players in the game he is in the elite he is in the elite he is in the elite but we're bitching about it n nonetheless i'm not rich guys i'm one of you i'm not with these elite guys he is one of them the definition of one of them <laughs> anyways Let's move forward. I do want to jump back to the, the Twitter uh, legend here because there's a lot more fun to be found here. Uh, this is, again, a post I showed you. Wine, 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 wine. Uh, <laughs> people bitching about DSP views at this point. Let's see how many views. He had 123 views watching his Halo 2 uh, HD campaign live stream. Big ups, 123 views. Um, <clears throat> again, lashing out at people that spent more money than him. You know, again... Uh, blah blah blah. This is I can't tell what that means. Supercar thing is gone and gone. Uh, September sixteenth. Want to make sure I get the. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're we're entering the end game. I'll say that we're entering the end game of the forum post. Okay, so here we go. Right here, December 29th. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go. All right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. Uh, I appreciate okay. that. December eighteenth. There's a tweet. I know it's hard to read, but I'll read it for you. For the first time ever. Reminder, this is not an airport, but for the first time ever, I'm not going to play very hardcore nor spend money on this PCC. Pour one not out, very brothers. hardcore, just a little bit hardcore. Pour one out, brothers. We're not doing this PCC. The higher rewards are awful, in my opinion. I'm going to play straight five-point matches. I think I have this one. What are the five six? Does everyone hate... Uh, okay. Anyways, so he's crying about this shit as as if anybody on the fucking forum cares. Yes, that's what like I'm from saying. what I've seen from from you scrolling through it. Half the replies to him is just people telling him that he's crying too much. Yes, I'm looking far more towards the upcoming twenty card mode. So we're looking towards the future mode. But anyways, uh, so uh, so it's pretty much a waste of time unless you actually want to spend your entire weekend playing. Or and spending money to get the top five, which is something he has. Okay, <laughs> uh, so it sounds to me like Supercard here is saying uh, the ten point matches. I guess that must be the most like you have to pay to use those matches. I guess it sounds like to me. I don't know, Meerkat. Maybe you know. Could you pay to get? I have no idea. Matches? Okay, but uh, I I never cared about the events. I just wanted to make a deck with like cool cards and stuff. Yeah. I just played exhibition mode. I was playing in like a super casual capacity while I had nothing to do at work. Yeah, which is how most people do spend their time on mobile games. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, the, uh, these people don't quit. The, these are not quitters. The Miz and Whore, hell yeah. Big ups to them. Uh, and here we go. Uh, this is now Phil. Now remember, reminder, reminder. Phil said I'm not playing this PCC, but what does he do? We got to let everyone know how I finished anyway, right? <laughs> So ranked, <laughs> ranked somewhere in the 4,000s and don't care. You don't care enough to open up that fucking laptop and make this post, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't even care, okay? So hang on. Let me write these paragraphs for you after, though. I don't care, though. But here's my paragraphs, all right? Here's my paragraphs. Uh, tried playing Survivor++ plus plus with a full team. I only got matched up against one of the five people who have a full team uh, including Rock, Andre, Mysterio, Austin, HBK, Hogan, Sting, the Bella Twins. Hell yeah. Complete and utter BS. As even if you played nonstop, won every KOTR and played in the last PCC, there's no way you got every top card proed in three weeks' time without buying a massive amount of cards. So obviously, people are insanely hungry to be at the top this fast and paid their way for it, which I'm not complaining about. Oh, <laughs> oh god i'm not complaining about it this is <laughs> this is the classic not i'm not complaining while i'm complaining i love that one that's a classic that's a classic dsp dsp ism 
But not being able to play a full team or survivor card of the PCC kills any interest for me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, again, we're still responding here. Had 33,000 total points in sixth place in the, in the Ambrose PCC. 13th or so in the Sting PCC. 12th in the Orton. And I think top 25. Is, I don't compete. I didn't compete. Just because I only want top five in two events, got cheated out of the Ambrose one, but I won't beat a dead horse here. That's, remember, the first post we showed about him complaining about cheaters. It uh, doesn't mean I'm not competing. Uh, didn't even understand the point of your post. Right, whatever, right, right, right. Okay. So uh, he's not, obviously, when he's not in the top, you can only po uh, track the top 50. So Supercard World Order has lost the ability to, um, to uh, track at this point. Anyways, so let's move forward positively here. Uh, we are almost done. Uh, Twelve twenty nine. Just lost my first King of the Ring match in three weeks. So we lost a match, a first match loss in three weeks. And of course, we got to bitch about it, though. Don't you bet your ass we got to bitch about it. Uh, was it because of strategic strategic card placement? Was it the other guy's deck was better than mine? Was I uncharged or unboosted? Nope. Nope. Our RTG stings went head to head. His used his ability, mine didn't. His other match win was a charisma match with Rock, who is unlosable. Such gameplay, much skill. Wow. I'd rather I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I, I wonder how many matches he has won using that same RNG ability. It's like, what the fuck? He loses once and then we go and cry on the forums? Once Sounds like a in, bitch. Yeah, once in three weeks you lose because of RNG. And we have to yeah. bitch. We have to bitch. Once in three weeks. What is going on? This is not real. Once in three weeks. Are you serious? Hold on. I'll get it back for you. There we go. I'd much rather lose to cards that took out. Le I'd rather match lose to cards that took legit time, money, effort to earn. <laughs> I want cards that take money to earn, motherfuckers. That a card earned in a game mode where we're told only those with the best overall deck will win. All right, so remember, this is all about Sting. We're, this is just Sting Cope right now. We're in Sting's world yeah. right now. It's just Sting Cope, all right? Sting has ruined this is, life. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this is this entire time he is falling from the rafters in, like, slow-mo. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's the saga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so um, uh, Whore has totally uh, killed Phil's. Uh, let's go back to the time. Tor is dominating. He's pissed. Setting up the stream. We're of course, when we set up the stream, what does that mean? Of course, you got to log into your WB Supercard forum post, right? I mean, you have to log into that. Who doesn't do that before streaming? I consider that setting up the stream, too. Uh, here we go. Let's get to December. I'm going to get to more current times. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, I just showed that. Ba -ba -ba, let's go. go. D December 20. Uh, here we go. I like this. You are correct about DSP, even if you put in nice words in some places. He is a show-off. None of these tips look any special to me. Just a lot of, I did it, I got a unique deck, people who do PCC waste time, I am smartest. It's just a game. Grow up. Throw money at anything, and you can win it. Very smart post by that person. Well, he is following his own advice, at least, nowadays. Oh, definitely. By That's the way, good. um, I, I don't know if we mentioned this on TBS, but around Christmas, I think it was the 26th, he was ranked number one in one of the champions events yes. for, for a brief period. But that's the first time ever I've seen him be number one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's never got, I think there's, there's always a bigger whale. Like, you know, there's some CEO billionaire out there that also has the same addiction that just won't quit. Yeah. You know, like there's gotta be one of those dudes. Uh, December 28th is when we changed the signature, the uh, RTG signature. That's what the salt is real. That's December 28th. Uh, the supercar players are figuring Phil out. Uh, they said things like, um, I'll read it to you. I don't post much, but why is this dark side Phil dude always bitching out and moaning and thinks he is better than everyone else and deserves better cards than the rest? Great question, sir. One more. Anyone know how old Phil is? Because he whines like an 11 year old. Imagine his boast said in the, imagine his post said in the voice of Eric Cartman whining to his mom. <laughs> mom, I'm not unbeatable anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the RTG sting and I just logged King of the Ring final to a guy that had the two separate ones. I'm not crying though. I just try again tomorrow. Can't believe he's upset about losing one match in three weeks. Hate that guy. What a self-entitled loser. 
Oh. Bro, this is just the, the FGC forums. This is just SRK all over again. Yes. And he started out neutral here, which is the thing. You know, which is the thing. Uh, so let's get to our first post on Twitter in a month for Dark Side Phil. If you don't mind, I'm going to jump over there. Hang on. Let me get set up the stream here over here. Uh, uh, that's right. There. And, uh, oh, not that one. My bad. Hang on. It's not that one. It is this one, sir. Idiot. Second idiot. There it is. Uh, so he posts on, December, on November 9th to this NW Game Dad, which is a dev of the game. Okay. December 31st, we got a real problem. NW Dad, the maintenance has just ended. Did not pause King of the Ring and Supercar, and tons of people lost, wasting two days of play. Response? Question mark? Which, I question, is there a more Karen way to end a tweet than response? Question mark? Oh, yeah. And the response <laughs> is even funnier, dude. <laughs> this is what matters to... I'll get to that, too. I'll read both. This is what matters to DSP, you blind fanboys. He's canceled streams because of a mobile game. So stupid. <laughs> Dana Davis responds maintenance was under one hour everyone was in the same boat <laughs> so games played out fairly just start another king of the ring it's free that's how addicted he was man <laughs> an hour of maintenance and he's having a meltdown on twitter and asking people going full on Karen what is your response on the matter how are you going to address the media after this kerfuffle dude one hour and he's tweeting the devs He's tweeting the devs with response. He has not changed a single fucking bit. And this is 2014. This is Burger King all over. Uh, last year, WB Supercard wronged me and still has not given me reparations on my lost hour. <laughs> and they're right An there. Hour, man. <laughs> that was the last public tweet about Supercard until we get to modern times. I will show those when we get there. We are almost done. We're just about done with the forums. I promise you. And let me get to more fun YouTube stuff. Uh, but let's, I got it. We got to finish out the story, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh, again, more bitching, more bitching. Uh, Phil, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm starting the wrong screen. Bada bow. Phil is back to playing, though. Uh, no, you know, he's kind of getting back his way. Got to top 50 again in January 1st. This is New Year's Day. So, you know, no need to take a break there. That's per prime time, right? Prime time to get the pools in. Uh, <laughs> Phil says that in the very same stream that day, I'm very busy. I don't have time to do anything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so busy, um, one hour gone from a game sends you into a fucking tizzy. All right? That's really yeah. hard, dude. Same very shit, cool. different day. We, we got the same excuses nowadays. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Triple H. Connecticut Except Blue Except nowadays... He kind of realized that he can just spend money on the game so he doesn't actually have to go full on no life. Uh -huh. So yep. he's just doing that instead. Yep. He found the hack. If you just get your credit yeah. card out, you don't have to grind as much. That's kind of cool. I mean, come on. Big ups. Nice find the life hack. 4 a.m. grinding here uh, uh, on January 3rd. Reminder, he's still pissed about how this game is run. Very upset. Very pissed. But oh, the way we can still grinding. Uh, let's see. So... <laughs> we uh before, another pre-stream uh uh point count here we have 14,599 points and here we go to the break oh he didn't oh he didn't play any super card during the break big ups <laughs> oh uh oh there's whore dark side feel arch nemesis come on yeah <laughs> hell yeah oh and it's a uh... It's really funny now because Avatar is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. <laughs> yeah. And well, yeah. by the time he's finished with all his mobile game spending, he might be the million dollar man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're fighting. We're fighting. <laughs> okay. So we're just going through. Obviously, Phil changed his uh, avatar. Uh, 1,300 points in the last hour and a half. This, points, this person is uh, thing they uh, are paying for 10 point matches, which he did confirm earlier he has done before. And as Frog Machine pointed out, the one and three point, whatever, the lower point matches were free, 10 point matches were pay. So Phil is gaining points at a level that means you probably have to be spending money. Uh, 630 more points in the last hour. What's his goal again? Remember, he hates the game at this point. Uh, yep. <laughs> but we're still spending the cash. <laughs> we're still spending the cash. 15 minute break. Uh, uh, yeah, last stream was 15 minute breaks. So we gained about 200 points during that break. Big ups, big ups. Uh, and uh, I kind of want to get to the ending here. I'm kind of ready to go. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Um, blah, blah, blah. I want to see this here. RTG. Let me get this one here. January 8th. Okay. 
We're going to go to January 8th here uh, on the forums here. We're getting to the very end. Only four more posts left for DSP on this website, prestigious website. Uh, so, in uh, remember, we're now a week or so removed from hating this game. RTG Flare sucks, all that bullshit. Uh, RTG Reigns, Flare Cards Discussion. So I just finished your RTG. It took me four hours and about 30 hours to complete constantly buying ballots and title matches. So 30 hours only on this one. I'll refrain from leaving any kind of tips, as last time I got a tons of negativity. <laughs> Big ups. <laughs> I'll leave that to the pros, and instead just post up the card stats. First, the new Survivor Flare card, which is very highly ranked, even about Austin. So we got the new Flare. Shout outs. Woo! Flare. We got Roman Reigns. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. The big dog. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. And uh, people, grats and thanks for share. Nice job, DSP. Blah, blah, blah. This, and now he has to explain himself. The reason I'm refraining from tips is because I have probably the second to third best deck in the game. Wow. Second to third best deck in in the entire game. Uh, it's entirely Survivor pros besides one legendary pro diva, and even those who have won the Survivor PCCs don't have as good of an entire deck as me. From what I've seen, my worst card was Survivor Pro Cesaro, uh, Cesaro so I have no idea if, if it's harder because I literally played from start to finish in four hours. <laughs> literally played from start to finish in four hours. Plus five point matches, not the title matches, with the title matches enabled, and I never even used a support card. Just ran right through the entire event and never lost. So I really have nothing to contribute but the card stats. Holy shit, man. Spent so much time, more time this than money for sure, but didn't lose in five hours. Imagine a game like this. What? That's wild, man. Imagine a game like this. People are asking for tips. So I, I think there's more LARPers entering the forums now, trying to get Phil to say these tips. They're not coming. Yeah. I think I've been, you know, he's not like, share the tips. How if much you did you spend? Stream, <laughs> Big up, 175 likes. Thanks, man. Nice. Big up. Um, that's crazy. Uh, here we go. One more Leanna shout out. Uh, my. Uh, played a tiny bit in the exhibition, haven't run to anyone else with the Reigns or card yet, but I suspect over the next few days we'll start to see it just like the RTG Sting. Unless people are actually having a tough time near the end, please post up and let everyone know. My girlfriend will be attempting this over the weekend, and her deck only has one Survivor Pro, full of Legendary Pro, so we'll see how that goes. Nice touch. Your girlfriend... <laughs> I love this. Nice touch. Your girlfriend doesn't want to fall behind, does she? <laughs> the game would become unplayable if she had to listen to your Mr. Superiority ego talk all of the time. Lucky girl. <laughs> Whoa, Get that's fun. a good diss. Yep. No wonder this guy got banned. You can see under his username, it says banned. Get that ass Because that's the shit you get banned for. He, get him out of here. Hit him with a stinger splash, man. <laughs> get him out of here. Come on. Bill doesn't respond to that. Probably bitch to the mods to, to ban that, dude. How come they posted about this on the over that? He just skips over that and he just, you know, goes back to normal. Uh... After, I ran through the entire event, no breaks, in four hours. Never lost a match and never used a support card. Yep, never even bothered. What a fun game. Four hours. Four hours. What a life, man. What a life. What a fucking life. All right, let's go. Are you ready for the goodbye? Do you have your violins out? I hope you do. Because we have our first exit from the game, and I say first on purpose. January 11th, 2015. Remember that post we were just showing with all his sharing tips and stuff? That was three days ago, okay? Just for, just for reference. <laughs> three days later, goodbye and thanks. Enjoy free RTG <laughs> wins in survivor level. <laughs> so if you're looking to get both Reigns cards and Reigns or survivor level, I just nerfed my deck and face and fee, uh, FE place most cards with commons. Good. My name is Darkside Phil. So if you see me, please go to town. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> My name is Darkside Phil. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, I'll still be playing this game from time to time. Oh, you goddamn right about that. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, so I want to disappear entirely, but I won't be posting anymore. WWE Immortals is out next week, and I really love Injustice. So I expect to get caught up in it and only check back here for King of the Ring and periodically have new events arise, which I doubt. Which be and I doubt. I expect this thread to be closed, flame soon. So I end it on a positive note. <laughs> King of positivity here. I love pro wrestling. And I enjoyed this game and the community a lot. Goodbye. And happy gaming. <laughs> How do you what love this fucking community? diva. <laughs> How do you 
love this community. Everyone just shits on you for your insanely over dramatic, over dramatic shit. Oh god. So uh, yeah, apparently he was hyped to play WWE Immortals, yes. but that seems like it has a lot of gameplay in it, and yes. I don't think he liked that. Can't Especially that. coming off of a game that is super low effort, like SuperCard, where he barely had to do anything. This game actually looks like a kind of like a fighting game type of clone. Uh -huh. So yeah, I don't expect him to like it. Yeah, I just saw that this was edited by Darkside Phil. Now this could be my local time, um, Easter Eastern Standard Time, but 4:38 a.m. with the edit. Hype edit there from DSP at 4.38 a.m. Very important stuff. A very busy guy, okay? So don't think he was doing that. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So I attempted a goodbye message and failed miserably with typos. So I'll try again. I was drunk. Yeah, Jin does He was that. definitely drunk. Uh, I wonder if he tweeted John after this. Uh, but first, I've nerfed my RTG deck at regular intervals level to have mostly comments. It's a free win, so please challenge me. Oh, he, oh, wow, what a saint. Now I get it. He nerfed his deck so you can play him and get free wins because he's such a fucking saint. Whoa. Oh, this is Mother Teresa here. What a legend. I'd like to thank NW... You already said goodbye. We're doing it again? All right. I'd like to thank NW Game Dad. Everyone on these forums has been civil, friendly to me. At this point, everyone at my level has the Sting Rowan Survivor Pro cards, making it incredibly boring. I also like no fun in PC events as the lower tier rewards are worthless once you're in higher levels and sacrificing entire weekends to get a single PC pro card is an insanely unrealistic waste of time. This is a game. And those who would continually waste their real lives desperately need to seek evaluations of their real life situation. Bro, that's you. That's you. We got a new you pin. You used to do that shit. We got a new pin right there. DSP in 2015. Okay, let's get that in the pin. Spent like what, 82 hours in two weeks? 80, That's a full-time job, my guy. 82 hours in two weeks. 83 hours in two weeks. <laughs> Look at this. I love this. Thanks for the memoirs, buddy. <laughs> 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 Golf G, man. You're awesome, dude. Wherever you are. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this is how positive DSP was in January 2015. Sad to see you go, bro. I enjoyed reading your threads. I'm seriously going to miss seeing DSP on the forums. I'm not joking around, and I actually mean this. <laughs> Hopefully things get better to the point where you can come back and enjoy the game. Imagine the, the, the life you have where you have to say, good luck, dude. Thanks for hanging out. I really mean this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how much of an oh asshole God, you have man. to be. What? <laughs> okay, so let's get to the forum post real quick again. Let's get to uh, this guy's take on that, obviously. Uh, he says, oh, no. You know, uh, he says, oh, no, he's quitting. Uh, yes, he made two threads. <laughs> the developers of the game should send him a message saying, thanks for the money, dummy. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if you do remember, I do want to go to this is January 11th, my friends. Okay, January 11th. Just can you remember that date in your minds? Because we do have one more forum post to share. And you might be guessing, like, hey, maybe it's from 2016. Maybe it's from 2017. You know, maybe he did quit it for a while, then came back. All right? Well, let's go to our next post. Load up, please. January 15th. <laughs> January 15th, <laughs> four days, four days, all right, four days, four days, we have another goodbye post, First... <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just this... goodbye again, it's, uh, this, this is what I've been playing, <laughs> dude, this motherfucker has more retirements than the real Hulk Hogan, yeah. Oh my god. It's not even like to say something like, you know, I don't know, what else, what something else, responding to someone else. You know, you could respond to another person saying, "Okay, here's a tip. Here's what I've been playing, guys." All right? Here's what I've been doing in the last 4 days since I quit. Oh my god. All right. Let's uh <laughs> uh I'm uh, here we go. So I got to read this. Uh, this is, uh, again, we're, we're still bitching, though, all right? So don't worry, we're still bitching. My conclusion, Cat Daddy, that guy he talked on Twitter for the hour thing, has figured out that RTGs are more profitable than PCCs and are seeking ways to make them more difficult. They managed to get a few more bucks out of me. 
But th So he did spend money again, by the way. They managed to get a few more bucks out of me. He did spend money again. But this will be the last RTG event that I take place in. I'm now done with this game, as everyone I face has complete decks full of the same RTG cards that I have. It's ruined. And I'm moving on to greener pastures. <laughs> I, I wish all of you... Yeah, greener pastures. Let me tell you, that's, that's true. Sweatier pastures. I wish all of you stick around the best of luck. <laughs> But I have better things to do than fight toss-up mirror matches in this game for the rest of its life. Goodbye and enjoy. Done with it. Hit it. Hit me with it, yeah, Dark thanks, Side Thanks, Derek. Phil. Dark to Phil, give me the done with it. I'm done with it. Bulls, uh, you said that last time, and yet you came back. <laughs> Waits for the next RTG to see you ne the next goodbye thread you create. <laughs> I find the leaving part <laughs> very hard to believe. <laughs> Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. <laughs> Only person to blame for cards with the worst stats being chosen is you. Not sure how that's their fault. Well, we're not done posting. We're not done posting. Get the fuck out of here. I got to post more. It's harder for the wrong reasons. Not because it matched you with better players, but because Cat Daddy made fake players with the best decks over on the game to fight those who have the best decks. Yes, Cat Daddy made fake decks. It's basically a screw you to those who spent the most time money at the game. Now he's admitting to being a, one of the people that spend the most time and money at the game. It doesn't really. Well, he, yeah. he, he did admit having one of the top three strongest decks in the whole game. So you kind of assume he spent a lot of time and money. <laughs> Great point. <laughs> Great point. It's basically a screw you to those who spent the most time money at the game. It doesn't really deter anything, as you can just play plus three matches instead of plus five, but it just proves that they are trying anything to nickel and dime every player out of more money in these events. You starting to get the hint? Clearly not. In addition, yeah. when... <laughs> you starting to see how these mobile games operate, brother? <laughs> in addition, when you do play human opponents, the game now frequently excludes your best cards and or picks your worst stats on purpose to make you lose and spe play more spend money. <laughs> She sucks his dick. <laughs> Dude, he is blaming... He, RTG for Phil is just... It's a scam. I mean, it always is their choosing. So now the, there's no RTG. Uh, RNG, excuse me. Uh, they are choosing things on purpose uh, to make you lose. Okay, to make you lose, they are doing this. All right, sound good? You get, get starting to get this, guys? All right. Uh, not actually, It's not, again, not actual difficulty, just annoyance and a cheap way to make money. Big ups to the crazed dragged queen, Gordon Flash. Says Hulk Hogan on Law and Crime Channel because his son got pulled over. Bill has that at on replay, bro. <laughs> replay, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also, uh, recently there was this news story with Hulk Hogan saving a woman from a car wreck. And I, oh, very you know, cool. Phil wishes that was him. You know, you look up, the car is all like in flames, and you see the Hulkster is like, I'm going to save you, brother. That's, <laughs> that's for all the times you pulled me, brother. I'm going to pay back, brother. <laughs> That'd be pretty hype, dude. Nice. All right. Uh, Phil's not done yet either. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Not as interesting. We get above Jenna here. You have four cards to pick from. You pick your very stupid card to speed match. Magic your opponent's card. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, I'm Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Finally. 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 I'm done with this game. WWE Immortals is released. Oh, his second goodbye of the same thread. Again. But I'm done with this game. WWE Immortals is released and has a lot of bugs. But overall, it's way more interesting this game at this point. I may continue to periodically play, but I'm done posting here. I only played this RTG because it came out of nowhere. I fully expected this to be another PCC, which I was going to skip and focus on Immortals. <laughs> focus on Immortals. This is, what is this, his like fourth retirement? Uh, I think so. Hey, is, we, we might, but, but... Do you think this is his last post, Meerkat? Might you be thinking that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Okay. Well, you got a surprise coming later, my friends. <laughs> no more Phil. Uh, people making fun of him, though, do exist. I thought you were gone already. <laughs> uh, congrats and good luck. They haven't a clue, blah, blah, blah. Okay. He's gone. So, you might be thinking to yourselves, watchers out there in YouTube land, Phil's done playing, right? This is 2015. Season one is now complete. He's done, right? Yeah, brother. <laughs> okay. Let's move forward positively. Uh, the person is just talking about... Um, uh, oh, good point here, by the way. From this person said, Hey, Phil, if you're serious about quitting, delete all of your cards. Post picks for us to see and then uninstall Supercard. That's quitting. 
And that is what you have to do if you're addicted. That's what it takes. Yeah, pretty much. You know, but of course, you know, you know, <laughs> we are so far from that happening. You have no idea. All right. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phil, this is a, just a funny thing. Phil said he had to have a big drive to downtown Seattle to get a hotel. The drive is 18 minutes. So, yep. Huge drive, guys. 18 minutes. Anyways, let's move forward. Uh, this whole with this whole forum thing, man, I've never thought that he was this desperate for attention because you got to keep in mind at this point like 2014 2015 he was getting so much attention everything was working out for him his channel was blowing up people were showing up to his videos but i've never thought that he would need so much attention of every facet of his existence to the point where he would be going on random forums making threads and like trying to get as much attention as, as humanly possible this dude is unhinged <laughs> uh someone uh points out let me get on the screen here uh he uh this is someone from the forums again you can't see i'm gonna read it uh oh no i'm not gonna read that actually skip that it's not, not not interesting uh so he said goodbye for moving on phil's done right phil's totally done this game right he, he's done right we're in august 18th 2015 august 18th 2015 my friends six months removed season two we're hanging and banging brother we're back in a big way October 22nd, 2015, we are playing WWE Supercard again. We can't quit it. We definitely can't quit it. And you think, and let me show you, we are really back. We're still playing. 2 a.m., still playing. Oh, man. 3 a.m., still playing. Now that's a comeback. Look at this. <laughs> 10 a.m., fourth place. I'm sure he didn't get much sleep. Yeah, because 3 a.m., he managed to climb. So 2 a.m., fill out 8,000 points. 3 a.m., 8,600 points. And in the morning at 10 a.m., this person, Supercar Award Order checks, 9,656 points. We are back in a big way. <laughs> but, brother. But, my friends, as we're going to see, this return is never mentioned by DSP, ever. Uh, even in modern times, uh, he will never talk about this return. Uh, he, it, this, this one is one that is retconned away. Okay, we're going to show you. When we get to the YouTube side, we're going to show you. But all this return, I, I mean, just showing you. Obviously, he, he, he doesn't talk about it. Uh, but he, uh, gr you know, stream break, grinding. You know, it's still going on. It is just 100% going on. He's not on the forums. I guess he could be with a different name. Uh, but he's not on the forums anymore, but he is absolutely on it. Top five again, you know, where you know, it's just yeah. incredible. At, at that point, after all these uh, threads where people make fun of him about his retirement, he might have actually started feeling uncomfortable of posting on the forums. So he was just like low key playing the game uh -huh. and not posting anything. Yep. Uh, so he got top three before he has to go to bed. <laughs> At four, oh, by the way, 4 a.m. Uh, wake up. He's back to the grind. Fourth place. Hell yeah. This guy does not stop. So there's nothing interesting here uh, as interesting. It's just the playing does not stop, right? Um, so this person here, uh, Supercar with Order, is, is uh, suggesting. Uh, he, he, I have to assume he's been using point doublers the entire event. That means he's probably spent around $150 uh, for this event, you know? So just a drop in the bucket to now, but... Over an hour, we're still spending. We are in this event very much. 20-minute stream break. Hell yeah, we're playing it. Final results. Phil, third place. Yeah. Oh, and he barely it. made it to, to, like, number two at least. The, <laughs> the difference is, like, 200 points. That's how crazy you got to be. I mean, this is insane. Uh, but yeah, so you and, can, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you, you think he must have been thinking, man, if I wasn't streaming, I could have been at least, like, top two. God damn it, this fucking job I have yeah. is pulling me back from actually pursuing my passion. Oh, man. So November 19th, this guy is saying like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. We, oh, I, get, I gotta follow Supercard if I'm not. I gotta follow Supercard. I, all my follows are memes, if you've ever seen it, on the That Being Said channel. All of them are like Sikorsky and uh, every, every company yeah. that's wrong, Tim, <laughs> that's the only people I follow. So it's like 14, people, 14 accounts. Anyways, this week's event is People's Champion Challenge for Roman Reigns. It's that time again. Phil, you're going to come back? Hell yeah, we're back. November 2015. We're back. We're back in a big way, brothers. So, just, yeah. you got the point. He keeps playing. 
he keeps playing, he keeps playing. I'm just going to fast forward to when he stops playing. Uh, he does... Oh, and a good point here. He's got a throwback card for his avatar. You can't get those without playing them, without buying them. So he bought an avatar at this point. Big up. Starks, I feel with the uh, wow. his throwback. Oh, Hitman, Bret Hart. Hell yeah. Love Bret wow. Hart. So you, you, you straight up had the option to buy a specific card? That's not even available nowadays, dude. Nowadays, you just like get a random pack of cards that is <laughs> of a legendary tier or whatever. Because, you know, they perfected the art of uh, gacha. All right. And I, it's, it, this is, I mean, I could keep scrolling. I'm, I'm, let me just scroll. I don't care what's there. Uh, Phil says, I quit playing Supercard a year ago on his stream on March 9th. I think we're going to see that. Uh, but he has not quit at all. And the last post from this person is May 12th, uh, 2016. And Phil is still there. Uh, that was the last post they ever did. They still got there. And just by chance, who is that avatar? Meerkat Mob, who is that avatar? Is, is Sting, but it's the WWE Sting. Well, what does Sting do? What is he known for, brother? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Doing the, the Stinger Splash, going down from the rafters, perhaps? Hell yeah, brother, down from the rafters. Yeah. This uh. is... This is the, the, the missing link, right? I mean, there's so many links, but for me, this is it. He, his last post from WWE Supercard is Sting. And he goes, that is the count for WWE Champions is down from the fucking rafters. Poetry, my friends. Poetry in motion right here. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that still hasn't been entirely explained about the champion stuff is how you change your name. Uh, because I, I believe what he did was reach out to support and claim that he was being harassed or whatever. Maybe he even paid for it. Uh, but as far as I know, they don't offer name changes just like natively as a part of the game. Yes. And, you know, some people might say that, you know, like, like you said, he could have changed his name, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm sure you, normal people can't change their name. Of course not. But if you spend enough money, they'll do whatever the fuck you want, I'm sure. <laughs> they'll yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, so... We're not done with our sting hatred, right? We're not done with our sting hatred. So we got enough. We got all the forms out of the way. Let's move to the YouTube side of things. And uh, let's get, uh, we're going to go back in time. And again, there's, if you ever want to clock out, Meerkat, do not be afraid. Because we have a lot of mentions of Supercard to get through. And this oh, is where uh, the mind starts melting. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm on board for the whole ride, man. Okay. I'm riding shotgun. I'm awesome. responsible for the music. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Because this is... This is where the mind starts melting when you see the, the amount of retcons and things he's told. Because he tells the same story, same story 14,000 times. I do want to first bring up the, the gift card thing because that is a good reference to bring up first. Uh, so let me find that one. I did have it, but now I fucking lost it. Let's play the first one real quick. This is just a short thing. This is August 21st, 2014. Remember, this is when uh, Phil just starts playing. Like The game might not be out yet, uh, but he just has a quick mention here that I thought was funny. Oh, come on, YouTube, don't do that. <laughs> Someone says I should have streamed WWE Supercard. <laughs> You're right, I should have streamed two cards slapping around each other like this, and then one slams the other, and then two more cards, and one jumps off the top rope. I think there's more going on in that game than this one. So, his first mention of the game is shitting on the game. <laughs> Yeah. Before he spent a dime, he understands how stupid it is. But, and yet, and yet we're here. Next mention is 2014, September 14th again. This is when, we, you know, the game's just coming out. So let's talk about what we're going to do here. Brother. In addition, I have a new capture device. I'll get everything. Editing. And what I mean by that is I'm going to start doing more highly edited videos. I discussed... The possibility of maybe doing the best of when I do a big playthrough that's a good one and there's lots of funny parts and good stuff in it that I would do a best of montage after I complete the playthrough so you guys can see the best parts and then maybe go watch the whole playthrough as a result of it. I really am interested in doing a walkthrough video for this mobile game WWE Supercard that oh, I've been yeah. playing a hell of a lot of recently. And I've in addition to that, we I've been playing a hell of a lot of recently. He wasn't lying there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> got the hateful truth of Destiny that I really want to get to this week. 
So we got a ton of stuff that I got to get to this week that I want to do. But if you mentioned, I mean, if you if you mentioned, if you noticed, all the stuff that I just mentioned is not gameplay. It's not just me. Okay, here's the, here's where I'm gonna play the um the gift cards from. I know it's not it's it's in the beginning of this, I believe, Meerkat. If you think about something else, I can find it. But try hard. Oh, this came. Oh, I can tell. Oh, it's in that pre-stream right there. Where's that? One? Let me search tonight. it. Try Hearthstone. Uh, what, what are you looking for? The gift cards mentioned. I think it's here, but I'm, I just want to be sure. I don't want to play anything. Uh, I, I just know it from uh, Mr. Hutt's stuff video that was called DSP Gaming Gotcha King. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that is a legendary video. I'll put that in the... In the, in the I have a, a Agent Proper's video in the description and Secret Limited, but I definitely want to add that as well. Because yeah. that is a legendary watch as well. Gotcha King, Mr. Stuff. Got it. Here we go. Might as well just put that fucking on. Let's go. Essentially worthless. And I using WWE Supercard. That was a mobile game playing okay. Injustice. Uh, a couple Let's start with the game, shall we? Uh, Injustice, the Injustice mobile app. I've been you playing can, a lot uh, on my iPhone. There's a transcript for this. You can look it up. Uh, look, you can look up the word gift card. On it. Or iTunes. Yeah, I think it's iTunes, isn't it? Yeah. He, he explains his whole scam and how he spends money on iTunes gift cards in this video. Like, he, he just straight up admits it. All right, it's only two minutes in. Let's play it. It's two minutes Marvel in. War of Heroes, which is a collectible right. card game with Marvel Comics characters. Very addictive. Of course, <laughs> they, tr they, they, they tempt you so much to sink <laughs> money into them. I did sink a little, some money into them. <laughs> of liar just put this what <laughs> uh oh he's waking up he's waking up already boys this quarter demon's coming up Heroes, okay she's a collectible card game with marvel comics characters very addictive of course they, tr they 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 tempt you so much to sink money into them i did sink a little some money into them i'll be honest um and i'm enjoying the hell out of those games <laughs> he is a natural state is lying you know he started with the lie yeah. I played a little, some money. <laughs> you know, for portable stuff, I like, oh, look, Marvel War of Heroes. Well, I got 10 minutes to kill for, oh, here me jump, okay, you know, I'm at a restaurant, I order my food, I'm bored, let me do something, let me go, injustice. I'm not going to pause this much coming up, but who would be with at a restaurant with him? At this point, Leanna. Uh, yeah, Bandley. How fun a date is that, boys? That's one thing you don't do. Is stick on your phone with your girl at a restaurant, my friends. Dating tip from ALT. If you don't want to be an asshole, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? People do that all the fucking time. I know you, if you're both yeah. doing it, it's a little different. But when you you're at it, a, yeah, yeah, go ahead. When, when me and my friends went out for a coffee, we used to have this thing where the first person to stay on their phone gets to pay the whole bill. And then <laughs> nobody was on their phone. That is the way you do it. That is, it's just common sense. And sometimes you got to catch yourself. I know it. It's so natural to grab your fucking phone. But don't do that. <laughs> this uh, mobile app, kill a couple dudes by going like an idiot like this, and then, oh, food's here. Okay, put it back down. Going like an That's idiot like really this? That's how I'm treating, you know, these mobile portable games these days. So I really doubt I'll be playing Pokemon, okay? And the other, uh, the other <laughs> option of what I can do is I could do work on and create that walkthrough video for WWE Supercard, the app on iPad and iPhone. And I think that that would be awesome because I could show you some insider tips that Ooh, I know that a lot of people cool. don't realize about the game. People are messing. People are actually spending tons of money on this game. I kid you not. Like, they're <laughs> dropping $50 a pop to get legendary <laughs> cards. And then they're not leveling the cards properly. Yeah. So they go to fight and they lose. <laughs> and it's like, if you're going to drop... Idiots, if you're going to drop $50, do yeah. it right. Idiots. Yeah, you're you're wailing wrong, you moron. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Game. <laughs> Let me, write, let me write 18 paragraphs on a forum post for you. You probably should figure out how the game works so that you're not wasting money and then losing anyway. Hell so yeah. I could give like big tips on, on Ooh, big earlier tips. stuff and high level stuff Dude. that I think people who are playing the game will appreciate. Um, but again, that's going to take some time. I need to capture the video. I need to edit a video. I need to do voiceovers. There's a lot of work <laughs> I have to do to get that to go. So that could be second stream on Wednesday as well. Or, and so I guess the bank... <laughs> prevented him from using his card here on Twitch. And yes, that happens. Um, if you have a bank card or a credit card that you don't frequently use for something and then you start using it for something regularly, a lot of the times it'll get flagged for fraud. 
I know for a fact from of various things I've done over the years. Here there was we go. one grocery store I used to go to uh -huh. that always, when I went there, for some reason, my, my they wouldn't process the transaction. They would freaking call me and ask me if it was legit. And I'm like, dude, I'm standing in the checkout at the grocery store <laughs> trying to get my fucking groceries, and you're going to flag it for fraud? It's like... You know, it's not like it's a breaking the bank transaction here. <laughs> oh, yeah, not that. Oh, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> yeah, pause. Yeah, got it. Uh, a, a little bit of a derailment, but it's so funny. Look at this mug in the bottom. <laughs> look at how fucking stupid this image is. <laughs> what the fuck is this? They made him look like he's, I don't know, genetically modified or something. It's so ugly. And he slapped that onto a mug. <laughs> if anyone got that, I'd give you $100 for it. <laughs> Cold hard. Yeah, no ma uh, no <laughs> wonder his Teespring got shut down. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you expended people to buy this shit? Get out of here. If anyone has the mug, it got 100 USD. No, Argentinian. Argentina dollars. I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you a million Argentinian dollars. It's kind of silly. Um, And then, you know, iTunes as well. Over the iTunes. years, I know that when you sync a, a credit card with iTunes... And if you do a bunch of transactions on there that are out of the ordinary, like you buy a bunch of music out of nowhere, or maybe you have a mobile game, you're, you're going to toss some money at a mobile game. Uh, toss some money at a mobile game? Uh, sometimes you'll get flagged there, too. That's happened to me before. So. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Go. Oh. Wow, it actually does look a little better. In fact, you know what it did? When I put it to high quality, now it runs at 60 frames per second. It wasn't running at 60 frames until I did high quality. Now it is. Huh. Well, the quality got that better. That was the difference. Okay. Imagine that. But even then, when I had these devices, I didn't get into mobile gaming. It was actually about, I'd say, almost a full two years into me owning these devices that I started trying out mobile games. All right? And the first mobile game that I actually played, I think it was called, like, Marvel Heroes or something like that. Actually, I don't think that's what it was called. It was, it was a card game, a Marvel Comics card game. There's the first. And I played it for several months. That's the first time. This was domino. very early on when I was doing YouTube, by the way. Pro you know, probably just when I first started making money doing YouTube in, what, 2011? <laughs> something like that. Money burned a hole in his pocket. What can I buy? Yeah. <laughs> and I started playing the game, and I liked it because it was all this full-color artwork of Marvel characters, and each character had their own specific abilities and stats and stuff like that. And I was a I'm a big stats. fan of Marvel Comics, so for me it was like, wow, this is cool. It's like a, a pop culture tie-in, the stuff that I like. Titan with a game that I could play, you know, and kill time and All stuff. Right, we got to fast forward a little bit. Here and then after playing, we're talking 2014. Okay. Here we go. A new game was released. A game called WWE Supercar. Hell yeah. Now, those of you who are longtime fans and viewers of mine know that I am a huge fan of pro wrestling. Oh, yeah. And I love the WWE, even though I'm very critical of what they do. I still enjoy watching them from time to time. <laughs> I follow along the pay-per-views. I used to have a running commentary show called Smart Guys. So you know that, obviously, I'm a wrestling fan. I started playing this game when it launched in 2014. And it was very fun because this game, unlike the Marvel card game, you could actually progress in this game without spending money. You could just sink <laughs> time into it. And if you put a lot of time into grinding and into participating in events, you could get higher level cards. And there was a ton of wrestlers in it. And it was really good. It had classic wrestlers. It had modern wrestlers. And I really liked it because of that. It was one of the few games that you could play and not spend a ton of money and still progress. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, of course, <laughs> uh -oh. then I got addicted to it. Started <laughs> playing it far too much. Found myself spending money in the game. Okay. <laughs> And in fact, I was playing it so much <laughs> that it was actually Christmas of 2014. Okay, and... We saw Christmas of 2014 was spent on those fucking forums for DSP. Let's go. Yeah. I had actually oh asked gosh. relatives, you know, you know, the holidays, you, you know, you talk to your relatives, you send each other presents and stuff, and people are like, what, would you, what do you want for... <laughs> yeah, you know the holidays, you beg your relatives for shit. Christmas this year. And I was like, well, you know... I'm playing the shit out of this game, WWE Supercard. It would be pretty cool if you could send me iTunes credit <laughs> so that I could get some cards in it and maybe even check out some other mobile games because if this pans out, I may do video series on it. And at that time, I actually bought... I actually have it right in front of me here. Actually, now that I said that, I have no clue where it is. What the hell? It used to be right here. Uh-oh. Well, some... Oh, there this it is. Dude is. It was wild. behind my calendar. I went out and I actually bought the adapter for iPad and iPhone. It's the adapter where you can actually capture from these devices. And I had actually been planning on doing videos of WWE Supercard. I was going to do tutorial videos on how to play the game. I was also going to 
basically spend money on the game based off of what I got for Christmas that year. And I was going to show people when you buy cards how it works and how to play. Again, yes, all to show other people how it works. The game and all that. Yeah. That's only well, this, this is the, the, the fake fucking idea that he was going to make a video about it. So he spent all this money to convince himself that he was going to make a video and not just have fun in the game, mm -hmm. which ended up exactly what happened. That video never came out. All the money he spent was for his own amusement and enjoyment. And also, you can replace iTunes gift cards with Fortnite V-Bucks, and he might as well be a 12-year-old child, because oh, that's what they do. Absolutely. For whatever reason, it just didn't pan out. For okay? It just didn't pan out. I didn't do it, for whatever reason. And then, and then I ended up quitting the game. I actually remember it was about it was early 2015. That's that is a lie. That is what remember. <clears throat> so this is a, this is a retcon because remember he did quit that first time. Remember early 2015 we saw the two two retirements or four retirements, but then he started playing yeah. again later that year. But let's hear it. And I was frustrated with the game because basically there was a paywall. If I didn't keep buying cards, high level cards, there was no way for me to progress in the game without spending insane amounts of time, and I just got bored with the game. And I eventually quit it. I said, forget it. And I haven't played Supercard in over a year. That is a lot. So, then here I am. I had this adapter. Never got any use of it. Because this playthrough, when was the Hearthstone playthrough? Oh, I'll keep playing it. I'm going to look it up. Out of it, right? And I stopped playing mobile. The other game that I started playing, I, I actually, I take it back. There were two other games that I played completely different because they weren't card games. They were actually action-based games. One was the Injustice app. Uh, when I was playing Injustice... Uh, a couple years ago, you know, the fighting game from uh, from Netherrealm. I was playing the Injustice app, and that was a game where you tap to, it's like a tapping, tap the screen fighting game. All right, so we get the point. So he was, he definitely got, he was so into this game, he got gift cards from his mother. That's pretty much it, right, Meerkat? I know he talks more about other games here, but. Well, I mean, because, yeah, he started, he started talking about, like, relatives, but who is he going to ask for gift cards other than his mom and maybe Panda Lee? <laughs> like, yeah. But I think this is it for the gift cards. He yeah. basically explained exactly how it works. He asked people for iTunes credit, and he got the gift cards, <laughs> put them in iTunes, and got money to spend on the game. Which Sounds is good. exactly what seems to be happening with WWE Champions, since from the bank leaks, we can see all these 1651 uh, transactions to iTunes, Absolutely. and so on and so forth. The best of, okay? Oh, we already saw that. Everything. That's this. I'm gonna get because we played a few of these videos from that. But here we go. Okay. Here we go. Next question. Robust shirt on here. Into it. Why are people buying incomplete games? People have told me you should buy this incomplete game and play it. Shut Rush up. to play it now. I don't understand that. Just because it's becoming some kind of a meme or a viral thing. Here Next question from Meth Rollins. He says, "Are you still planning on doing your app review and walkthrough series? Haven't heard word on it since you finished up with WWE March Supercard. 26, 2015. Yeah, I mean, I bought the 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 HDMI dongle for my iPad and iPhone, and originally I was going to do a walkthrough for WWE Supercard, and after playing that for a few months and getting really addicted to it, I decided to stop playing it. Now I'm playing WWE Immortals right now. It's not a great game. It plays similar to Injustice did on, on the iPhone and iPad previously. <laughs> then coming up next month, we've got the Mortal Kombat 10 app, which is supposed to play just like that. <laughs> you I, played all those. Could I do videos of this stuff? Absolutely. Do people want to see videos of that stuff? I don't know. I never got an overwhelming request. Phil, please, you got to make these iPhone and iPad game walkthroughs. We want them. You know what I mean? Like, this is a turning point, right? Like, he could have done this, and, like, he could have taken it off. You never fucking know. But, like, it, yeah. it takes overwhelming requests for him to do anything. You know? Like, yeah. He, he promise me money or I'm not doing it is what he's basically saying here. It was a cool idea. And this is... Uh it's yet another example, kind of like with the five-year plan, uh, the 10-year plan, uh, but at this point, there's just like five years left. Uh, yeah. Another example of him, and whenever he gets what he wants, the thing that he's supposed to do in return, uh, there's suddenly some kind of a reason why he's not going to do it, and oh. then he just ends up not doing it. Uh -huh. So in this case, the, the narrative is that he wanted all these gift cards so he could boost himself in the game so he can show people in the playthrough how it's supposed to be done. But then he, he got the gift cards, he spent the money on himself and having fun, and then made up a bunch of reasons why not to make that video. <laughs> the idea I had for variety, excuse me, <laughs> that I don't have the time to do it. So if there was demand... I don't have the time to do it, guys. I got 80 hours of mobile games to for play. It, yes, but there's no demand for it right now. Okay, We're shut up. That's, that's, that's the end of that one. Here we go. Already done so, install Hearthstone, Hearthstone and play through the... President of Argentina in the house with $2 from Argentina. 
says, who among us doesn't stay up 4 a.m. for mobile games? Great point, President Argentina. Intro missions. And then from the box cover this is screen, from press open packs and put in this code for a pack. So this is a free the game, and I'll mess around with it a little bit since I get a free pack of cards. Yeah. Maybe I'll mess with it and see what it is. You know, I play other – well, I have played other card games in the past. I used to play uh, WWE Supercard. Remember, reminder, this is September 25th, 2015. He is still playing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's still playing. I mean, this is, as for example, just to show you that I'm not just making shit up, uh, <laughs> that you don't. Uh, this is March 10th, 2016. He's still playing at that point. So he's already lying. I mean, this is, I used to, I used to play. Yeah. He's still playing. Uh, but you know, was, well, if, you, if you confront him on this, he's going to move the goalpost and say, yeah, but I meant like, I, I wasn't like playing hardcore. I was playing just like, <laughs> Like, only just, like, six hours a day. Not, like, the full eight hours I used to. <laughs> yep. So you're a fucking idiot. Like, over eight months, but I used to play oh, Supercard. Uh, that was... Well, I haven't played it now in, like, over eight months, but I used to uh -huh. play it. And I used to also play... Well, I play... Now I play WWE Immortals, although uh -huh. that game is more of a action combat game a la Injustice. It actually is the same as the Injustice mobile app they used to have. But it's okay, I don't care about Injustice. Let's go. Next mention. I want to tell everyone. Uh -oh. gonna be uh oh. This week, it's different. this week it's like random. We're just whatever you do, whatever you get to it. I want to tell everyone because people are going to be like, oh, how's he playing? I got cards because I had credit in the iTunes store from presents from like two oh, yeah, years the, ago. This is the gift card thing again. About two years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does the dented mouth thing here. Ready? <laughs> this is what he says, our mouth jewelers. <laughs> like, he, reminder, the word he says here is ton. Yes. Like, say ton yourself. Does that happen to you? I don't... <laughs> this is what he pretends the detractors look like, remember? Ooh, I play mobile games. Ooh. <laughs> nice. It's from, like, two years ago. About two years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton, okay? <laughs> and I was playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted I was, to it. I was playing living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. And I eventually stopped. Oh, by, by the way, uh, March, this is March 6th, 2016. March 10th, 2016, Dark Side Phil, WWE Supercard. So we're Hell still, yeah, we're still addicted. As we say, we were once addicted stopped playing it over a year ago i stopped playing it actually because it was taking way too much of my time uh -huh. i cannot have this take up so much fucking time it's ridiculous the time waster game it's a money waster game i don't want to play it anymore uh -huh. but when i was playing it a lot i told my family and for christmas like two no, years ago well, not two years it was not this past christmas the christmas before i got a bunch of itunes credits cool uh like hundreds of dollars <laughs> of credits for itunes now the thing is i don't buy music like i wouldn't buy music and yeah, buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that and i don't even listen to music on my pc so re literally these cards have sat around and i haven't used them uh i use them on all right that's the story there he got he, they would get the itunes story here we go 2000 march 2016 again popular and successful card game from blizzard entertainment that's bringing in 30 plus million dollars monthly jesus h christ I'm a big supporter of the game, and I love Counting to play that with my friends whenever I can. So I'd like to ask if, one, you would ever consider playing the game, and two, if you did start Talk playing, would you consider making it part of a weekly schedule with a dedicated day and maybe even dedicate part of the day to playing <laughs> Look with Look at the fans. title. Um, Look at this title. My History, Hearthstone, Role of Italian Heritage. <laughs> <laughs> First that? off, what a timely what question. And let me tell you something. Oh, this shit, is complete timely. chance. That this question was asked this month. Oh, shut up. Whim, a total whim. What? I said, what the flip? I've heard so much about, what the flip? about this game. I'm going to download it, and I'm going to play it. And I'm just going to see flip? what it's all about. Um, And I didn't read this question before. Like, shut up. Just a uh, coincidence that this question was asked the same we month. We already said that. Right now. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the answer is, would I ever consider playing the game? Yes, I am playing the game right now. Oh, all yeah. right. Let me give you my brief opinion on Hearthstone. I like it. I think it's highly addictive. It's a lot of fun, but it's also one of the is, most random. Is there anything you don't find highly addictive? I mean, come on. What? <laughs> so far, oh everything. Man, 
<laughs> is there anything not addictive in this in your life? Games out there. But it, it, the, the the thing that makes this addiction so fucking obvious is that he realizes that he is addicted to it, and he just keeps going. He just can't help himself. And at this point, like, how do you even prevent this from happening? He straight up needs an intervention. You need somebody absolutely. to actually tell him. By the way, we have an epic top right corner demon right now. Love it. Look at this. Going to town right now. <laughs> 100% is pay to win. Yes. I hate to say it, but 100% pay to win. And it's highly It's based crazy how much he understands. Like, he understands the game, you know? And that, that's, yeah. that's what just shows you're an addict. Because, I mean, you're, you're an addict, you know it's bad. But you just, you, you know, that, that demon gets you. The quarter demon still convinced you to do it. But he, like, outwardly says it so many times, you know? Like, he knows it's bad and stupid, but just can't. It's on luck. Rather than and it's how his, you... <laughs> his whole mentality to convince himself that he's gotten over his addiction while he is still addicted is hurting him so much more than he can realize. Absolutely. Because it's like you're just lying to yourself. Yeah. And now you have to keep the lie going because like once you he, – he's like building up the bricks or building up the bars of his own prison because the more he keeps spouting the shit about how I beat the addiction, the bigger deal it's going to be when you finally do say, all right, guys – I was addicted. I have a problem. Because then, you know, we're, can you imagine if he yeah, does that one day? Exactly. The, the stream, that we'll have a 12-hour stream on WPIG about all the times he said, I no, don't play this game. I And, you know, yeah. just for the last month, you know, it's like insane. It gets harder and harder. That's why you just got to stop it. But it's it's hard and scary. Play the game. Basically, in Hearthstone, it's a card game where two people right, I hear about Hearthstone. are going to be card. dependent on the cards in your deck and stuff. The Who's problem first? is earning cards in the game is incredibly slow. Even just playing the game against the computer, you can earn, like, base cards for whatever class. But yeah. there's people who play other games, too. Like, over the years, what was it? Over a year ago, I was playing this game called WW... Over a year ago? Over a year ago? Is that true, sir? Nope. We eat super card. <laughs> and even though you could earn great cards just by playing the game, okay. ultimately the top players in the game spent money to buy cards. Like and they you. Were the reason, that was the reason why they were the top players. There's people on YouTube right now that do videos of Supercard, and that's all they're known for, okay? But when you watch, it's like, oh, I'm going to open card packs. Do you really want to watch someone? Oh, I have more money. Yeah, imagine this. Like, this is another example of Phil being so behind the train. Because people, like, pack opening channels get millions of views. Like, people get so into that. Those, like, Pokemon pack openings and shit. Oh, yeah. It's just opening endless packs. And people, they get 2 million views. Like, he could have yeah. been on, like, I know it wouldn't have been that level. But it could have been something. But, you know, just Phil can't get any. He has never been on top of any trend. Except for streaming games on YouTube. That was the only yeah, one he dude. caught. <laughs> uh, nowadays, it's really popular opening the, the FIFA Ultimate Team packs and yeah. like uh, Counter-Strike cases. And those people get like millions of views just to open packs. And throughout those views, they can pay for the actual packs. So it, yeah. you're actually getting something out of it. Yeah, like you could have been smart. You know, you had a chance. So many chances. Big ups Ramen Brahmin in the house. Brahma Bull, dude. DSP has been caught lying repeatedly and asked why people don't trust him. You don't need anyone to tell you DSP is a liar. His actions will. Absolutely. That's what yeah. I say. Mike Klum, just put DSP on the D documentary and he'll explain everything enough himself. Hard pack and open it. And, and, and also, yeah, he, no, is, he is the guy who, when he says, I'm going to be honest, he means that he's just going to be serious, not necessarily <laughs> yeah, honest. Very true, he's admitted very true. this is just a mannerism of his. He doesn't really mean he's going to be honest. <laughs> but people are spinning it to me to make it seem like he's going to be honest. Like he's just going to be serious. <laughs> it means I'm talking about something serious, dude. Jealous. Yeah. That's basically what the videos are. And I'm uh -huh. like, first of all, I don't want to sink a ton of money into a mobile game. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right get ready i gotta record it first of all i don't want to sink a ton of money into a mobile game i don't have a ton of money I was... <laughs> you don't anymore i wonder why well, i guess i guess you got to define what a ton of money actually means Good to him because it's all just an, a vague abstract term is a ton of money 10 10 grand 100 grand half a million I think he might literally mean the weight of the bills itself. So that is a lot. You know, if you've got a ton of money, oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's like a billion dollars probably. So, yeah, I guess that's what he does mean. He didn't spend quite, quite a, a, a ton of money. <laughs> a few bucks here and there I'll sink like I did with Hearthstone to try. Oh, I wonder what happens if I open a couple card packs. Oh, shit, look, I got great cards. But I'm not going to sink 
hundreds and <laughs> bajillions of dollars into these fucking games. It's ridiculous. It's a mobile fucking game. Dude. You know what I mean? Dude, that's like almost sad. I never feel I can never feel bad for DSP, but that is like on the if this was any other human on earth, I would feel bad for this right now. He's just talking yeah. right to his fucking self. And this is what people do, they get addicted to it and they got and sing, the thing sing, is sing. That yeah. He's he's got plenty of opportunities to get help from somebody and actually like admit to this. And, and handle it in the way it should be handled, but he's just convinced himself so much that it's not a problem. He's not even willing to consider that. It's incredible. It's a mobile fucking game. A mobile fucking game. You know game. what I mean? Oh, God, his this... arm was going nuts. Whoever shouted that out. Look at that left arm going. Here, we'll get it. We'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Here we Jillions go. of dollars into these fucking games. It's ridiculous. It's a mobile. Uh, you can't see. You, have to, you can only see it in real time. Fucking actually. game. See, there he goes. Watch the left side. Of the left arm. It's a, it's, it's ridiculous. It's a mobile on. fucking game. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what people do. They... That, was, that was a bowl of jello, real quick. Not like the monkey spank you see on screen now. Well, Moses, nice pull. Get addicted to it, and I got sink, sink, sink. That's why again they make thirty billion dollars a month because people get so addicted. I got to sink, 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 sink more money into it's it. Like to stay at the top. I don't think making videos of that is any like right now. If I made a video, undoubtedly people would say, "Oh, look at that card Phil has. He spent a ton of money to get it," which I didn't. But they, of course, that's what they would say. So what's the point? I mean, that's so he knows that people watch his spending now. See, that's just what we proved there. I can't yep. show how much I do now because true. The whole point of the game know. is you spend a ton of money to get good cards. So what's the fucking point uh -huh. of me doing Hearthstone videos? I don't think there is one. So he's the reason he can't do Hearthstone videos is because he doesn't want to flex how much money he's spending on them, basically. Right? All right. <laughs> Pretty Not much, yeah. yeah. But he, he had no problems uh, flexing on the forums. Oh, no. No, no. But we're just a year a year later. Can't do that anymore. Immediately people will go, yep. Phil, you've got to make videos on Hearthstone. Hey. If that's the case, I'll make a few, but I don't think any, honestly, I don't think it's very interesting. <laughs> hey, if I, that's the case, I'll make a few. What? Don't. Um, All right, this is done. Hearst, we, we got the point. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's the thing yeah, we already I, saw about the gift cards. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I also think around 2016, he started crying for money and doing, like, begging videos, so yep. it really wouldn't fit with the narrative if he started Absolutely. flexing about the mobile games. Absolutely good point. That's really why he probably didn't. Uh, let's hear about the 10 worst things in modern gaming. Uh, from 2016. me in particular recently with mobile gaming. Uh -oh. In games such as WWE Supercar or Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle. I love how he says them like this condescendingly. Like WWE Supercard, like Dokkan Battle, these stupid ass games. He played them both, spent thousands on both. Or even in a very Absolutely. <laughs> Very popular game like Hearthstone. Hearthstone. If you want to buy something in these games, you can't just buy specifically what you want. Instead, you have to buy in-game credits that are then used as currency oh my God. to purchase a random pack. Huh? For example, in WWE Supercard, if you want an epic level superstar, <laughs> you're not allowed to just pick the one you want and spend a certain amount of money. Instead... <laughs> this is awesome. He's telling us how WWE Supercard works. Sweet. You have to open yeah. a random... Uh, you have to open a, you have to open a random? pack that may or may not even have a character of that rarity that you're looking for, and you don't even know what character it is you're going to get if you get one. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be disappointed with what you get and either dump more money into it or end up <laughs> dejected and disappointed and just not spending any more money. In Dokkan Battle, it's actually <laughs> called a group summon where you... <laughs> it's called a group summon. <laughs> Like, you understand it, man. God. Pasta Maker in the house. Heavy pro YouTuber voice. Oh, this is KO Gaming voice, the Pasta Maker, of course. Oh, yeah. We're on KO Gaming, brother. Exchange crystals in order to get yeah, 10 randomized characters. you can hear dubstep in the background. <laughs> yeah. And again, they could be incredibly low level and worthless to you, or they could be incredibly high level. Get the of hint. Of course, that's incredibly rare that you would get that. The same thing goes for Hearthstone. You can't just buy the cards you I hate how he says Hearthstone. I really do. Well, instead, you've got to spend your money on randomized pack drops with your fingers <laughs> crossed and hope that eventually you're going to get the cards that you're looking for. It's ridiculous. In what other industry? Can't you buy what you want with your money? <laughs> Get it's the, the vendor's job to set a price that they feel is appropriate. So yeah, if that's a really overpowered in-game item or card. You should have to spend more for it, but not just spend randomly in the hopes that maybe one day you'll get it. Get I don't hit. understand. And to make matters even worse, it spilled into the console realm as well. Uh -oh. Look at games such as Halo 5 with its wreck 
uh, drops and cases that you open up <laughs> and you get these randomized items and things that you can use in the <laughs> multiplayer modes. It's almost like they want as much money as they can from you, huh? Uh, Joe Dub in the house says he'd have a team of all Hogans. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, he just have all Hogans or Stings, whatever he wants that day. Uh, I think we're done with this one, but let's go. <laughs> all right, yes, all right. We've entered modern times, all right? So modern times, this is when my life sucks now. Well, sorry, he says I love my life, but this is when his, his public persona has changed into everything's trying to get me, detractors ruin my life. I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Let's hear how we're going to talk about, starting in modern times, how do we talk about WB Supercar? Let's go. And this is also really fun that there's a timestamp. Uh, you can see a chapter in this video that's called <laughs> Do I Play Mobile Games? Yep. <laughs> Very nice. Four years ago, 1,000 views. Big ups. Here you go, Pops and Phyllis. The stream runs in the background for me most of the time. I'm actually working on emotes right now. So that's why Phantom Fuzz, you know, mods jumped up to respond to you. The bottom line is also here as <laughs> hey, well. Hey, bottom line, first one. So if you want to talk to him, you know, talk to one of the mods. They're all here, dude. Get to the point. This is amazing stream. I love what he does fishing in Minecraft. <laughs> like yeah, this is... <laughs> man, that's the the this the is... therapy streams. <laughs> this is the best. Not even a fishing game. We fish in Minecraft where you don't have to move. Like well, mobile World games Warcraft do I play? Fishing. I don't anymore. I used uh -oh. to play three mobile. I don't anymore. So I mean, that's that's like the level one retcon. We don't even have to stop that. We we know this is all a retcon now. But anyways, yeah, he doesn't play mobile games anymore. Dude. Games. I used to play. Marvel Future Fight, Hell which yeah. was a game incredibly similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance, actually. Okay. Um, and that's why I really liked it. I also played a game called Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, yeah. which was a collectible card game with action sequences where the cards fought each other and stuff based on Dragon Ball Z. And then later on, they added GT, they added Dragon Ball Super and all the other characters. And then I was playing Final Fantasy Brave oh, Exodus. Good point, Rainy. Um, oh, oh, a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. I played WWE Supercar. By the way, he played Supercard at the same time he was playing Dokkan Battle. So I don't know why he gets this long, long... Well, actually, I do know. Because he doesn't want to link it to a WB Champions mobile game. So he has to say, a long, long time ago. Even though he played Dokkan Battle at the exact same fucking time. Um, and that was one that I actually grinded on for a long time. Ooh. Uh, for like two years, I played that game. Now we played it for two years. So... Previous video, uh, he said he played it for eight months. Now he played it for two years. And the thing is, with mobile games, Here we go. I usually end up liking them. Um, <laughs> you got that right. For a certain amount of time, and then I end up just basically quitting them. And here's why. Because most mobile games, you hit a wall where there's basically a requirement of money to continue. And I hate that. I hate that when you're playing a mobile game, you if you just put <laughs> time and effort in every night, you grind a couple hours when you're relaxing, you should still be able to progress. Some of these games, like, for example, Marvel, Marvel Future Fight, you could still progress. I'm not even kidding you. One time, three fucking months, I grinded at night to, but, to, to earn what I needed, the components Dude. that I needed to upgrade a character from, like, level three to level four or whatever. Dude. And then when I did, I was like, dude, it took me so long. I don't even care about this game anymore. But other, like, other games, you can't even do Three months. Do it. Other games, oh, you want the new character? You have to spend, 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 because the... The chances of buying the new card or the new character or the new whatever it is is so low because it's a random number, no, randomly number generated from a loot box that, like, <laughs> it's not even worth playing. And that's what happened with most of these games. They're fun at first. And then after you play them for a while, you realize this is just a money sink. They want you to sit here and go money, 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 like a fucking money machine to try to pull, 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 pull the new thing. And <laughs> I got to get that sound back. Pull, pull, pull. I just stopped, I stopped with that you know, years ago. I was like, I can't do this shit anymore. This is a fucking money trap. And, Money uh, trap, dude. You know, so I don't, I don't, I'm done with mobile games. Cat currently, I'm done with mobile games. She plays a couple. She plays this Looney Tunes game. I'm it's sure like he turn, is. It's actually like a turn-based <laughs> RPG. Actually, she plays that. Ah, so that takes actual thought. She's she's above your level already. And she plays. Um, I think she has some fashion games she plays on her phone, and also she plays uh uh Elder Scrolls Blades. But you know, Elder I don't Scrolls play anything from a girl. Anymore. Uh -huh. She loves it. She can't get away. Freddie killing it. Freddie B killing it. Excuse me. Cheered. He said, do you see Elon Musk's Neuralink stream? Oh, yeah, it's a brain computer that. interface that connects your brain using small threads and includes where he says... surgery. No. And fuck it. I'll get the fuck away from oh, my brain. Oh, my wife. <laughs> no, this is not that one. This is the same era, though, when he says, I made a commitment to her that I was not going to play mobile games. 
Seriously. He does have the seriously. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. It's around that time. Uh, 2019, we have... T- it's time for Madden. Briefly. It's definitely a weird hobby. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, continuing on, Timbo Slice Cheers. I understand people don't agree with loot boxes or Madden uh, Ultimate Team. Oh, God. Despite the fact I don't like this person, right? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Just play it. Timbo it's definitely Slice. a weird hobby. For Madden uh, yeah. Ultimate Team... But here we go. So let's see a justification from someone who is a Madden fan. I'm curious to see what he has to say. Timbo, give get a to fair the point. shake. He said, "Money to have a good." Team. Oh, here we go. Uh, My bad. For a lot of people, it's a hobby. They enjoy it. You don't need to spend money to have a good team. And having good players don't, doesn't make you win the games. Um, it's no different than people sitting in a casino all day. I, mean, I agree with you. But I it. totally agree with you, Timbo. I just feel that like. It's sad because I think that what we have, in gaming in particular, yeah. we have an entire industry, a sub-industry under the normal gaming industry based on gambling and games, and people <laughs> just don't realize it. Oh, yeah. They don't. Okay? Um, so there you go. That uh, I really do feel that people don't take it seriously, and then next thing you know, they've dumped a ton of money into these games. <laughs> and Talking to yourself not- much? <laughs> What that is, it's a deceptive industry that it advertises itself as one thing and it actually is just gambling. And there's people who fall into that slope. Now, just like anything, if there's people... It's people that fall un, un, into that slope. He's talking about himself again. People who have self-control. Yeah, I mean, it, and it's also... I, I think it advertises itself for exactly what it is. I mean, you, you see what you're going to get when you spend this amount of money. It, the, the mechanics are pretty obvious. So you can avoid falling into this pit by just like realizing it's something that it's meant to get your money and you just don't give them your money. Yeah, it's not a scam at all. It says, this is what you get. Yeah. This are the odds. They have to post the fucking odds, but again, Phil's high, holier than that. Oh, just like health side, Phil. He'll tell you how to take yeah. a, be, be on a diet, but he won't share that with any other family members, I guess. Yeah. and It's also who, entirely who possible to play these games casually and just log in every once in a while to see whatever the fuck's going on or level up a character or whatever. Yeah, like... It, 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 most people don't care about getting top 1%. You know, there's 99% yeah. of people that probably don't care, actually. But holy shit, if, I, if he's playing a mobile game, he has to get to the top. Like three months of grinding to level up that other character he's talking you're about. You're saying, holy Timbo, shit. if you're a reasonable person and you don't fall into the trap of spend, 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 spend. Okay, so Phil's not reasonable, confirmed. Sure, it's a fun hobby. You can collect the cards. You can do well in the game, etc. And it's fun, but the sad part is that there are people who fall into it. Uh, who just, people. you know, oh man, I gotta drop people. <laughs> a million dollars into people. this fucking game and I still didn't get the character I wanted or whatever and that's what happens you know <laughs> like I said I, I didn't necessarily ever see this happen with console games but I used to see this with mobile games remember I used to play th- four different <laughs> mobile games I played WWE Supercard hell yeah uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and Marvel God. Future Fight and all four of those games had all of these microtransaction gambles where you didn't know what you were getting when you bought something. <laughs> you didn't know if you got the character or the upgrade item you were looking for. And it was gambling. <clears throat> and it was terrible because I knew people in those games who were dropping so uh, much money. Uh, yeah, you're damn right you knew people. <laughs> <laughs> I knew people. <laughs> I knew some people. And they were spending money. Lots of money, dude. I knew people. Into these games for, you know, for what? <clears throat> for what? He, I anyway, talking to himself. Um, Let's continue on. Bagel Goose cheered. <laughs> Bagel the Battle Goose. Bot Tombstone was defeated this week. Any bets on who will go to win Battle Bot? Who gives bot? a shit? Who gives a fuck? Next one. Oh, yes. I love this. I love this one. It's a great clip. He has to do gotcha, right? Like this is Shenmue. You got to do gotcha. You got to do pulls, dude. Oh. You gotcha. You got to do some pulls, all right? So he's trying to get... Okay, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you when we start, Okay. Should we start at 32? Let's see. I'll, I'll start at the beginning. Uh, the hotel is where you can get the rare car that he wants. The wagon, right? A game can't hurt. So I believe... I don't, I didn't finish this game <laughs> myself because it's, the new Shenmue sucked. The old Shenmue was fucking awesome. But this new one just was not my, my cup of tea at this point. Uh, I don't think this is necessary. But someone tell me in chat if it is, right? But let me tell you that... Holy shit, man. We're, it's 30, we're 32 minutes into this video, and let's see how long it takes to the end and how Phil enjoys this. That he wants the wagon, right? A game can't hurt. A game can't hurt. One game can't hurt. 
Yeah, this is it. He says he wants the wagon, the rear the wagon. Set series. Oh, okay, so maybe he someone this does is the want capsule it. Capsule series that mask vendor kid wanted. That's right. That's right, dude. All right, so literally five minutes of this. We're gonna fast forward past. Let's get a few reactions, though. Golf cart. That is not the wagon. Cool. What's this? This one is interesting. Shit, that's not it either. Like, this is what you're doing with loot boxes. There's no difference. Taxi this is car. cool. Taxi cab. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> A coupe. Huh? A coupe. <laughs> the My off God, I love this. I love this. I, rem uh, I remember him playing Genshin Impact, and he was really God, into the pulse. Oh, God. He was that... I've never seen him so excited. Oh, it's a purple! I'll, I'll put that later. <laughs> we'll get there. I see it's the same shit. Not so many videos left. We're good, doing good on time. I see it's an off road car. I already had that. God damn it. <laughs> oh! Whoa. Oh, dope truck. What's That's this? not it. Dope truck. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm losing it here. I'll, ruin, I'll get to the point here. We're oh. six, six minutes later, by the way. Six minutes. This is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Why well, was when you run out of money, you gotta go earn more somehow. Chop wood or do a I job. See. So far, all I know how to uh, do is chop wood Can't you just save shit. scum? <laughs> yeah. I'm never gonna get it. Cool. I'm, out, I'm gonna be out of money in a second here. <laughs> all good sound bites right here. Huh. I promise the payoff oh. is worth it. I promise. What's this? <laughs> this is great. This is exactly what it's like with the mobile game. I swear to God. <laughs> when I used to play WWE Supercard or what was the oh, oh like Pokemon Battle. This is like pull, pull, pull. You can't get what you want. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> Nothing. You're like fuck this game. You stop. Oh. I don't want you to play this shit. I quit. Uh huh. I, did. I said fuck these games. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, buddy. brother. <laughs> See, is that what you did? Is that what you did? What you, was that what you did? <laughs> I said, fuck this. I don't want you to play this shit. I quit. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. I said, fuck these games. Uh, no, no. You just found, oh. found more dents. All right, that's it. I got it. I got it. The wagon bus. Oh, look at the pop. Yeah. Oh. I, <laughs> I spent all my fucking money, but I got it. <laughs> Holy shit. The wagon bus. He's happy, the dude. wagon bus. That was All right, thank God I got it. Dopamine hit right there. Oh man, let's find the toy. Let's find the bird toy in here. Hell yeah! Now I gotta show that. It's on. It's on piece of piece. Uh, the the uh, piece of piece gambling. I don't want to show. Oh, that the blackjack. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. This is. Such oh, a fucking that was awesome so video. good. Uh, it's. I... We can't watch thirty-two oh. minutes, but let's watch a little bit. Pilgrim blackjack. That's it. I guess we're playing blackjack. Yeah, your favorite, right? <laughs> Come on, I'm stuck. I can't. Alright, get to the point. Ah. You can't even get in there. We're gonna try it. VIP game. <laughs> Watch a little bit of this. Yes, VIP. Oh double. yeah. High roll. Double our stakes. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. Right. Here we go. Betto, onegaishimasu. Betto, onegaishimasu. We're gonna do the 1,000. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Let's begin. King. Oh, blackjack! Dude, I got fucking blackjack, but he has an like ace showing. I better win by nut. I better win by default. I better win by default, uh, dude. Uh, yeah, that's what he thinks about mobile games right there. I better win by default. All right. I did. I won by default. Why is he so excited? What the fuck is wrong with him? Right. Is that what you do? You quit. Yeah, right. You quit while you're ahead. <laughs> you quit while you're ahead. Have you, ever, Jack. have you ever played blackjack you before? You get a blackjack <laughs> like enough times to go. Not him, Not him. He's hyped yes. for this. All right, one more. Oh one more hand. Oh, okay. He's, 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 he's activated. Queen. Yeah. Come on. That's right. 16. Fucking Yo, he wolf. woke the fuck he's up, didn't he? Shot. He woke the no fuck idea. up. Yeah. Damn right. He's supposed to stand on. No. He's hyped. You're supposed to hit on 15 and stand on it 16. Depends, it depends on what the dealer's showing. Yeah. What's, does anyone know what the dealer's showing? The dealer's showing what, a 10? 
You have to hit on a 16 if the dealer showing All right, so we got a, tr a troll in the chat and we get rid of him. That's the rule, though. You're supposed to hit on 16 if he has a 10. I got him. Got him, boys. That Battlefield 1651 is also a troll, but no one would know that. It's a stupid detractor reference. So I banned. Hell yeah! 1651, boys! 1651, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's our frequency. I'm, I'm gonna mute this. Oh, get up! Do we, hold on, we gotta do a quick pull, I guess. We're back. Here we go. Alright, so... You're welcome. Hitting is too much of My a pleasure. risk. I gotta stand, and I have to pray that the dealer busts. <laughs> That's I'll how stand. it works. I mean... <laughs> Oh, well, look at that. You got uh, fucked, dumbass. Yeah. And that's why you fucking hit on 16 when he's showing a 10. Uh, <laughs> he is waking up, dude. He loves the game. Like, all right, we're moving on. We could. That's a great video. I'll put it in chat, though, if you haven't seen it. Watch that whole video. It's beautiful. That's not the one I was thinking of, though. I was thinking of the one where he does play the... Um, it, it's out of search DSP. What was that called? Kim? Genshin Impact. Because it is a fire. When he gets... Oh, my first pulls. All right, so we're going to head raw, though, to the second of three temples. There we go. There we go. I don't know if this is going to be hype or anything, but... Goodbye. So, now nah, I can't do it. Skip. It's blue. It's shitty blue. I want to see the purple. Skip. When the purple one comes out, he pops. I have like a hundred of these now. Okay. This for like anime stuff right, he doesn't I care got... about. Oh, no, more. yeah. He hates that. Go. He hates weep stuff. Oh, come on. Give us a purple. It's blue. The shitty blue. Shitty blue. Dude, I got a hundred of these fucking Skyrider swords. <laughs> <laughs> got a hundred of these road dogs. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> Alright, come on. Wait, it was like, go to Star Glitter Exchange. If Aren't someone has that video, Star Glitter Exchange. Yeah, Discord. If you have the one where he pops on oh there. I don't want to keep looking. You do another one? Last chance. Come on! Yeah, sure. What is this? What the fuck has changed? I know oh. it's, um... I might have seen it as no. part of the Gotcha Got King video. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I think I still have that up. Gotcha King. Because that one is, like, just a compilation of uh, of Gotcha stuff. Oh, yes. as you, Mr. Stuff. Legend, as you always, you know? He always... Hell yeah, brother. Words. So, I can either do a beginner's wish, which is... I guess it's... A you... Let's get to the All right, pool. here we go. Jump. No character. What is? No eight, character. Right, right. Pull again. Here we go. Here we go. Going to the Star Glitter Exchange. Pull. A tall. Come on, get to the pulls. Okay. Pull. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. It's looking pretty. Oh wait, it's oh oh. <laughs> it's something good. Oh shit. Oh. Lisa I already had Lisa. <laughs> Duplicate. <laughs> You piece of shit. Why is she in the summit if you get it from the game? She's looking spicy. That is, are you kidding that. me? How stupid is that? I want Lisa. Why do you get a character you already have that's in the game as part of the story? Oh, that's oh, insanely stupid. It's something good. Wow. What a waste. <laughs> what a fucking waste. <laughs> that is incredibly dumb. Why would they even put that in the summons? He was so I can hyped. upgrade her because I got a duplicate. He it's was fucking. So hyped. Uh, I think it was the one game. In fact, the only thing that is possible is so that's because someone on Monday made Let me see if a there's any more hypes. Probably pop. I think gold means five star. A stupid book that I don't want. Here it is! Klee, I got her. I got Klee. <laughs> All right, I got the five star pull, uh, which was the increased <laughs> chance, right? Can you imagine him 4 a.m.? Yeah, it was the increased chance to pull. Look, so up, I got look the he's character. sitting up. He's loving see this, what dude. Kind he's of activated. Is. I have no clue. But I got yeah. the featured pull on that. His heart is and pumping. All, all of this, all of this over a tiny anime girl. <laughs> Klee. The type of stuff he hates. <laughs> five star Klee. Banner. There you go. All right, let's continue. I think that was five. Hell yeah. Zinkui? Zinkui? Zinkyu? No, you hate her. She's Asian, clearly. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that's a male or a female. Maybe it's both or neither. I have no idea, but I got another character. Uh -huh. Zinkru. Very important to say that. <laughs> Okay, then. Okay, making fun of Chinese names. And that's it. it. Okay, good. so I got two new characters. I got this new one. Only one purple. Oh, I here, here, here. Go. here we go, here we go, boys. Luck, Jasper. Here Gold we go. Summon. Oh, I got, I got a purple. I actually got a purple, which I think is supposed to be a four star. Look what I got. I, wow. So I got the same character. Zing. Right. We got the point. He, he gets, he definitely activates when it's time, my friends. It activates right on. All right. A few more videos to get through of mentions as we move through the timeline here. 
All right. 2020 again. Oh, okay. Third out of third is saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent $20,000 on WWE Supercard. Great. Good for them. <laughs> for a game I didn't touch in, in fucking since uh, whatever. Uh, is that your defense? <laughs> for a game I haven't... <laughs> okay. Is that, is that what we're going with? Whatever. <laughs> for a meme saying that I spent $20,000 on WWE Supercard. Great. Good for them. <laughs> for a game I didn't touch... And in, in fucking since uh, whatever, I, I don't care anymore. Okay. <laughs> Imagine being accused of something and saying, "Okay, for for something that happened so long ago, I don't even care anymore." <laughs> okay, so are we saying you did that then? Okay, all right. Next one, move forward positively. 2013. Little Snooty Rude did a hundred bit cheer. But could you just log into your WWE game? How much Gorilla T is Phil? I've been watching you since the Cookie with Shout the King days. Keep tea. your head up, man. You do a good job. F the F the trolls, dude. Thank you. Duty Rude did a 100-bit cheer, but can't you just log into your WWE game account and hold your phone up to the camera and disprove detractors? Yeah. Oh, why, my God. Why not? Yeah. Wait, wait, you didn't have that reaction when Craig asked that. People don't listen, huh? but this is the thing. He, Craig yeah. didn't get the face palm, huh? I mean, he, yeah. he didn't have that reaction when he was posting his account all over forums for, like, 200 and something posts yeah so he didn't mind sharing his account back then but now that he has something to hide he minds it yeah oh, what, what very really interesting weird? what happened real gullible stupid simple-minded people yeah think it's that easy let's say right yeah. now like craig right. studying craig this is what you are super small-minded gullible idiot first of all i logged into my old ass game account from wwe supercard from years ago that i've admitted that's a game that i played a lot for about two years two years and i helped nope, you previously said eight months but two years hold it up to the camera all right it wouldn't matter what it showed. It literally wouldn't matter what it showed. They would find a way to spin that into a negative. They would find that would be a negative. Okay. Now, the other that's the thing. I don't. Oh this, shit, Frog Machine! If you got that, he got annoyed at a guy on the two K forums for not showing his phone. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh really? <laughs> I, I can't even figure out what the meme is because people now tell me it could be this one WWE game that I played years ago or a WWE game that I played for for a few months, a few a couple of years ago. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about anymore. Here's I don't the thing about yeah, yeah. this bullshit. Uh -huh. And I know he's trying to muddy the waters here, but what if he wants to prove that he's innocent, not for the detractors, because of course they're always going to find something to complain about him because yeah. there always is something. But what if he tried to make himself to be innocent for all the, you know, average people who think he's some kind of a gotcha monster that he's spending all his money that he gets on gotcha. <laughs> it, that would clear his name. Yeah. For the normies, you know, if he showed it to Craig, that would make him look a lot less guilty. Absolutely. So many people that don't aren't in the detractor don't give a shit about what Phil does outside of the, you know, they read the headlines kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Phil did that. Okay, that's it. They would say, okay, he showed it. That's fine. You know, no, no one that doesn't care to dig deeper would, would, would not believe him. You know, they'd say, okay, he, he cleared it yeah. up. Now the, now the detractors are assholes, I guess. That's it. The shit, and I'm so confused. In my and how about your like parents and stuff? Like, I bet your parents would like that. I mean, I guess he just lies to them and they buy it. They're probably pigmatized too. Oh, well, honest. yeah, yeah. of hey, course. Well, they only get his side of the story at all times, and his side of the story is always uh, unreliable. So, of the course. Internet, yeah, they probably think the internet loves him. I guess, probably, you know, well, they, everyone loves me. Yeah, super card. Someone else has <laughs> well, another I don't, game. I don't, I don't really think uh, Dave or Linda are browsing the internet looking for info on him, so they just believe everything he says. <laughs> yeah, they can't. That's a dangerous place. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about anymore because uh, even you idiots can't get your shit straight. Oh, yeah, we so can't. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't care. I'm not going to waste fucking time holding phones up and showing you shit. You're out of your fucking mind. I'm not going to waste time holding phones up. In addition, like I said, chances are, what would happen? I hold it up. Oh, God, there was something on the screen now that's more personal information that got out that they can use against me. Fuck this. And yeah. fuck Bro, you. What? Yeah, yeah, that really happens. That really <laughs> happens. Oh, come on. Because, like, what? Well, uh... Because he did this same shit on the Supercard forums. He posted all his stuff. He posted all his info. Yes. And, uh, and nothing personal was there. <laughs> it doesn't... Phones just don't, you know, share stuff. Oh, no, let me just... Oh, shit, I got a notification. It's my address. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And you could also screenshot, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it, it's like, what, what does he think has happened? Like you said, his address is going to pop up as a <laughs> notification. His social security number. Like, what? <laughs> It's just a, a poorly made excuse, and then he deflects it into the detractors not even having a, 
uh, like coming down to a consensus on what the game he's playing is even though at that point everybody was just saying wwe champions champions and they're both correct that's the key point it's not like someone said wwe uh fashion bonanza too it's not a game he's not playing yeah. he bet a lot of money on both of these games <laughs> so it doesn't give him yeah. it doesn't matter show either one philly Either one is fine. <laughs> for even bringing that shit up. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> asshole for that? bringing it up, Snood. Get fucked, Snooty Rudy. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh, he's Internet famous that McCroy one. cheered and said, That's a lot of people question. have internet trolls. You have to investigate. You have investigative tabloid journalists. Find uh -huh. out how much Dark Darkseidfield coffee maker costs. Is Jasper yeah, pregnant? Find out yeah. why Fool won't weigh his cat live on camera on TMZ. Great You're joke, right. Man. Very funny. You are right, actually. All right, next up, 2020. Now he's talking about WWE Supercard. The meme continues. The, the best part about all this crap is... Here's the best part, guys. That the people who've been hating on me for a few days completely been... Oh, There's also the Flipper you. post up. I wonder why it's doing that. Now he's talking about WWE... The people who've been hating on me for a few days completely being nonsense about me playing some mobile game. They can't even get the mobile game right. Yeah, they, they, back to the same defense we just heard. They can't even get yep. the mobile game right. Like, this is a defense for something. So, for example, it's pre pretend I killed uh, two people name named whatever the fuck their names are. And I said, look at this. You can't even get the person I killed's name right. <laughs> Come on. You guys yeah. are idiots. I'm not a murderer. You can't even get the name of the person I killed right. Dumb fucks. <laughs> That's what we're literally doing right now. The game that I thought people were accusing me of playing was called like WWE Champions. Oh, yeah. that's I put that on Twitter. The game I was playing was called like... WWE champions, like he's not sure of the name. That's what we're going with here. I don't like yeah. WWE champions. I think I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes him look more innocent when uh -huh. he can't even figure out the game that he has admitted multiple times in the past for playing. <laughs> uh huh. Good job. The game that I thought people were accusing me of playing was called like WWE champions, but now people are, I've been saying WWE supercars. Like they can't even get their their fucking their their memes straight. They uh -huh. can't get their distract. Here's the thing. Neither of them are memes, sir. They're memes straight, <laughs> and they've crossed the memes. I actually said, I admitted last night, at one point, I had played WWE Supercar, but that was many years ago. Oh, so, I don't know. Ago. They've crossed, they have, remember, whatever you do, don't cross the memes. That's what you have to avoid, crossing the memes. <laughs> you could destroy every thread of existence if you do that. And these idiots have crossed the memes. So anyway, um... Thank you again, whoever this is with this stupid meme, another $5 tip, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Argentina. No, I don't play WWE Supercard, and I'm not going to. Okay. Your partner will tell you okay, not going to talk about WWE Supercard. Oh, do I have any tips for WWE Supercard? Oh, God, why is it doing this? <laughs> Here we go. Hogan. Oh, do I have any tips for WWE Supercard? Yes, dump $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan. Or at least that's what my detractors say. So I'm going to go off of what they say. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, LT, can you pull up the Hogan clip? Which one do you want? Uh, I can. Yeah, I can give you yeah, an yeah, exact give me, one. Yeah. Give me the exact one. Hit it with the, hit it with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this also, this one also has a deflection in it. Nice. Uh, so this I earned the rare card. I think it was this one because I put it in my song Hogan's, and that's a, a fantastic. Spending all my money on this Hogan. Oh damn it! Which one is it? All right, here I got something to show in the meantime. Mr. Frog Machine all right. has came through hype with Phil asking to see someone's phone. So this would be pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty chill. All right, so I brought up the post here. Let me make it smaller. On live. Okay. So, <clears throat> Jonathan. <clears throat> Here we go. But ultimately, I do not believe you. This is the person that he accused of cheating, by the way. Jonathan. That's asshole cheating to get a higher breaking than him. Jonathan, if that is really you posting, you have to understand the game showed you jumping in thousands of points on a tear. If you're claiming you didn't cheat, that means the game is innately flawed and doesn't reflect points properly, what it, which is a major problem for the top three spots. Okay? Ultimately, I don't believe you because you claim to be unable to take a screenshot on your mobile device. Yeah, no. If you spend as much time on it as you claim, you'd be able to do that. Obviously, wow. other stuff at work here. And I think we need to have some changes to future PCCs. So we're asking uh, Jonathan to produce screenshots, but 
that what about his family? I guess his family's not important. I mean, I don't know. Fuck his family, right? Big up Strong Machine for that. Perfect leg. You got it or not yet? Um, just a second. Sure. There's a couple of ones. There, there's many Hogan mentions. That's a lot to slog through. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's a future episode. Hogan. Hogan references. I'm trying to find it using a more specific uh more specific term. <laughs> We're hanging and banging right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it might be in one of the deleted pre-streams uh, or something. I don't know. But there's there's four mentions of the Hogan card, and one of them is is him making fun of himself for bragging about it on forums. <laughs> oh, so God. It's a, Jackpot. Yeah, do you have that one? No, if anyone has it. I, I mean, I might. What, what, how recently was it? I have. There's six more videos oh, left, was I think. May 29th, 2020, part two. May 29th. Now we're in January. Okay, yeah, it could be there. Hold on. May 29th, January, let me check, Kirby, or April. Oh, and he talks about quitting mobile games, too. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. That's coming up. All right. We that's got a it. one. We got it. We got it. We got it. $1,000 to get Hulk Hogan in WWE Supercard. For what they say. That's what I'm going to do. We got $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan in WWE Supercard. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Extremism. Sounds get good. Of, get out of jail free card. <clears throat> There's the tips. Sounds good. Which you did do. And he's a... <laughs> He is misinterpreting it on purpose because he knows that he spent nowhere near amount, near that amount in Supercard. Yes. So he's taking that thing that is true and making it seem like everybody else is an idiot or crazy. Yeah, he's crossing the street. He's crossing the excuses right now. That's You never cross yeah. the excuses, Phil. Come on. You can't do that. You can't cross the excuses <laughs> up. Come on. All right. May, uh, January 25th, 2020. We're almost, we're almost there to the one Meerkat reference. Thank you, sir. An anonymous dollar tipper. Here we go again. You ready for this one, guys? Uh -oh, are you ready? Strap in, boys. The day. The fucker. An anonymous dollar tipper. Here's a crazy conspiracy. You ready for this one, guys? Ready for this one, guys? Strap in. We've talked about a million times. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Yes, I've heard it all. Actually, the last time I heard it was $140,000. I've heard that it was apparently on, on specifically on a Hulk Hogan card. For WWE Supercard, but then people said it was WWE Champions. People, yep. So just say random shit people say to to the kind of muddy the yep. waters here. Sounds good. Come into the stream and said both. Uh huh. Uh, the bottom line is it's hey. ludicrously stupid. I've said a million times, no, this is not the case. It's not true. It's really it? dumb. Um, and that's where I'm leaving it because there's really no reason to even dwell on it. It's complete nonsense. Okay. Uh, and as usual with these idiots, completely making shit up with ha you know fabrications and half truths and. I just had enough at this point of putting truth? up with their bullshit. So let them have their Newsday drama on their garbage channels. And we will have a fun gameplay stream here today, ignoring uh -huh. their bullshit. Just ignore okay. all that, okay, guys? All right. D all right. Just ignore all that, guys. All right? Sound good? Just ignore all that stuff, guys. Come on. Ah! Uh, Jumpstart06 says, do you remember the last video you played in for your own personal pleasure without posting any gameplay to YouTube? Oh, the last video game I played for my own personal pleasure? I mean, you know, for a while there I was playing all kinds of mobile games. You know, I was playing, uh... Oh shit, what button did I hit? Oh no, I screwed up. Get to the answer, please. No one cares about Kirby. For a while I was playing all kinds of mobile games. I don't know how to talk about it because people already make negative memes about it and saying lying and saying stupid shit about me. That's very fucking bad. That makes people think dumb shit. That's not true. And I Dude just want to bring it up tonight. Dude I used to play some mobile games on my phone. Uh, but but they came money six. It all started with games like um, what was it? Uh, Dude is Injustice. When in the original <laughs> Injustice fighting game came out years yeah. and years ago. Watch this Kirby gameplay. He is having strong. He's having problems here. Um, what was that? 2002. Because he's trying <laughs> yeah, to figure out how to lie and iPad. how to play video games at the same time. It doesn't work out. <laughs> That's pretty tough. <laughs> Kirby and lying is a tough combination. I'm a grinded in it and everything, and I played a ton out of it, and I really liked it. How about WWE? Later on, they uh, made one card. that, of course, was WWE East guys. So I played it because it was like the same freaking game, only with WWE characters. Hell yeah! And later on, I got into tons of different mobile games, Dragon Ball and Final Fantasy, and all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> Dude, come on! <laughs> the worst of them all by far was WWE Supercard. <laughs> Those games. Money sinks, time sinks, and the worst part about it, what is you're not it? even getting anything out of it. You're just looking at a fucking card. Here we go. A stationary fucking card that doesn't even have animation to it. Anger. It just stays stagnant on your fucking phone screen. It's just stupid. Now he's, again, talking to yourself. <sighs> Feeling the frustration. 
that anger. Just a fucking flat card. <laughs> you know, he kindly gets it, you know? I can't do it. Yeah. I, I don't know what- He got the gamer face on. Uh -huh. He's gamer facing to the max. Kirby's going back and forth. All right. Two more until we get to that one video we've teased. I gotta like, go in chronological. Beer trips, could you please like not be a fucking idiot? Yeah. This literally is the Hulk Hogan card any good? In <laughs> yeah, is it? That's a good question. Is the Hulk Hogan card any good? Oh fuck you! I gotta find Are a way to like in keep all the tabs open, but I think it's gonna break my computer because I have literally like fifty tabs open, so it tries to shut shit down. WWE Supercard is the Hulk Hogan card any good? Yeah, is it? A card that I got in WWE Supercard like five fucking years ago. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about being an idiot? Can you answer the question? Oh, look at how pissed off he gets. Yeah, can you answer the question? I mean, is it good or not? Is it as good as RTG Stinger? Great question, Great White Hype. Is that what we would have yeah. said? Supercard like five fucking years ago. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about being idiot idiotically derailing a stream has nothing to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, don't bring dumb shit up like that. How about that, stupid? So, could you answer the question or no? Okay. I guess that's a no. Just get pissed. Dumbass. Ah, dumbass. Yep, dumbass, dude. What a fucking dumbass. Asking about Hogan. Oh, my precious Hogan. Oh, my ten more. Fuck, what the wrong way. So salty right now. He is anger to the max. All right, one more chill stream, and then we get the uh, priest stream. <laughs> uh, Minecraft time, boys. Here we go. Super card. Here we go. Super card, and boys. Uh, Hell yeah. Oh no, actually, this is a legit. This is actually a legit question. I apologize. I have to apologize. Uh -oh. This person said WWE Supercard, and it's not actually the detractor meme of that other fucking WWE game that everyone is accusing me of playing, and I don't. So everyone I actually misread and, and almost don't. banned the guy because I was pissed. I was like, it's another detractor meme. And I read the statement the whole way. I'm like, wait a minute, that's actually not a detractor statement. It's a legit question. So he says, I thought you played. That collectible card game WWE Supercard, weren't you like really good at that? First of all, you can't be really good at that because it's just a, a it was a, a mobile game that was literally like pay to win. It was invest an insane amount of money to do an insane amount of pulls. Um now the amount of money is insane. Oh shit, actually going down here, I, there's more nether that I can get. More nether uh quartz. But yeah, insane amount of money to do an insane amount of pulls uh to try to get the cards you need, uh -huh. or play pay an insane amount of money. To endlessly pay an event, play an event, excuse me, it usually would be about 24 hours long, where you would have to play endlessly to <laughs> qualify to get the card that you want. And you did that? But the problem was, you had to pay to keep playing, because the game had a, a charge down, where you could only keep playing if you had energy or something, like a stamina energy, and it would run out. And when it ran out, you had to pay to keep fucking playing. So it was like, no matter what, either you gotta pay to buy cards, or you gotta pay to do the events to get cards, there was no way to really do it free to play and get anything good. So it was pretty bad you, in that regard. Um, what did you do? So, you know, was I really good at it? No, I wasn't really good at it. You know, I got I, at one point I was playing a lot of it. And but when I eventually realized for the amount of money and time you had to invest in it to do anything good, I didn't care about it anymore. And I dropped it. Uh, but, you know, like many people, I, I gave it a shot. I wanted to see what it was because I, I never really played mobile games before. And after a while, I said, there's no way I'm wasting time and money on this anymore. <laughs> so that was the end of that. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Did you hear that? Top two deck of the, all the players, by the way. Don't forget that. Yep. That's Huge funny. flex. He was so proud of himself. <laughs> Here we go. One more Minecraft. Right. Billions of dollars. I mean, basically every dollar I've ever had in my life went to mobile games. Uh, extremism here. Get ready for so, some extremism. You know, yeah. I don't care about it anymore, and I dropped it. But, you know, I dropped it. Uh-huh. I dropped it. Super card. Billions of well, here we go. I thought that this guy who asked me if the WWE Supercard was legit, but now he's asking me how much money have I spent on mobile Doubt gaming, him. like WWE Supercard. Doubt him. Billions of dollars. I mean, basically Extremism. every dollar I've ever had in my life went to mobile games, including, you know, I took out all, all my debt. Every piece of debt I have is from mobile games. Everything. Including my car I mean, loans. They didn't actually pay for my Realistically car speaking, yes. I think at some point he just lost track of how much he was spending. Because, yeah. you know, the, the money that, that he spent from PayPal, the money that he spent on, on, like, gift cards. At some point, when you're just so lost in the sauce, you just forget how much you spent. Yeah, like, I don't think even he... Like, he can say, like, the 100,000... You know, the, the Secret Limited video has, like, 100,000 on the thumbnail. Like, he doesn't even know if that's true or not. So he can always say, like, oh, well, I didn't spend 100,000 because he has no fucking yeah. clue. It could be. <laughs> he doesn't know. That one time he said, um, I remember, it's not here, it's, he's talking about champions. And he said, like, I spent, might have spent 
a couple thousand. I don't know. I hope not, but I could have spent thousands. That was in some other stream. He did say that. Hard to pay for mobile. Yeah. Five more videos left today. You know? Fucking idiot. Uh -huh. Man, it's flame beer cheese, and you never know. It might be a surprise hit. I wouldn't mind having a less serious wrestling game these days after so many serious ones. I kind of agree with you, but at the same time, <laughs> I don't want to hear um, this. what's really dumb is the what's visuals dumb? of the game look really bad to me. Like, the women don't look like normal women. Like, they're, like, super deformed. Like, they have, like, <laughs> giant heads what? on, like, really shrunken bodies. Almost like a I, want, I want realistic, sweaty women. They're, like, super deformed. Like, they have, like, giant heads <laughs> on, like, really shrunken bodies. Almost like a chibi character or something. A chibi I'm character. I'm looking at it, I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. Not, I can't beat off to this. Like, just the characters look really, really off-putting. And what? I don't know how the game is going to do. But I'm just why saying. Why did you point out the girls? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't care. Here we go. This is the one Meerkat pointed out. The part two, he's May 29th, part two, right? Of of I think this might be it, hopefully. You said that was, this was the date, right? I've already... Here it, here uh, it is. Here yes, it is. this, is, this is the one. This is the vest. Yeah, this is the, the, the magical vest. It was like WWE Supercar. Let me make sure I get it correct. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a classic. Uh, this is a Liam classic. Lambda Functions tipped me a dollar thirty and said, been watching you for years ever since you played Bioshock back in the day. Thanks for the years of wins and fails. Sounds good. Thank you very much for the support. I gotta add all these tips up and figure out how much it is. Um Michaela Sean's mom now tipped me another five dollars about the Trader Joe's nonsense. Sorry I'm not reading it this time. And Trigger Trigger tipped me a dollar thirty so I know you don't have to. Why not show us your phone that it isn't you? It would make them look stupid. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I've already explained this. This will be the final fucking time I explain this. I mean, no, it won't. <laughs> this now. All right, I'm done with this. After tonight, I'm done with the whole WWE thing. I'm taking so much time out to talk about it now. No, so you're not. Fighter. I've had it with this su subject. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I used to play mobile games. All right. In fact, you know what? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I used to play mobile games. I publicly admitted to it multiple times over the years. I used to play mobile <laughs> games. Yes, I used to even spend money on mobile oh. games because I was a fucking idiot. Okay, I played games like WWE Supercar. Oh yeah, I used to play this game be way before then. That was <clears throat> like Marvel. I can't remember what it was. It was a Marvel card game. Okay, I Snap. played well, um, Marvel Snap. WWE Immortals. I played the Mortal Kombat mobile game that was out um i played the dragon ball z budokai <laughs> no dragon there's a dragon ball z card game with with fighting that i played i can't remember oh dokkan battle dokkan battle um i played uh final fantasy brave xvas and yes i played some of this wwe uh gem matching game that they they're they're, they're still fucking talking about to this day say the All name right? <laughs> when I basically started dating my wa my now wife, okay? Here we I go, boys. She said, I want to focus on real life stuff. I want to focus on spending time with this woman. I want to build a family, right? And Sorry, Catherine. For me, I actually found that during those years that I heavily played mobile games, that yes, I was wasting money on it. Mm -hmm. And yes, I was wasting a lot of time on it, okay? Uh... Admittedly, I will even go out. I've never said this before. I will say this publicly here Sorry, Catherine. tonight. All right. There were certain times when I was addicted to it. I played it too much. And that WWE Supercar game, I played it too much. There was like events where I was playing it like countless hours. To 83 hours in two weeks. Earn a Hulk Hogan card and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. And people, You were looking for the Sting card. Don't make fun of me to this day for it because I publicly posted about it on my social media feeds like a fucking moron. Like I'm proud that I earned this rare Hulk Hogan card. You were extremely proud. But in reality, proud. nothing in mobile <laughs> You posted on forums as well. Twitter wasn't enough. You needed more validation. Mobile games matters. It's all just personal satisfaction, personal sense of accomplishment or whatever. But it's a money trap. It's a time trap. I learned that over the years of playing all these various mobile games. Ah. And so when my now wife, Cat, moved in with me Sorry, Kat. over two years ago, Sorry, I said, I'm basically not going to be playing these games with any kind of major time investment or money investment anymore. At that point, I couldn't do money investment anyway. I was broke. But basically, I was like, they can't do this anymore. And I made a commitment to her yeah. that I was not going to play mobile games a ton anymore. I said, every once in a while, maybe you'll see me pick up the phone and play it or whatever. But every once in a while, that's the total, total speak there. I made a commitment Absolutely. to her. I made a commitment to her that I was not going to play mobile games a ton.
So again, Meerkat, you asked earlier, what does a ton mean? <laughs> does it mean six days a week? <laughs> does it mean while we're waiting for our food? Does it mean while we watch Breaking Bad? All of these things. Is that a ton? <laughs> yeah, you never know, man. <laughs> That'll be it. And this okay. is not, yeah. I mean, this is not really a promise. When you promise something, it's kind of like a, a solid thing. I'm not going to do this at all, or I'm going to do this. And it's very specific thing that you're promising. Yeah. This is kind of just a vague, you know, very abstract idea. Well, I'm not going to play this as much as I did, but what does that mean? You're going to play it just a little bit less? <laughs> well, that's... Why, why are you even promising that? Yeah, why are you saying that? Just, all right, whatever, just do it. <laughs> the, and Frog Machine, great point. The flight home from the wedding. Got to log in. Got to get the login streak. Come on. Paid extra money for the Wi-Fi at some points. To... It's going to be a casual oh, yeah. thing. Uh, Got to get the logins. Come on. To kill time. I want to spend time with my family. Uh, oh, right. yeah. That very important time of which we learned on Wednesday is watching TV for a while and 30 minutes of jazz music a night. Mm -hmm. And admittedly, I'll even say this. Admittedly, uh -oh. in the past, there may have been issues in my personal life because I played too many mobile games. And I know people will say, oh, my God, we got to blow this up and talk about it all over. Yeah, because Le I bet Leanna got tired of you forcing her to play mobile games. Don't put it down, Leanna. Don't put it down. Leanna, it's true. Yeah. I played them too much in the past. That guy right? is I mean, like uh, when uh, allegedly Subaru Man forced Cat to watch Marvel movies and DSP yep. forced Panda Lee to play mobile games. Yep. <laughs> Admitting that publicly to you all now. Oh, what is that? All right. Thank That's you. why when I warn you guys about mobile games and I say, don't fucking go crazy with mobile games. <laughs> it's a money trap. It's a Like again, he's saying don't go crazy. He's not even saying don't play. Don't go crazy, guys. Be like me. Don't go crazy. Okay, you got to be having control. I mean, if if you're an addict, and I've talked to former addicts, and they just <laughs> straight up tell me, stay away from this. Not even like, don't go crazy. Don't it's even try this. Oh yeah. Because I know people that have been hooked on some like really serious shit that has ruined their lives. Anytime you talk to them about it, it's like, don't even think about it, man. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't do it halfway. I learned that myself. You can't. A big addiction. You will have issues in your life if you play mobile games uh -huh. in a major way. You may actually fall into this almost like constant uh, microtransactions. You can't stop yourself. That's from me from years ago telling you from my personal experience when I used to play WWE Supercard, yeah, how yeah. bad it got and how much money and time I wasted on that. Okay? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have not played any major mobile game in over two years. Okay? Truth, right now, I've not played any mobile game in any major way this in over is... two years, including this. <laughs> Corner Demon's waking Bruh. up real quick. He said, hold on. Hold on a minute, bitch. <laughs> Fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing. Hold on a second. If if I could interject for a second, I just got to play one clip here. I got the timestamp, so it should be a second. I just want to play this real quick. This is always um, fun. Just a real simple yes or no. Just real quick. Mm -hmm. real Do quick. you currently still play WWE Champion? Yes. Okay, let's just go back. Yes. That was, that's it. I just wanted to play nice real Mickey quick. Mouse, yes. <laughs> but well, of course he just he didn't technically lie according to semantics because he said I haven't played a game in a major way. Yeah. So let's just define major. Yeah. What is it like 82 hours in two weeks? <laughs> that is pretty major. And I don't expect them to do that because I mean that's pretty unrealistic. That's not major. so we could use all these qualifying terms like a ton and major way okay what else how else can we put in there uh the stupid shit because someone has my twitter handle in the game is not fucking me ah. it might have been a fan of mine or it might have been who knows right but for me to pick up my phone right now and waste time downloading the game and showing you oh here's my login and everything waste time downloading the game uh-huh number one that's giving them exactly what they want that's giving them the time and attention that they crave i refuse <laughs> yeah like you don't do that enough to do that number two <laughs> That's giving you personal information. I will show, if I even show you a thing on my phone, they'll find something on uh -huh. there to fuck me over. They'll yep. say what phone service I have, some information what? on the dashboard of my phone. They'll find a way to fuck me because they've done it. They found stuff on my desktop, on my computer when I'm streaming. Ah, uh, you mean the naked Leanna pic? Fuck with that. They find a fucking a yeah. document. <laughs> so that's the one you showed, brother. On my, on my top of my fucking table downstairs and they fucking call my, my electric company and turn off my... Yeah, great point from Midlife Christ, uh, from a and very Pokemon. He he used they call me DSP for every account possible. Pokemon Go, W Supercard, as we know, 
uh, uh, from uh, from uh, the, the, uh, the fucking uh, champions account first. It's it's always that. Finally, Chase is start. Yeah. He's just so desperate for that attention, for that acknowledgement, for the possibility of somebody recognizing him and being like, whoa, dude, this is DSP, the YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it fucking, it, you know, it, it led to his downfall. Because if he time. named himself anything else, he would have just been another guy, just another guy, just like whore, who just yeah. named themselves whore. <laughs> like, yeah, like if Phil did that, just said whore, there's none of this. We never would know, but can't do that. Yeah. I need this. I need the sweet e penis. <laughs> I need to grow my e penis. Okay, they'll do. They'll do something fucked up. In addition, uh, I'll else? tell you this: the login that I used for this fucking Champions game is a login that I've used for other things all across the internet over the years. Yes, they will like the screen name exactly. Yeah, will use that login to backwards search the internet and find shit and oh, fuck me search. over. That's like, like upfilter. First, you upfilter, then backwards search. It's awesome. Uh -huh. With all kinds of shit. And apparently, I mean, the login <laughs> is they call me DSP. So, <laughs> I mean, you're not exactly trying to protect your identity here. You're not exactly thinking privacy first. Yeah. And then when you make a new name, what do you do? Down from the rafters. The sting. <laughs> That's the best part of this whole thing. You had a chance to change it, you know? What are you going to do? Yeah. Get a fresh and, start. Uh, uh, down from the rafters. And, also, of course, uh, they can, like he's saying, they can backtrack his other stuff and they can find other things that he spent money on as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I guess that's true. Gun, yeah, the Gun Show 84. What other names has he been using? He has like, a few names. Gun Show 84 is definitely one. He already got Bro, huh? one. It, it, he puts 84 the year he was literally fucking born, wasn't it? Uh, oh, no, he was 82. He's 82. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Passwords. And shit. That's how insanely obsessed these fucking people are. Oh yeah. They find one piece of information and they do things you would never fathom. Yeah, you and then like they this. fuck with my life. They've uh -huh. done this time and time and time again over the years. I'm not going to put myself into harm. Shout outs to I flashed my vulva at Trader Joe's with the five dollar tip. Shout outs for that one down there. <laughs> nice message. Way oh my god, what? Or something that <laughs> that's what it says. Very normal community we have going on. <laughs> Dude, what if that planted the seed in Derek's mind about the Trader Joe tacos <laughs> and associating them with vaginas? Because yeah, this is in 2020. He saw Volvo and that got him pretty hyped up. He's like, holy shit, I didn't want to check out this Trader Joe's. Sounds pretty hype. That is so ridiculous. Yeah, that what, that's what led to Derek just like camping out at Trader Joe's because he's like, this has to happen when I'm there someday. I'll go there every day. Then he tried a taco once and liked it. Untrue. <laughs> I'm just so tired of these idiots bringing the same Nazis oh, up man. over and over again. It's like, how many times can you beat the dead fucking horse? Don't say it. Uh, it is say it. nothing you're doing in regards to the mobile game can hurt me because I got my bankruptcy. You lied for four fucking months. Yeah, you annoyed the shit out of a lot of people, what? including myself and other parties. It's over. But what? It's Bro. over. So you're... Wait, uh, he he can't show you his account because you can use the info to hurt him. And now he's saying nothing that you can do can hurt me. And this is like within the span of a minute. Yeah. And both... the whole like bankruptcy <laughs> thing is like, damn, the, the amount of bragging he did over getting a bankruptcy is insane. Very cool. That's successful business. <laughs> he's both Superman and also not the opposite of Superman at the same time. You're wasting your yeah. fucking time. Cool. Dude. I wonder if they're harassing this fucking guy. Again, I don't know if this guy was a troll of mine. Uh, or who was I'm not sure who that is. Trying to impersonate me, or maybe he was a fan of mine. Maybe he's just someone with dumb, bad fucking luck yeah, to have definitely. the same name as my Twitter handle. But if they're still bothering this oh, guy yeah. like five months later, yeah, we're definitely bothering holy him. fucking Keep bothering shit, guys. dude. Don't stop. Get a fucking life. Get a fucking Look life. Look in the mirror, real life. Okay, you just told us to get a fucking life? Hang on, just got a quick question I got to ask real quick. Hang on. Craig, could you take care of this real quick? Um, Just a real simple yes or no. Mm -hmm. we Do lives, you so. currently still play WWE Champion? Yes. Okay, just want to be sure if we yes. have to get a life or not. Thank you. Guys, you're and a also, like, <laughs> what, what is the likelihood that somebody who plays the exact same mobile game that he's admitted to playing has the exact same name as his Twitter handle? Which he's assuming to be like one of the reasons, one of the things that could have happened. It's like the most unlikely thing ever. They call me, yeah, it's, it's just, there's so many layers to why it's him, but. Loser. Oh yeah, we're my losers. God. We're losers, guys. Who's the real loser? I seriously. I made a commitment to her. I can't, I can't believe it. I made a commitment still to her. On. 83 hours Bro. of Supercard in two weeks. <laughs> 
Uh, and my, uh, I, I can't even tell you, like, looking at that forum and him staying until, like, 4 a.m. to do polls and then brag about it, this dude has, and he was in his uh, late 30s, by the way, at the time. This dude has no right to call anybody anything. Anything. Yeah, nothing at all. And this Al, Al, Alex Mir says, same disc, this is all the things that have to be the same. Same screen name, same Discord number, same profile picture, and same uh, th how they speak is also the same. Because remember, <laughs> Secret Limited put through the compare speech or whatever thing? Yeah. And it was 91% match. That's all the things that have to be true. And line app. Let's not forget fucking line app. All these things have to be true yep. for, it, for it to be someone well, else. <laughs> line app that has been connected to his phone by him actually, you know, verifying it. Because you get, you know, you know how this works. They send you like a code yeah, yeah. and you put it in the app and then it's active. So all this thing, all the stars have to align. It's like a one in a billion chance. Yes. B billions of billions. Brand new's video breaks that down the best. The line app two-factor authentication thing. Because he says... Uh, you know, many years ago, he said, like, and that's, they're assuming I'm using the same phone number as I always was. And then, like, he says, like, five times since then, John could call me anytime. I never changed my phone number. Rambo could call me anytime. He says that, like, yeah. four times. <laughs> and then the he best. pretends not to know what 2FA is and then explains exactly what it means in a uh -huh. different clip. So think, it's like, yeah. like, how can you clearly believe this guy when there's so much evidence against him? And even today, we're going back and we're seeing all the patterns that have reoccurred with champions and him yeah. spending and bragging about it. But this time, he had to conceal the brag. So he did it in some kind of weird private pay pig discord. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's just the same story again and again. And he's super yeah. transparent with how he got the money, how he spent it on gift cards. He was asking for his fucking relatives for iTunes gift cards for Christmas. Come on, dude. This guy's going to call anybody a loser. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. That's why what I say if you any unironic fan of DSP is has to be something special going on. That's why most of them do have something special going on because normal human beings can would not be go put themselves through this. Listening to a liar like this, this is endless. A, 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 a addict, a, a addict to mobile games that's using his the money he asked you to give for pity bags every day that he begs from you. And he expects it every day because if you don't give it to him, he's going to be mad. He's going to eat lunch and eat sandwiches. Who wants to put up with that? You know, who? Who, who on earth can put up with that? This is I still this yeah. out, fucking probably. going on. Yep, it is. It'd be going on two years later, too, when oh you said God. yes to, to studying Craig as well. All right, three more videos. Do we have any more All talk right. here? All IQ right. Phil Chase said, why would it matter if you play a mobile game anyway? I don't know. I think, I think. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks. They were trying to say, again, because people turned me on to this on Kiwi Farms when during the whole bankruptcy thing. They were trying to say that, like, I was very frivolously spending money on mobile games all this time over the years. And because of that, I should like we've shown get you. a bankruptcy or something. And basically, no, no, it's more about the business expenses that you said were $5,000. You know, I had to prove to the parties who were responsible for that kind of stuff that that wasn't true, which I did. So, okay, whatever. Three more videos. Let's go. Here we go. Um, Timbo Slice cheered and said, which games do you regret admitting to play? Oh, it's not Timbo Slice. Excuse me. TJ Gamebox. Boy, I read that completely. Oh, TJ Gamebox. Big ups, dude. Is that a cheer? Oh, my fault. <laughs> TJ Gamebox cheers. Which games do you, re do you regret admitting to I don't know, but... I used to play WWE Super Games. I actually... Do you, re do you regret admitting to playing or playing on stream? I got a feeling it's a phone game. Um... Ah, uh, so that's a LARPer cheer from tj gamebox right there i have a feeling it's a phone game trying to get him to say what he regrets no because you know i don't regret talking about the mobile games i actually fucking played at length like i will admit i used to play wwe supercard a ton when it first came out i played the shit out of it that first year and put money into it like an idiot that i shouldn't have um dokkan battle um final fantasy brave xvs those were games i put time and effort and some money into yes until I hit to the point where I couldn't do it anymore because I had no money. You know, I hit the wall. I was in so much debt and shit. I was like, I can't spend money on mobile games anymore. And I cut the cord. That was, you know, years ago. I cut the cord years ago. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, the thing is, regret admitting to playing. I, you guys know what I play. You see everything that I play. I don't play <laughs> any games outside of the streams except for those few mobile games that I play. I don't play any games outside of the streams anymore. You know, like you see every single game that I'm playing. So you, uh -huh. uh, 
how would I regret to admit it when I'm playing it publicly? You uh-huh. know what I mean? It's for a stream or whatever. It's for the business. It's so, for the business. For the Hogan's, dude. I'm not actually sure what you're getting at there. This is one of those classic over-explaining things. He knows they hit a nerve here, so he has to over-explain everything. Yep. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for here. Yeah. Uh, down. We gotta muddy the waters. We gotta <laughs> make people, you know, lose their coordination, confuse them. <laughs> Hit it with the pignosis. Maybe you just don't know that I don't play stuff off stream because I don't. Okay, that's not what they asked. <laughs> now we're just like randomly did, well, down from the rafters. What does that even mean? I don't. I have no idea what that means. Uh, sir has got to choose. I hope you can go on a vacuum. Oh. Uh, shut up. Two, two more. Let me refresh it now, so I don't have to go through the bullshit. I did check on, on WWE Supercard, and I'll never be able to play a single the whole fucking game, right? But I think that's the thing. Um, originally, they didn't have any of that shit. There was no way to back your account. Like, I remember uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius did log into Facebook. So if that was the case, I could probably do, if I ever wanted to play Brave Exvius again, I could probably play it again. Okay. By the way, I never would, simply because I know the game's a money sink. And I'll uh, never be able to play a single event at this point. Never would, all my characters will probably be like two stars lower than what everyone has in the game. I won't be able to beat anything. Um, but yeah, there was no, I couldn't play Dokkan, but I was so pissed. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Um, there was one time, it was about, I'd say about a year and a half ago, I did check on, on WWE Supercard, oh, and yeah. you can, like, that that account, apparently, I do have a login. So look at that. So he just admitted right there to trying to log back in in in, uh-huh. two, in 2020. Well, I think he said a few years ago. Let me hear what he said again exactly. <laughs> um, There was one time, it was about, I'd say about a year and a half ago, I did check on, on WWE Supercard, and you can, like, that that account, apparently, I do have a login for it. So I actually could play super card again if I ever wanted to. So why would you check that? <laughs> but it was ridiculous. Like, it was like seven card levels above where I had been playing. And the game had no... He got this far. 2019, he's checking on card levels. Easy way yeah. to get to... But Dude. this is like... It's such a weird thing, man. Because in, in the different clips... You... He sounds like, yeah, this game took up so much of my time and I got into debt and I couldn't keep playing it. And then you flash forward to a different clip. Oh, yeah, I, I can go back to playing Supercard anytime I want, man. I still got the login. <laughs> it's like, why the fuck would you want to do that? It ruined your life. I thought we It's just... like with the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I just take a quick. Let me just walk in the liquor store. I just want to see what's going on. Maybe they changed the layout. Let me check it out real quick. I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> I, yeah. mean, I thought we just made a commitment to her that without spending money the only way to get to like the, the current card level was to buy pulls of the new packs and hope you're getting double pulls of the good card there was no way to do it and it was it was broken wwe super card was so fucking brokenly un- broken and unfair to do it like it's, that game was again that was a total money that's sink. that's and- why he's such a fucking massive idiot something that you got to understand about mobile games is that there is no end and that's kind of the whole idea yeah, And if you're playing it to get to the end, you will never be satisfied. Just like him. He's like a prime example. If you're playing it just casually, just to entertain yourself while you're fucking, I don't know, cooking or something, yeah. it's, it's perfectly playable. Most of them are. <laughs> so it's like, it, it just, it, it's the, the mindset that matters. And he has the, the grind set, not even the mindset. <laughs> the grind set, dude. We've got to get top two. We've got to get that top five. And so I'm glad that I'm done with that shit. Uh, you're definitely done with it, right? Definitely done, right? Okay. You're definitely done with it, right? Kaz Curry says, why did I quit the mobile games? Were they boring or anything? Getting into my first gotcha. I'm not familiar with their lifespan. It's very simple. Uh oh. In simple. order to stay ahead of the curve and actually play in, in current events and do things that are fun in a, a mobile game, most of them, you have to constantly be spending money. Because most of them will have, oh, here's a new character you absolutely need to score in the new event. You can still play the event, but if you play it with other characters, you get very minimal scoring. You really get, like, no rewards or anything. If you actually want to do well in the event, you constantly have to be spending, 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 spending. That's why they're not worth it. Yeah. (laughs) Even if you're a player who's played it for three straight years, new event, new characters you need to spend. It's like, Jesus, there's just no way to maintain these games without dropping money constantly. And it's just not worth it. After a while, you're like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of fucking spending over and over and over. Are you? Now, not every game's like that. I don't think Genshin Impact is a game like that at all. 
I think Genshin Impact, if you want to spend to get the character. That's probably why he hates it. The rare characters you can. That's why he doesn't want to keep playing it. What people have told me is when you get to the end of Genshin Impact, mm -hmm. then it very much becomes like that because you can't level your characters up anymore to get their better abilities so you can beat the end game content that you have to basically be pulling, pulling. He is so in tune with the, how these games work, you know? He just knows every in and out pulling. of the whole scheme. But yet, he still falls for it every time. Yeah. To get that duplicate gold, so you can unlock the things in the constellation tree. Um, so that they become more powerful. But outside of that, like... Listen to him. It's just not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. New Star Wars is what about Hearthstone? Hearthstone's yeah, totally different. Um, Hearthstone is just like... The reason I hate Hearthstone, what? when I first started playing it, I enjoyed it. And then as I played it more, I realized that, sadly... The only way to be good at Hearthstone was number one to buy all the good decks. Like you needed to buy the good decks by constantly pulling cards to get the good one. And once you get all the good cards to get the good decks, it's still random. It doesn't even matter if you have the <laughs> yeah. Card games are kind of like that. Best cards, and you know the strategies. You could still fucking lose. If no, you trust me. You never do the strategies. If you haven't seen this, how you don't play Hearthstone, it's a great one. He has no idea how shit works. You don't get the right order of cards yeah. selected or pulled. He expect this dude. You know how the like, mana works in Hearthstone. I don't know if you ever played it, Meerkat. Have you ever dabbled uh, with that? Well, I played it at launch, yeah. but it's uh, I don't like those card games. So yeah, so like I the, completely forgot. There's a tent. You get tent every turn. You get another mana. You can spend more expensive s spells. There's one 10 mana spell which just kills a creature, right? That's all it does. That's all that's the only ability to have was kill a creature, right? Kill a dude yeah. on the on the battlefield. That you by the way, you spent much less mana than 10. Phil said, Oh my god, this card should not exist. It doesn't matter what I do. They can always do that. I was like, what do you what do you want? What do you expect? He really thinks it's if I when I'm you nothing should be able to stop my plan of winning. Right, that's that's why he loves these fucking mobile games, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing should be in my way. Just let me win, please. <laughs> and uh, I mean, nowadays he's just degraded so much to the point where it's just like, yeah, he's willing to pay whatever is necessary just to win. We don't even care about <laughs> the actual game anymore. Just like keep spending. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Eileen. Yeah, I might have been wrong on the numbers, but yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Oh shit! I mean, so it doesn't. Stuff. So imagine a game. You spend the fuck out of it. You play the fuck out of it, uh -huh. and you still lose anyway because of bad luck. And that's how it was. I was like, dude, imagine that. <laughs> like, who the imagine fuck wants it. to get you lose the bad luck constantly? Imagine it, dude. So. Any more? We have one video left. That's, that's why I quit Hearthstone. I hated it. after playing it like like a few months uh -huh. and realizing that's how the game was set up. I didn't enjoy it anymore. I was just fucking pissed uh -huh. at it. Pissed at it, dude. Are we done? All right, I think one more level, and we're going to evolve. All right, fuck you. Last one here. Last one, and this could be the oh, one we watched. Oh, no, no, it's not. Here we go, good. Can't oh, here we go again. Different. Reddit. So people are, are going to try to get me to talk about fucking mobile games again. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not against it, but I'm not going to go crazy with these people with their memes and lies about me, all right? Okay. Well. So Reddit M Lady asked, 50-bit <laughs> cheers, did you spend more money on Supercard or WWE Champions back when you said you played it? Great question. Can we please answer the question? I'd like to know this. Yeah. I spent way more money on Supercard than I ever spent on WWE Champions. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on Supercard for like maybe six to eight months. Remember I told you? Two years, brother. You guys, there was the, there was an event that I went crazy on to try to get this rare ass card. Oh, was and it? And it took forever it's to get. It's a huge lie. And you, had to and you know why it's a huge lie? Yeah. Uh, the, the lie is because he has admitted in the past for spending on, on Supercard. And it's you can trace it back and you can prove it. Yes. So if he was to say something else, you can straight up prove his lying. But yep. on champions, to him, there's no definitive evidence outside of the estimates that TJ does that, yeah. you know, he are, I believe, pretty accurate. If yeah, anything, yeah. they're a little bit even too, too, yeah. too conservative. Yeah. Because yeah. TJ Gamebox does as conservative as possible of what it would take. Right? Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> constantly keep spending. Now, keep in mind, this was like 2015. This is a long time ago. Uh, 2015. Yeah. It does, doesn't matter, dude. Ancient history, dude. Um, Dinosaurs were around. You had to basically keep spending um, in order to keep buying the recharges for the event. Like, you couldn't just keep playing the event. You would run out of energy. So you had to keep buying the recharge, buying the recharge, buying the recharge. And it wasn't like, oh, you bought like twice. It was like, you had to just constantly for 24 hours keep buying recharges to play in this event to earn the reward card. It was, it's a huh? scam. It's a fucking scam. By the end of it, what? you get the card and you're like, wow, I got it. And you feel so stupid. <laughs> like, man, I spent all that fucking time Dude. playing this game. I spent money on it. This oh is dumb God. as shit. You know? It really was. It was dumb. I felt stupid.
So, it's not, you know, it's, I, in my opinion, that shit's not worth it. Some people may, again, that's the kind of game you like and you play it. I'm not going to hate on you or whatever. Yeah. But for me, like, I want to get, I'm going to get value out of it. But I'm not going to be constantly having to spend a million dollars to just play the fucking game and have fun with it. That's stupid. Amazing. How do I get up here? I got to climb this, this uh, cliff here. Incredible. This Now this is only 2021. Yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah. less than three years ago. We're gonna get this chest. Thinking this thought. Okay. Any more? <laughs> you done. Not Wilson has subscribed to the channel for two months. Thank you, Not Wilson, for the. All right. Well, that was the last video on the docket. I do want to do one, play one more thing though, because it seems like if someone had all these thoughts, right? It sounds like he quit. I mean, doesn't it? It sounds like a person that was addicted to mobile games realized they're stupid and then quit, right? Well, let's. Mm, I'm gonna get my sounds friend. like it to me, brother. Let's get, let's get studying Craig. I, I studying Craig. Could you please ask Phil this is one important question in 2000? Let's get the date on this um, just to be just a, official. Oh, sh fuck you. Just to be official, um, it is just a real March 16th, 2023. Less than three years, or less than two years after the video we just watched. Okay, two, less than two years after the video we just watched, where he said it's stupid. I'm so glad I don't do that anymore. Let's hear how it sounds. I hope we get the happy ending here. I mean, I really do. I really hope we pulled out of this because that may must be a fucking hell we've heard today. 83 hours in two weeks. Hundreds of dollars spent. But he got over it, right? Let's just hear it real quick. He made a commitment to his wife, too. I mean, that's pretty hardcore. When you say I made a commitment to her that I'm not going to do it. Like, Craig, come on, just ask it, please. They want to know about your experience with this game. Um, just a real simple yes or no. Mm -hmm. Do you currently still play WWE Champion? Yes. Oh, we come on, man. There we go. We couldn't get that a happy ending. <laughs> no, the the alternative ending is him saying, no, I quit it like two years ago and I haven't <laughs> gone back because it almost ruined my life. Why would I go back to something that ruined my life? <laughs> that would be the happy ending my friends. But that'll do it. What a show it's been. Thanks so much for joining me. Of course, Meerkat, thanks for joining as well. This was a fucking epic one. This was a lot of fun to share this one. A uh, lot of stuff. Hopefully you saw some new stuff you never saw before. I know I did. Uh, oh, but yeah. It was it was hype. It was hype. Meerkat, anything coming up before our stream on Sunday uh, of that um, being said? Well, uh, not really. It's Friday night. I'm having some people over, so I'm about to go and get ready. Nice. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for having me on. This was a topic that I was very passionate to discuss and we had a lot of fun and learned a lot uh make sure to sting or splash the like button and show up whenever we do other stuff like this big ups everybody we'll see you too on uh fucking tomorrow atlas the bookkeeper we gotta get all the ask the kings out of the way you know what i'm saying guys so we'll see you tomorrow with atlas the bookkeeper at 8 p.m eastern time and of course that being said on sunday 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 we gotta be hanging a banger brother you're all legends see you later, later.